Good evening, America, and all the other lesser nations. It's your boy Donnie, former president of the United States, and really the best president, quite frankly. I'm here tonight to tell you not to be like China and instead donate to the OC podcast. But don't just take it from me, the greatest and most loved president of all time. Listen to these other satisfied customers. I think of the host of the OCA podcast as my five and a half additional children. And like a good American father, I support them by donating to their only fans. If only I had started donating earlier, Uncle Ben might still be alive. I've never met my real dad, but that's okay. Because after donating all my savings, the host agreed to be my new dads. I want the change out of his coin purse to donate to the podcast. No, not my coins. Yes, your coins. It's time to do, 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 do. Donate to the Patreon! Alright! The OCA podcast needs my money more than my sister Serenity! Donate today! Whoops, did not mean to use that intro. <laughs> Welcome back to the OCA podcast, everybody. I am your host. Apparently, I'm still the gay icon collector. But it is Pride Month, so now, it, now it's an official, uh, you know, it makes sense. All right, anyway, also with me is my counterpart, the upset collector. <laughs> hi. <laughs> green line. Uh, hi, Green Line here, the purveyor of cringe and the protector of anti. Good. We need you. <laughs> and Footnum, our our resident uh, Bill C eleven compliant uh, person. Quota. <laughs> yeah, he's our affirmative action. <laughs> and King Style. Yay! Uh, Random King eleven Styles. is choosing to be a lurker this podcast, uh, and maybe we'll have uh, Lance join us later. But jumping right in, I, I, I'll tell you right now. Therefore, we are not reaching our quota. Absolutely, totally, 100%. Not ready, <laughs> but doing it live. <laughs> so, jumping right in. If you would like to support the OCA podcast, I would like to invite you to head over to the patreon.com slash OCA podcast and donate just $1 a month, $12 a year, to bring a smile to our faces. Uh, there's also the Anime Collector Patreon, which will uh, hopefully start getting somewhere in the near future, as there is content being produced again, uh, although I don't know how. Um, then there's other ways on the website, ocapodcast.com slash support. There's many ways you can check out. And also, I must remind you, the utmost importance, sign our very real petition to go ahead and kick JT. <laughs> Figuratively and literally, maybe. I don't know. If, if you get us to get 40 full... signatures, I will hire a midget to go find JT and physically kick him on camera. All right? <laughs> there you go. Or 20. That's our goal. Okay. Anyway. So there is a fuck ton of shit to talk about uh, this podcast. So I am going to go ahead and remind you of a couple things. Because uh, these were supposed to be small things, but nothing with Mars Girl is small. <laughs> so uh, big and wide. She's huge. Yeah. She's so you guys truck. recall that the reason we made the petition for JT was because I personally find cringe.org, I'm sorry, change.org to be cringe, <laughs> Freudian slip. <laughs> I find change.org to be incredibly cringe. And the fact that anybody would be bothered by the existence of a petition, let alone think it would do anything, is beyond me. So uh, we talked about this briefly, that somebody had made a kick Mars girl, stop four years of target harassment from Mars girl petition on change.org. But we didn't really talk about it all that much. So um, I'd like to draw your attention to Mars girl's uh, interpretation of what was happening with that petition. So Mars Girl was confident that it was somebody by the name of Farah. She said, Farah, you're not a super genius. Everyone knows at Kick Mars Girl, which was a Twitter uh, for the petition, right? Uh, which notice cash app dot cash dot app slash Kick Mars Girl was included, right? 
Um, she says, everyone knows Kick Mars Girl and the Change Petition is you. They have your shit grammar, your shit talking points, and the account uses the same automated tweet system you use for your OnlyFans tweets. This is one of the worst grifts I've ever seen. She's um, quote tweeting twitter.com slash Farah fatherless. Now fatherlessness is going to be a theme in tonight's <laughs> podcast, as it seems that not having a father in your life is the number one way to turn into a shit adult, right? Like, <laughs> so anyway, uh, she's deleted her, her Twitter. Um, now Mars girl also said, Hey, here's a cool search result. I know uh, Farah Fatherless claimed multiple times that she didn't make the change.org petition. So what are the chances she actually did and just changed her name to anonymous user later? Because Google sure still seems to say it was her. Oops. So uh, the cached version of the change.org petition says Farah Fatherless started this petition. It's time to kick Mars. Right. So, oh, caught red handed. Right. Um and hilariously, oh, this internet is going to be so good. <laughs> hilariously, Mars Girl was so triggered as she says, change.org does nothing about blatant abuse on their platform. Fair or fatherless can make a petition clearly in bad faith, targeted harassment, accuse their target of being the one who did it, tag change.org to try to get them to intervene, then laugh when caught, right? Now, again, that petition is still up, right? Now, I don't know how on earth, I I, I don't think that Mars Girl even actually, um, even actually reported the petition because this is the email that we received the following morning <laughs> from the podcast before last when JT reported our petition which was not even as bad as Ferris, right? So uh, they said, hello, we're writing to let you know that information you've included in your petition has been identified as bullying. What? What information? <laughs> as explained in our community guidelines, we don't allow content that harasses or bullies other people. As such, we've had to remove your petition. So yeah, JT got the petition, um, got the petition removed. So we put it back up on cringe.org. Right, go sign it. <laughs> and all uh, I'm gonna say is JT is a pussy. Yeah. Well, he's certainly uh thinner skinned than Mars Girl. No, no, actually I take it back. He's a super so easy for him to get it pulled off, and Mars Girl <laughs> apparently hasn't even tried. Um so anyway, uh let's see. Now you guys will remember last podcast, we also or I guess it was probably the podcast before that. We also talked about this one, right? Uh, from CNN Anime on Medium.com, anime reviewer Mars Girl accused of sexually assaulting underage boy at a wild party in L.A. Shocking details. Uh, so I pointed out uh, during that podcast that I didn't think CNN Anime was real considering at the Psycho Arsenal was uh, in the URL, indicating Enough. that, again, same thing as before, Right. And, and wouldn't only, you know it? <laughs> not only that, but CNN, when did they ever cover anime unless it never. was Pokemon? They never did. So, um, wouldn't you know it? Oh, the original account name was the Psycho Arsenal, you say? Well, looky here. Already archived, right? So, uh, Farah had a tweet. I started building my new cosplay and ordered some tubing for MR Pew Pew uh, or Mr. Pew. I don't know. Believe it or not. So she says that uh, this pretty lady's originally unreleased Jinx. This is Psycho Arsenal, the character concept for Jinx. So uh, apparently Jinx from League of Legends or whatever was originally going to be called Psycho Arsenal. And she was doing a cosplay of that particular version of the character. Right. So they're like, got her. Right. Anyway. And again, I'm just just clarifying here. 100 uh, percent red handed. Okay, this is not, like not a gotcha or anything. Like I'm, I'm being honest here. Mars girl is correct, right? Farah did all of these things. Okay, just to be a hundred percent clear here. Now, um, things have gotten weird. 
since then. <laughs> Things have gotten it, very weird. <laughs> to say it mildly. So um let me just uh let me pull some stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to because we're we're kind of doing this live. I'm gonna need to move some stuff around so I can just pull it up at will. So we're gonna go over a thread here from Mars Girl. She said, quote, hoped it wouldn't come to this. But last week, I received many screenshots showing why Farah Fatherless has been obsessively attacking me daily for the past month. I have what I believe are fairly definitive receipts that Farah was Vic Mignogna's side chick for seven months in 2022. Juicy. So Farah says on her own Discord... You're okay again. I, sorry, some details about Farah, <laughs> real quick. Um, so as as we looked at previously, um, Mars Girl had accused her of being the one who created the petition because it used the same shit grammar and all that, right? So Farah uses talk to text, and she uses it pretty much exclusively. So um, it's it's grammar aids. Like I'm gonna give you a transmitted verbally disease that you may never recover from as I read this. I'm sorry. Okay. But here it goes. So she said, you're like the literally only active person these days. I'm only halfway joking. You guys aren't replaceable, but I did make some flyers. It's Vic is on the panel. I think she means if, if Vic is on the panel lineup again next year, I'm not going back. I'm not going to back anime. This is supposed to be uh, like the Baca anime, back anime, Bakersfield anime convention, mm -hmm. because I'm going to need to avoid him for my own mental health. He just left me for his ex yesterday. Again, uh, this is December 23rd, 2022. The screenshot was taken day of. Somebody was holding on to this a long time, right? Um, so when she says yesterday, that's got to be December 22nd, 2022. Okay, these are important dates. Um, he has officially ruined fucking anime. I knew I shouldn't have fucked with this asshole. What kind of man wears makeup around anyway? furiously typing. Um, so I'm guessing this is a picture of possibly her. Well, I mean, she's probably taking the, I don't know, but she's with Vic and he's getting his uh, highlights done or whatever in his hair. So then um, she said, I sat with several others for a long time to determine how likely they would be that they're fake. They're uh, <laughs> I love this from what we know of Ferris previous favors. She's not skilled enough to fake a lot of this in a competent way. Where was that level of discernment when it came to Damon Mills, Mars girl? <laughs> um, furthermore, Farrah herself has said she uses talk to text, which is how she ends up with absurdly poor spelling and grammar. In all the screenshots, in all the screenshots, she seems to be the only one speaking with spelling and grammar um, so bad that it could have only come from talk to text onto the receipts, right? So she's just saying like, Look, the, this is her, right? Like nobody else could talk this poorly. Farah has been bragging that she's the president of the so of the SoCal Cosplay Club. A club by that name has existed on Facebook for years without her. However, she does appear to run a completely separate Discord server by the same name. These screenshots are from her server. So this is her saying, um, so you're saying that Mars girl intentionally lied having no evidence because we have a very tight knit decade old club and you have a Facebook group full of whoever and anyone on the internet. Ours is local only and doesn't use Facebook. I did not think we had a Facebook. Okay. So, so, so Cal cosplay club. You'd be really fucking funny as if we, so we accidentally found out that they were the person leaking these things were members of the podcast because they were inside of the That would actually be that would be fucking funny. hilarious. <laughs> so anyway, um, Mars Girl says Farah overshared about her seven month relationship with Vic. Uh, the messages are from December twenty third, twenty twenty two, and possibly the following days. Hold on, I, I meant to show you something first. I fucked up already. That's how good this is going. Okay, this is Farah's LinkedIn. 
Con slut confirmed. Okay. <laughs> also, <laughs> she uh, con she firm. lists she lists on her LinkedIn. Goodness gracious, everybody! Jeez. <laughs> She links. She lists on her on her LinkedIn that she is a content creator for TikTok, skills, acting, voice acting, film acting, influencer, voiceover, right? Anyway, president SoCal Cosplay Collective. So yeah, so she's uh, been the president for a year and two months. Um, not quite a decade, like she said, but whatever. <laughs> so anyway, so Far Farrah overshared about her seventh month relationship with Vic. The messages are from December 23rd, 2022, and possibly the following days slash days. So she said, Vic Mignogna? You were dating Vic Mignogna? Yeah. Lesson learned, kiddos. Don't date your idols. Why would anybody not already know that? <laughs> How long did you date him for? Seven months, a literal half a year of my fucking lifespan. <laughs> I did hear stories. He's a womanizer every single day. And again, I, I wish I understood. <laughs> I don't. Every single day we said good morning and night. We spent every single day on each other for oh. seven fucking months wow. in the schools just up my ex popped back around blah 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 he's actually not he was perfect he's just a weak dumbass when it comes to women so no. i'm going to have to i have no fucking idea what me what in the schools means but i think i think she's saying i, I think, think she's, she's saying californian talk i think it is like well i think i think what she's saying is that um i think she's saying he's like Oop, my ex popped back around, blah, blah, blah. Like, as in, like, because, uh, again, talk to text. Whoop, like, up. I, I, I'm i trying to figure out how that became that, you know? I That that makes sense to me. I don't know the, for seven fucking months in the schools. That I just don't get that. Like, I, I don't get it. In anyway, but, but the, the hood. it doesn't matter. Like, the, the point of it is that she is saying that they dated for seven months, and then Vic said to her, Hey, you know, I'm going to get back together with my ex. Sorry. See ya. You know, I mean, do you think that any person was seriously considering a relationship with this consulate? <laughs> like, no, that's this that's, only fans having consulate. No, that's now, just uh, a, a, you know, a bounce. That's it. Yeah. You know? well, it's so, a uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For seven months, spending every day on each other. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Farah describes me. Woke up Vic. and went to bed on their knees. <laughs> Farah describes meeting Vic in May of 2022, presumably at Back Anime, a convention that hosted him near where Farah lives. Yeah, she lives in Bakersfield. It's Bakersfield Anime Convention. Makes perfect sense. Shares a photo with what is clearly her tattooed arm slash hand holding up the back of a photo where Vic's handwriting can be seen, giving her his personal email. Oh, so scandalous. Oh, wait a minute. Vic the WAP at AOL.com. Hold on. Wait a sec. Isn't now correct me if I'm wrong. Vicsworld.net, you know, his website. Where is that coming from? Oh, I hear March girl's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, on Vic's website, there's a, a you guys can't see it in the screen share, but when you mouse over this in the bottom left corner, it says mail to Vic the WAP at AOL.com. And if I had a competent browser, this would open in a mail thing and you could you could email that email. That's the fucking email, his personal email that's public on his website for decades now, right? Now, look, I, just to be clear, I, I want to make it, this fully clear. I 100% believe that Vic fucked this girl multiple times. Okay. I 100% believe that. The problem is oh that, that changes absolutely nothing in regards to the fact that, as we've said from the beginning, being a man whore is not something to be, you know, canceled over when the accusations coming at him immediately upon the kick Vic hashtag was anti-Semitic rapist, child molester, you know, all of that shit. Right. Also, not only that, but Damon Mills, the fact that Mars girl, 
like you said earlier, AC, like yeah. the energy that she put with father, fatherless Farah, right? Or Farah, fatherless. Mm. She didn't do that with Damon Mills. Like, what the fuck? So to be fair to Mars Girl, um, Farah was attacking her recently. Um, she, out of nowhere, according to my understanding, and again, Farah deleted all of her Twitter. Very little of it's been archived. Um, I did not pay attention to this because fuck both these people. They're annoying. But now it's like, okay, so I wish I had, I guess. But the drama is really cancer, um, especially the spelling and grammar of Farah. <laughs> but uh, but to, to be fair to Mars Girl, um, she would give greater scrutiny to Farah because Farah was tweeting at her every single day for weeks or whatever. Okay. So just laying it out there like that, like I can understand you would have a greater, um, you would have a greater, you know, what do you call it? Um, uh, animosity. No, like you're, you, you'd be more tuned in to, you know, the like brain and how it works and all the schemes and stuff of the person who's attacking you versus, you know, how deeply tuned in we were to the Damon Mills stuff. Like I, I can get that. Like, but I'm just saying we called out when we were calling out Damon Mills that it was impossible for um, what was his name? Duncan to have actually, you know, fabricated all that shit because he's a fucking idiot as we, ex as we exposed. Right. And he's a and terrible liar too. Oh, yeah. I, I he did. He, he could not have fabricated the things that they claimed he fabricated um, and there would have been ways for us to verify and we could have provided, you know, proof had he done it. Um, and they chose not to, uh, not to pursue proving it because in doing so would have proved it to be authentic. Um, anyway, so, um, anyway, so she's, she, uh, she shared this picture. Oh, Vic, the WAP at AOL.com. Now look, we're we're experiencing this together okay i unfortunately have had an extremely busy week by i had monday off right and then when i went home on thursday night i had already clocked 38 hours all right and then i came home and had to go back to work at at three o'clock in the morning and then i worked all the way until 4 30 right so 4 30 p.m right so it just an absolute shit week. I'm sorry I didn't get more time uh, devoted to this, but um, again, I I do think that Vic probably was seeing this uh, this woman. Um, but let's just you know, I, th there's evidence that could go either way up to this point. It's not hard to just literally write Vic the Wop at AOL.com on the back of a piece of paper and pretend you know. But as I said, from the basic gist I've gotten of this, it seems. Uh, from the fact that she deleted all of her tweets and the fact that Vic's ex has also nuked all of her social media, it seems that there is something here and it's more than just, oh, we're being harassed because this girl won't shut up or whatever and is making up stories. All right. So anyway, so she says, started as a fan, ended up as nothing but a fan. Uh, hey, oh, that's red flag one. He knew you were a fan and used that. Yup. Right. So. Uh, Mars girl goes on to say, if this is how it appears, Farah is actually the victim here. White knighting for Farah. Vic did what he's done for years and played around with women physically and emotionally. She shares a screenshot of a conversation with Vic. She tries to cut him off permanently, but Vic wants her to wait around for him. Okay. So I, I'll, once again, the theme of tonight's episode is fatherlessness. <laughs> okay. Vic did not have a father either. He was raised by a single mother. His father figure was Captain Kirk. And how is Captain Kirk with women? A man whore. A wrestler. Yeah, he, he is a suave, as they say. So, um, so Vic, again, I 100% believe that he is the type to have, a, what is it, a, a woman in every port, so to speak, right? Yes. Uh, I totally 100% have always thought that that was a likely scenario that he appears to be a man whore going back to Chuck Huber's um, uh, email that he wrote, where he said, I believe Vic Mignogna has used his status in shameful ways to get affection for women or sex from women or whatever, however he phrased that. Right. Again, from the beginning, I have felt, yeah, this is very likely. Right. Um, 
But again, the ultimate thing, and for me, what hashtag anime gate has been from the beginning is not, is Vic a perfect human? It has always been, is it justified to cancel the man's career, number one? And number two, on a completely separate spectrum here, look at what everybody in the industry did to cancel him. Why did you have to make up lies? Samantha Inouye Hart with the fake swatting. Fucking um, Brett Weaver with the, the lies about Mario Jima. Freaking any number of people. Uh, what was um, the guy he got on his neck? Neil Kaplan was saying that he basically raped the back of his neck. Right. Like every single one of these people came out and attacked him and many, if not everything that could be backed up with video evidence turned out to be an exaggeration or an outright lie. Right. So again, when it comes down to it, I will fully acknowledge. Yeah. And uh, suspected from the beginning that Vic is a ladies man who probably has yeah, I, I, well, we knew from the beginning, you know, because he admitted cheating on Michelle Speck, that he has trouble keeping it in his pants, right? So um, anyway, coming in here, she says, it appears that Fair is the victim. Here's the screenshots of the conversation with him. So they, somebody that Fair is talking to says, that's pretty shit. Fair says, yeah, he was like, are you really discounting our entire relationship just because I won't be around anymore? I was like, bro, you discounted our entire relationship when you left me for your fucking ex. So this is crazy to me because when I um when I first came into you know looking into this my perception of it and what had been going around and I don't know maybe we'll get to this point somewhere in this thread is that Farah claimed that she was Polly like Polly Amorous had more than one lover and that Vic was open to that too but that Vic's ex wasn't okay so um it seems to me that based on how she's acting in the, in these uh, DMs or, or the stuff in her Discord from back in December of 2022, that she was not quote unquote Polly and that she was actually really broken up about, about this, right? So she says um, in, in the... Um, um, in the screenshot of the text communication here, her tweet or pardon her texts are going to be on the right hand side and Vic's texts are going to be on the left hand side. So she said, can we just say goodbye then? As in like, let's just end it. If you're going to break up with me, let's fucking end it. And he said, I hate that. Sounds so permanent. She said, I regret reading that stupid fucking diary. And I only did it because you allowed me to think that I left Sharon said that you did to you allowed me to think that you had feelings for me today when you had, when you said that shit. So that's the really, no, that's the only reason I read that. And it's really embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> I don't understand a single word. Um, so I guess no wonder he left her. <laughs> there was, it was lost in translation. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I, I don't quite understand from, from what I've gathered and we'll, we'll see it in a moment. Uh, it sounds like she read aloud something from her diary to him. Uh, and that's what she's talking about, but I don't know what this, you allowed me to think that I left Sharon said that you did to you allowed me to think that you had feeling. I think what I think that what she's doing here is she's stumbling over her words in talk to text and not erasing the words. So I think, I think she says, I regret reading that stupid fucking diary. And I only did it because you allowed me to think that you had feelings for me today when you said that shit. So that's real. The only reason I read it and it's really embarrassing. So embarrassing, like the most embarrassing thing I have ever said in my life. And he said, please don't be as in, don't be embarrassed. I'm so grateful. And it was beautiful. No, I think he's re this reply was typed up here when she said, I'm embarrassed. And she finished saying that as he finished typing this one. So it came up first. And then he's saying no to um, like the most embarrassing thing I ever said in my life. That's how I'm reading that. Right. It was so fucking stupid and misplaced. And he says it was not right. So then um, she's talking about this 
conversation. Um, and the person says, quote, hold on. What do you need? It says, quote, hold on. That's wonderful. Can you show me tomorrow? Awesome. I can't wait to see them tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs> Children are a treasure. <laughs> so anyway, um, so in response to the... Um, text screenshot she shared somebody replied saying quote hey wait as i fuck my ex and if i get bored i want you to take me back just in case which to be fair does kind of sound like what's happening right vic uh is keeping his options open uh i think that he sees himself as a high value lover right and so uh if if something doesn't work out he doesn't want to have to find somebody new when he's already put in the time and energy into Farah, and he could just jump right back into that Punani, you know? Uh, and also, again, fatherless, uh, got a lot of issues and easy to manipulate, right? Uh, so she said he literally wants to act like he had feelings and was capable of doing that shit. Exactly. So then I read this piece of my diary to him, right about me writing about some feelings don't know what that means uh and shit like and tell him basically like you can't have feelings for someone and then do this shit to them so i think um i think what she's saying is that uh um like again i, I think she's practically or is literally crying on the other end of the phone as she's doing the talk to text and so she's stumbling over her words a lot but basically she's just saying like um it's really shitty for you to break up with me when look at how in love with you I was or, and I thought you loved me too, or what, you know what I mean? Um, I'm literally asking him, can we say goodbye then? Cause he's telling me he's not going to talk to me anymore in the screenshot. I just sent you. I asked him, can we just say goodbye then? And he's like, I don't like that. It sounds permanent. Bitch, you left me for your ex. Of course it's fucking permanent. You dumbass motherfucker. <laughs> it's definitely fucking permanent. <laughs> You don't just talk to somebody anymore at the behest of your accent. I try your ex. I don't know. Um, and think it's not fucking permanent. Boo hoo, motherfucker. Not going to lie. The way he words it, very manipulative. I don't know if I would say very manipulative, but I do think like, how can I put this again? Um, growing up without a father, I think it's very likely that this is normal to Vic, right? Like acting this way too in his relationships to me seems like it's second nature and it's not a cognitive decision to try to, you know, um, uh, uh, uno reverse a breakup or whatever. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's legitimately just his way of, you know, not being able, like, again, this, this seems to me like um, Vic doesn't want to actually break up with this girl because he has a big heart and I almost said a bigger dick, a bigger sex drive. <laughs> no wonder he's so popular. <laughs> but, um, but it, it just seems to me like he's trying to keep his, uh, his options open, but not necessarily in a nefarious way, but just as like, that's, that's the, the way that he, you know, has entered the dating world, you know, like his, again, uh, Captain Kirk, uh, role model is, you know, sleep with a, a different exotic woman in every episode of Star Trek, you know, kind of thing. So, um, so I would say it is manipulative, but I wouldn't use it like this. Like sounds very manipulative. It's like, I do think it's manipulative, but I don't think it's like a deliberate thing necessarily. I don't know. Could be deliberate. And I, it wouldn't really change much if it was, but just the vibe that I personally get from it as of this point in us covering this, um, it seems like it's probably a little bit more of, he's kind of an idiot and uh, doesn't value, you know, pair bonding the way that he should, because again, no father. So the, they go on to say, dude's a weirdo for that as a guy perspective. I don't know if this is a guy like speaking from a male's point of view, that guy's a weirdo. You should fuck me instead. And I, 
as a beta simp perspective. <laughs> um, so she goes on to say, yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. I mean, he literally stated that to come at me like, oh, I hate that. That sounds permanent. <laughs> how the <laughs> fuck do you think we're getting back? Oh, wait. How do you, how the fuck do you think getting back with your ex sounds to your girlfriend of seven months, lol? Definitely the correct perspective. Super manipulative. He's back with his ex, but wording stuff so it's not the end. Yes. But that translates to, I want to be able to come back and fuck you. Yes, that's exactly what's happening. They're a very apt <laughs> way of looking at it. Hold on one second. Sending you guys a message in the private chat. Sorry. Um, anyway. Um, she says, yep. They say like putting you in his back pocket. Yeah. Yes. I told him back burner and he did not like that. Uh, the thing that bothers me is the lack of empathy. I cannot believe he was dumb enough to think that he could come back from that. He was, ha uh, halogenated <laughs> about it too. I'm not sure what she means by that. He was halogenated about it too. And the saddest thing is that he doesn't, he does not want kids. This is where it fucking kills me right here. That he does not want kids. That's what she's saying. He does not want kids. I don't, I've heard Vic talk about not being a father. And I think he's talked about wishing he had kids or having, you know, a desire to fulfill the role of a father. Again, being fatherless, I think that there is a, uh, I think that there is a potential that he is afraid of being a father because he's never had one. You know what I mean? So, so to speak, like he doesn't know how to stop his kids from getting into the same mischief he did, especially in this day and age where, where all the kids he's fucking are 20, 22 year old thoughts. Right. <laughs> so but, regarding um, what is it, the keeping the door open thing, I think it also has to do with like, you know, the whole uh, thing about like being okay with Polly and stuff is that you have such a, a, a shallow bond with a lot of people comparatively. So you don't value that type of thing. So you're like, yeah, you want to keep it open just in Yeah. Case? But see, the thing is that I don't think Vic, um, I don't think Vic is Polly. And I don't think Farrah was at the point of this. I think that that's a coping mechanism she's using now uh, because again, and I don't even know if we're going to get to the part where she was talking more recently before her, um, before she deleted her Twitter, but she had talked about all of those things more recently, like in April of this year. And it seemed as though she was reauthoring what happened in order to, make Vic the good guy, right? In this situation, right? And again, as grown adults, I don't think there's necessarily a good guy, bad guy dynamic going on here. This is fucking life in the sense that sometimes a person is having a relationship with somebody else while they still miss their ex. And then the ex comes back into the picture and they go with their heart to the person they actually wanted to be with the whole time. That fucking happens. Now, the part that is weird is the back pocketing that he appears to be doing. Like, oh, uh, let's, it sounds too permanent. You know, that is definitely, uh, that is definitely a little bit, you know, uh, different from the norm, the normality or whatever of people you know, breaking up all the time and going back with their ex that fucking happens. You know, somebody, somebody has a history with a prior lover there, you know, it's hard to break that again. This is why virginity is cool. Everyone <laughs> was abstinence is cool. Uh, let's see. Okay. So then we go here. This is where it gets heartbreaking. So Ferris says, this is Vic trying to go back to his ex-girlfriend, but it's worse than she is aware. As far as we knew, Vic's public-facing girlfriend has been Commander Bren, who posted about a relationship with Vic regularly throughout 2022 on Instagram before going private. So I hate to do this, because this fucking kills me, um, but I want to remind you guys of something that happened at Anime Matsuri. 
Another one is this awesome girl over here, Haley Todd. Say hi to her. That's Commander Bren. So you guys remember when we covered that Anime Matsuri had hired a bunch of voice actors to perform in um, Zip Shimezo and um, Gemba Nojo with Vic acting as the uh, uh, the voice direction or whatever, right? Um, and among that list was Cynthia Krantz, Tiffany Vollmer, um, Brian Massey, Nola Klopp, um, Haley Todd, um, you know, a bunch of, a bunch of people, uh, like that. Um, I'm blanking on one more. Uh, oh, uh, what was it? Morgan Barry, right? <laughs> there was the whole thing about, uh, there was that whole thing about, I'm not uh, associated with those people. Yeah. Oh. And about Monica blocking her and then lying about it and then deleting the tweet where she said it was easy to block them and all that shit. Um, so anyway, so, um, Again, as far as we knew, Vic's public-facing girlfriend has been... Oh, my God. My fucking boss is killing me right now. Texting me. <laughs> um, as far as we know, Vic's public-facing girlfriend has been Commander Bren, who posted about a relationship with Vic regularly throughout 2022 on Instagram before going private. I don't think the Instagram is private now. I, th I think it's up and gone. Because normally you can see the Instagram, but now it's like it's completely gone. You know, normally you would just say this account is private, right? But I, the, it's like nothing comes up. So I, I'm pretty sure she's nuked the account. So I just want to point it. George R. Brown Convention Center. That's the one um, the anime Matsuri is held in, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is Nick Riccada, Lady Rackets, Squally, no fucking idea. That's Tiffany Vollmer. I, I mean, that looks like Chris Ayers from Beyond the Grave a little bit, but that's surely not who that is. There's Vic. Vic's mom, that's Haley Todd, and I believe this is Haley Todd's daughter. He also looks like Chris Sabat a little bit with the a little bit, and right? glasses and beard. Which is funny to me, because it would mean that Tiffany Vollmer, who voiced Bulma, fell in love. I mean, because it kind of looks like they're maybe in a relationship, and that's why they're standing close, right? That Tiffany Vollmer... Um, got together with a guy who looks like uh budget savage, right? <laughs> it happens all the time. Uh, Jennifer Lopez did that with a bunch of uh, guys that you, was puff daddy. Same thing. They have a bad breakup. They want somebody that looks like them and dress like them. Yeah. I find it really funny. It, it just, so something so weird about Squally's hand on <laughs> lady rackets stomach. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, assuming that's who that is, but, um, I'm pretty sure because Nick is right behind her. Anyway, no, it, so, is, um, it is Lady Rackets. It is, right? Mm -hmm. Massive jugs, Nick. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, uh, so she said, when I post, I prefer it to be life updates for those that want to know me or things that make you laugh or career moves or winning moments to celebrate with me. I've said before, I consider Instagram more of a personal scrapbook than a promotion tool. I like keeping my most special moments to myself because I want them to belong only to me. But this one was so special that I had to paint it. As my mom and I have grown closer, she has taught me some uh, she has taught me some of the things that she knows and I couldn't be more happy with the result. Maybe about painting it. She taught her how to paint, I don't know. Um late November 2021, date night, post Bible study. Routine for us now, but with a twist. Vic Mignogna asked if I wanted to go to dinner on his motorcycle, to which I replied that I'd never ridden one. So naturally, it had to happen. Dinner had been perfect until we walked outside to find it pouring down rain. What would have annoyed most people made us laugh until we cried, our tears indiscernible from the rain falling down our faces. As we climbed on the bike, soaked to the bone, and went for a night ride through the city. Such a simple moment, but a feeling stirred within me that I never wanted to ever let anything come between these perfectly imperfect simple moments. That night, the rain washed us clean, gave us life, and made us new. That ride served to remind us that God's timing will never match our own, but that in trusting him, 
we find his plans for us are always way more creative and so much better than we could have imagined. That's about as close to dancing as you can get on a crotch rocket. Okay, weirdly phrased. <laughs> and it will forever be one of my favorite core memories. I think I'll start painting more of my core memories. I call this one falling like the rain. Anyway, so um, before we jump into the rest of this, I want to show you guys some posts from her now deleted Instagram. Um, this is obviously them on a date. That's Haley, Todd, and Vic, obviously. She is 29, by the way, and he's pushing 60, but... That only means that she would be raising the children alone for half of it. <laughs> um, like, the, like the odd couple dude, right? The actor who was like 70 and he died before his son was like five or six years old. Yeah. Uh, so again, and I'll just say like, I, I got nothing wrong with, you know, the age gap personally, but just I don't either. As, as a bit of advice, especially to younger women, the age gap will hurt when you are alone because yeah. you will spend a good 30 more years without your spouse, just throwing that out there. It would be better for you to aim closer to your age range. Um, unless he's filthy fucking rich and about to kick the bucket, in which case go Jeez. for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's fucked up, but it's true. Generally speaking, I think having the same expiry date is ideal, but ideal, you yeah. know, do what you want. So anyway, um, so those are the posts uh, from her uh, Instagram. <clears throat> and uh, I want to address some chats real quick before we get on too far. Great. Thanks for starring so many. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. I might have <laughs> I mean I have none of them stick out in particular that I could okay. think of. <clears throat> Hentai is better. Then what? <laughs> What's the... thanks for the context and starring the <laughs> is it better than food? Is it better than beef jerky? Come on, give us the context, right. man. Scrolling back up. <laughs> it was probably something you were talking probably, about probably in probably the better moment. than the like, petition. Right? Like uh <laughs> better than real women or something. I don't know. Uh, is my mic coming through? Yeah. Okay, cool. What's up, Jordan? How's it going? Uh, Drax Mars. the Clown. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Very real thing. Breaking news. Mars Girl raped our smarts with her bully talk. Okay. He uses the word <laughs> smarts. Uh, Drax the Clown says, says uh, and in this corner, hailing from Dunkin' Donuts from the great <laughs> state of obesity. <laughs> uh, Cosmic Dawn says, oh, She's called Mars Girl. I thought she was called Mars Bar Girl. <laughs> All right. Mars Girl is Save just a petty calories. idiot. CNN hates anime. Of course, there's no CNN anime. Now you know how Vic feels, bitch. <laughs> um, JT came back to say hello again. Unless that's secondary fake JT. The great JT of the Discord is here. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Said this twice, I see. <laughs> um, just catching up. This is why I don't have a LinkedIn. That's, yep, because like you, who <laughs> don't have one, oh. I never check mine. And then 30 years of job opportunities I didn't even know were there <laughs> show up in my messages on podcasts. <laughs> uh, is that Courtney Love trying to dress as a little girl? Maybe that is Jamie Markey. Are you an idiot? <laughs> what? Hold on. What could that even would, possibly I, be? I would say. Greatly, oh, is that greatly. is that Farrah fatherless? Is that? I don't. I don't. Seven fifty one. I don't. That was like a half hour ago. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I really don't want to see it. I don't really see a point in having one. Oh, the LinkedIn. Yeah, totally. Um, he's 60 years old, Farah. Okay. Um, gives a shit, I never right? stopped the shithead from Megadeth from getting on with women. Well, 
can't argue with that logic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you're a multimillionaire, I mean, you kind of fuck you. I do what I want. <laughs> so to I answer, mean, look at Hugh, look at Hugh Hefner. He was an old bag. Yeah, fucking Hugh Hefner. He dude. was with, yeah, he was like eighty, and he was with like twenty something year old like babies. Thirty girlfriends. To answer like, dude, this question insane. real quick, um, what's this got to do with Mars Girl? So I'm using Mars Girl's posts because Farah deleted her tweets and Mars Girl has the screenshots. Um, and also the screenshots are from the Discord, which we don't have access to. Um, and it's, what it has to do with Mars Girl is that, again, as we covered at the beginning of the podcast, it was Farah who created the petition and the Medium article from the perspective of CNN Anime and all that stuff. So... Um, <laughs> Uh, I believe most anime voice so. actors live that rock star life, if you know what I mean. So I, I would like to say in regards to this. So um, I sort of talked about, like, we looked at what happened as soon as the KickFic hashtag took off. And we saw what the industry did. And how many people were so quick to jump on the hashtag and outright lie just to be a part of it, Right. I think in reality, before the Kick Vic hashtag, the vast majority of the anime voice acting industry were fucking nobodies. Just complete nobodies. Nobody cared about them or their opinions online. And then as soon as this happened, they got rushed with a wave of, I can be important or, or I can get attention for this, right? And so they all jumped on it. I mean, look no further than Samantha Inoue Hart with her fucking um, unbelievable story about he fucked her on my bed, right? Uh, and then <laughs> from the fake plotting and all that, right? So uh, I think that it really went to their heads, you know, mm -hmm. that and some of them uh, feel, and I mean, look no further than fucking, uh, what's the guy's name uh, who played Wolfwood? Um, N Nimoy, Jeff Nimoy, right? Jeff Nimoy's documentary yep. uh, or mockumentary or whatever on Famish, right? Where it's like he's hooking up with the convention staff, you know? Like, this is their life, you know? And to quote Donald Trump, they let you do anything, <laughs> right? <laughs> when you're fucking rich and famous. Grab them by the pussy, right? That's Vic's life. That's how things go, right? He like these consulates to throw themselves at him. Not not saying Haley Todd is a consulate. She seems like a very nice person. And and again, I just want to say she's a nice lady. I just want to say yeah, it, she's it, a sweet lady. We we don't know anything about of her. Of everything we're covering tonight, my heart aches for how in love with Vic she was. Right? Like legitimately, I feel fucking awful for Haley Todd. This is terrible, and I hate that we have to do this, right? Um, so anyway, um, J uh, JT says, Farah is smart. Good on her to get off Twitter. <laughs> but she had good tips. Farah had confirmed nipple piercings are okay to go to airport security. You Why mean, wouldn't oh, you I archive thought, that, okay, I thought... bro? <laughs> but will you? I thought <laughs> Hold when you said tips. I need to know. What about the MRI? Why do I think JT is like a like literally Pharaoh incognito? Like I I have that theory now. Like it has to be her oh now. My God. Anyway, okay. When I saw when I saw the word nipple, I thought that tips was actually a typo for tips. She has good tips. <laughs> wow. Tyler, you are in it, my friend. <laughs> or frosted tips like Paul Walker did had in the back in the day with the blonde. Or Vic tips. right in this photo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that too. JT says Damon Mills is innocent. Leave Damon alone. Happy Pride Month. But you'll notice he spelled Damon Mills' name incorrectly. Oh, yeah. So JT, he isn't actually talking about that Damon fuck Mills. <laughs> He's talking about some <laughs> other separate entity. He's talking about day men, not day man. <laughs> the man. Uh, All right, hold on. Uh, Laquadria Wells, uh, hello, Queen Luna, says that's not his handwriting. So um, I I don't know. It might not be his handwriting, but we're going to see more. And and maybe, maybe we'll get to the bottom of it tonight. Maybe we won't. Um, I do think there's a lot more out there. And I would love it if anybody um, 
finds additional information about this on the discord, which I'll pull up right now. Um, we do have a, uh, a thread going. If you want to join the discord, which, Oh my God, I haven't sent a link. I'll do that right now. Um, if you guys would like to join the discord and provide us with any information, here is, or just me. Yeah, or just me. You could just, you don't have to provide us information. You could just shit post. That's cool. Um, <laughs> oh, wrong. That's uh, uh, over here. Here you go. There's the link to the Discord. So in the Discord, in the Vic Mignana lawsuit, where did the thread go? There it is. Okay. <laughs> There's a thread here for Father Father Farah Fatherless Drama. Uh, where you guys, if you find any additional stuff, you can add it here. And uh, I will try my best to stay up to date with it and uh, continue to cover it going forward. Anyway, um, so getting back into this. Um, he had strippers. I like the idea in my head canon that it turns out that um, because Farrah Fatherless, again, let me just pull up real quick, her linked tree. <laughs> I just think it's important that you see what's... <laughs> Fair fatherless. Hello, players. Don't Welcome to the click. game. <laughs> yeah. You can go to her profile, porn vids, pics, and more at many vids, or her OnlyFans, or her porn, porn hub. She's a verified porn star, right? So <laughs> it, It's prawn hub, AC. Remember yeah. where we're at. So, it's um, prawn hub. I'm not going to click on it. But there's one video <laughs> we've already on her clicked porn on hub. <laughs> no, I'm not going to click on it on stream. But no, we've already clicked on it. Yeah. There is this? one video. She is fucking hideous. Whoever whoever's dick she's sucking is a champ for keeping it up. <laughs> I am sure there is at least five Viagra. Viagra or Cialis no. or no. Here's the thing, though. That video was posted a year ago. Oh, that no. might be yeah. Vic's dick. Like, <laughs> oh, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just saying. There is a possibility. <laughs> now, although Ooh. I am also in the process of becoming verified on Pornhub, <laughs> uh. I am curious to know if you get verified on Pornhub, does the partner in your video also need to be verified on Pornhub? And if so, so does this mean Vic, Vic is verified on Pornhub? <laughs> I'm starting this room. Does this mean no? Maybe the only reason she's verified is because she had a celebrity name behind it, and he submitted his ID. No, the way that verification he, works on Pornhub, and this is why we haven't gotten verified, is because they don't have a way to verify you yet. Um, or at least last time I checked. Uh, and again, just for the for the backstory here, I am on a mission to be the only podcast ever banned off Pornhub because we're the only one stupid enough to try. So that's why we're trying to get verified on Pornhub so we can stream to the, the Pornhub. Yeah, we we'll be known as the the, the non degenerate degenerates, right? Yes. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna skip ahead on a bunch of uh, comments real quick. Um, if if you see any more, just star them. I can't I can't keep up. There's too many. I saw yeah. Smarky Gun we have something to say about chosen. all of them, even the most mundane ones. They're consenting adults. They can do what they want as long as they're aware of what they do. People are milking this for the sake of drama. Yeah. So again, I, I think that I think that all the stuff that they're saying about this is mostly true in terms of like the actual factual stuff. But at the end of the day, it's like, and like, so where do we go from here? What what does this change? We knew all of this stuff. I, I do think it's very funny, though. I was trying to make this joke earlier with the link tree. What if the call girl... What if that's how Vic met Farah? <laughs> but here's the thing, though. What if it was the call girl service from, from the, the uh, deposition? <laughs> this was revealed in the depositions and other things, so it really doesn't matter at this point. All right. 
So uh, is their solution to this situation that we have to ban thoughts from cons because they'd have to say, well, Vic's a thought. Like, <laughs> I mean, at this point, they're it just like there's they're indistinguishable from prostitutes. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. Everybody wants a little fun and whether it's for guys and women or whatever, it doesn't really matter. So continuing, um, Mars Girl says this includes Haley posting about how blissfully happily how blissfully happy she is with Vic at Anime Monstery in July of last year. Now listen. July is definitely after May when Vic's with when Vic's relationship with Farah began. Okay, so the math on this is he broke up with me yesterday after we dated for seven months. Now I'm gonna say six. Because Farah Farah is not super bright. She could be rounding up. It's hard to say because it's towards the end of, of June or uh, of December. But the point is that six months before um, before December is July. So regardless, in that time frame, he's in a relationship with Farah as well as Haley Todd. Oh, night mode, apparently. <laughs> 836 what a weird time to kick in <laughs> all right anyway so she says first i prayed for opportunities to lend my talents to great projects i thought that meant moving to hollywood and making sacrifices to conform to a lifestyle i didn't want to live then in 2016 god gave me vic Mignana. then I prayed that I could be part of an impactful story and be a light for others in the entertainment industry. Then God gave me anime Matsuri. When I started acting for film and television in 2012, I had a plan that was completely different. And when nothing worked out the way I had hoped, I was devastated. At the time, I couldn't see how things could ever improve. Yet everything in between then and now, all the hardships and disappointments all those micro decisions and what I perceived to be setbacks were actually setting me up, setting all of us up for greater things. God's plan is always more beautiful than our desires. So when nothing seems to be going right, it's because whatever you're holding on to is not meant for you. And all it means is that better things are on the way. How great is it to think the best days of our life haven't happened yet? Fuck, I feel so bad for her. <laughs> uh, this is the start of something new. I have no idea what will happen next or where it will take me. But how exciting is that? Thank you, everyone who made this weekend a new core memory for me. Thank you to the fans for your support, to the new friends I made, and to the new family that's taken me in. I love you all, and I'll see you next year. So real quick, because this seems like the appropriate time to bring this up. This is Haley Todd's Facebook page. I don't, I don't know. There's no way to like friend her. So I think it's a page, not a, but I, there's no way to follow her either. I don't know. Um, but in the, uh, in her about section, it says she's been in a relationship since no, November 4th, 2021. So um, I'm guessing, I'm guessing again that that means that she's been um, that she had started dating Vic from November 2021. I think that they did at one point break up, right, and then they got back together, right. Um, and I do think there was at least some amount of overlap between Farah and Haley Todd, right. Now um, this again is her at uh, Anime Matsuri. She's She's got her booth right next to Vic and Tiffany Vollmer, a.k.a. Good Bulma. Um, and uh, pulling this over here. Sorry, I've just got, I've got so many tabs. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, it's going so smoothly. Yeah, totally. Where are we? <laughs> here we go. Okay. So then uh, Mars Girl says, it's possible the, uh, the blah, blah, blah. it's possible there's communications we'll never know about, 
but it sure looks like Vic lied to Farah about being broken up with Haley and started a side relationship with Farah while Haley was at home. Sounds an awful lot like his ex fiance's affidavit from his lawsuit. Yes, it does. But here's the thing. Once again, nobody ever yeah. said that this wasn't true. Vic admitted to this in the deposition. He's admitted to cheating on his fiance numerous times. He was also in a relationship with Celise, uh, another woman, I believe, who had uh, two kids, right? He also admitted like, this on Nick Ricada's uh, interview. Remember that? Yeah. So, so just saying, none of this is new. This is all. This is all within the established lore of Vic Mignogna. Um, It isn't a good quality, for sure. But the point is, and if you read the uh, uh, her affidavit, which again is her fucking like like I hate you email that she just submitted as as evidence, and in it she reads between the lines of everything she's seeing in the kick Vic um, again. Oh, she's got his personal email. <laughs> no, um, but she's, she's basically reading between the lines of the um, you son of a bitch. I see you. I see you. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> she's basically, she was basically reading between the lines of everything that was happening in the in the hashtag kick Vic and she was spinning that into oh I see so this is what you were doing right kind of thing um and so I'm not gonna um, we've we've already covered the the email I'm not gonna bother to read it we've got so much shit to do tonight we're already an hour in um uh, so anyway she goes on to say fair suggests that the ex-girlfriend swung back around when it looked like Vic was happy could tell he was talking to someone else and asked him to stop. Um, so I think, wait, hold on. Ferris just said girlfriend stuff going around when it looked like Vic was happy, could tell he was talking to someone else and asked him to stop. So I think Haley is the one that she's referring to here, not Farah. Did Haley catch him cheating and Vic fed Farah some weird BS? So, so what Farah goes on to say here, is um, so he would visit Bakersfield often or was it long distance? Uh, she said in reply to that, I guess she told me she asked me not to talk to you. She uh, She's saying this is, I guess, what Vic said. Um, so Haley told me, Vic, not to talk to you while I'm giving this a shot, as in we're getting back together. And so I, this is what I'm guessing is happening, as, as Mars Girl said. Uh, it sounds like. Mars, or Mars girl, fuck me. There's too many players on this chessboard. <laughs> There's three. <laughs> three is too much. <laughs> no, uh, four. Um, so anyway, uh, it sounds to me like, uh, as Mars girl suggested, that um, that Haley caught Vic cheating or knew something was up, whatever, you know, and um, they, you know, separated, broke up, whatever, and then there was a serendipitous moment where they came back together and uh motherfucker i'll do it in in the same minute fuck you mirage <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway so spreading the love <laughs> um so uh so yeah haley basically confronted him about infidelity or whatever was going on in, in the way that she saw it, whether she knew the full breadth of it or not. And um, they split. And then for whatever reason, they managed to get back together and she was willing to give him another chance. He's very charming. Could probably, you know, it's probably common for him to make mistakes like these and then be able to, uh, to win people back because he is, you know, extremely caring. You know, um, and I, I think that that is disarming to to women. Um, and again, I don't think this is a nefarious, you know, manipulative. It's not like the dentist system from uh, uh, from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, but it is just as harmful. Like to be clear, you know, at the end of the day, it's not like oh, well, he didn't, he doesn't mean to be a dick bag. It's like well, it, it still has the same effect, right? And just to be clear, um, but the same effect on them, I should say. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so she she. If we're going to give this another shot, meaning if, if Haley and Vic are going to get back together and try to work this out because they clearly still had feelings for each other, then if I'm going to do that with you, you need to stop talking to Farrah, right? That's 
what how I'm reading this. Anyway, um, so straight up, just some shit that he was literally here with me last month in LA. Okay, damn, you dated Edward Full Metal Alchemist. Like this bitch is our keeper. Oh, okay. So like this bitch is a keeper. It's probably what she said to talk to text. So like this bitch is a keeper for somebody who talks about not wanting to be controlled. Lol. She sure controls the shit out of him. She had not spoken to him in about a year, but she could tell he was happy with someone else. And this was the result. He literally said it himself that, that he said, she could tell he was talking to somebody else and that's why she came back around. I mean, you could at least say that lol. He thought I should be grateful too. wrong to. Um, so anyway, yeah. So, um, I'm, I'm not sure what the timeline is, but Farah is clearly an idiot. If she's, I mean, I guess she's not really an idiot in the sense that how would you know? Like, yes, you could f accidentally find, now you should be able to find it if because Haley was tagging Vic in the post on Instagram. You're an idiot, Farah. <laughs> also, Vic seemingly told her this stint of going back to his ex was maybe only going to last three weeks to give her closure. So Farah should just wait. Really wondering how Haley feels about this. Again, these are the words of Farah here. Farah today, well, maybe not today, but like two weeks ago, spoke very differently. The reason she came out and attacked Mars Girl seemed to be that she was upset with Mars Girl's involvement in everything to do with Vic and the pain she was causing. These are her words, right? And saying things like Vic is, uh, um, uh, Vic doesn't deserve this. You know, he's not, uh, he's not evil. He's just stupid and all those kind of things. Right. So, um, she says he, uh, he thought I should be grateful too. kind of narcissistic. I guess it's kind of cool, but <laughs> I guess it is kind of cool. <laughs> Cruel man. <laughs> if he used that as a reason for you to not be upset, but he is definitely fucking narcissistic. This loser really thought he was going to be able to come back. He literally told me straight up that he only thought that this shit with her was going to last three weeks and I should just be patient because he's just doing her a favor so she gets closure. Hmm. Boy, I'm really glad that she corrected that with closure because I would not... That would have sounded so much worse. <laughs> Like, furthermore, like all good boyfriends, Vic asked them to keep their relationship a secret, a relationship that maybe was open, maybe wasn't. On top of that, Vic wanted Farah to make videos defending him, despite instructing her not to discuss their relationship. Do you think it's possible... I, I don't know. Like I'm not, I'm not an expert. Random 11 hiding in the shadows. Um, if you know the answer to this, please tell me. Or Texas. Oh, is it possible? Cause I was saying there he is fucking God, here. It is right here. Okay. I was saying that um, the person screenshotted these as they were coming out. Is it possible that this is just the first time she used uh, discord since like this is the first post since December twenty third. Uh, so that means where you've last read to. So uh, she could have just not been in that channel since December twenty third, two thousand twenty two. Um, so do you do you think but, that this indicates that today at nine forty a.m. means December twenty third, twenty twenty two, that day, or do you think it's possible that this was taken as early as last week? And that that was just the last post or whatever from before. Uh, you know what? I, I actually don't know. I would assume it means today. that or whatever today the screen, is... Whenever the screenshot was taken. Yeah, but that's the thing we don't know. Yeah. Uh, I can check one sec. So, Farah, because that I know you're going to watch this. Could you confirm that, for us, please? <laughs> no, no, that that for, sh that for sure means that today was December 23rd. Okay. Okay. Or, well, actually, probably December. No, yeah, December 23rd. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's what that means. So that's an old um, screenshot. Screenshot. Wow. All I want for Christmas is to kick my ex. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where was I? Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Things are about to get spicy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you could yeah, do that like that and that quickly with no empathy, that's actually pretty fucking crazy. After spending every day together for seven months, almost conversation all day long. This makes no sense to me. How would you possibly have spent every day together when Vic does not live in Bakersfield? What was he doing? Was he like... Is, Vic fans out there who follow his every move. Cause I don't, if you could give me like the rundown was Vic in Bakersfield or even in LA doing like theater or something. What the fuck was, was, she, he doing? was she tagging along with him all the time? Like being unemployed. I'm, I mean, does Haley Todd live in, I mean, is her, Employment, not just selling uh, videos and pictures of herself online. Like, can't you do that everywhere? <laughs> I mean, I guess so. <laughs> I'm just saying the free content on Pornhub is repulsive. So <laughs> I don't know that she's selling a whole lot. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> so after spending every day together for seven months, almost conversation sad. all day long, did he tell you to keep it on the down low? Yeah, kind of. Was it open or closed relationship? We both did, actually. I asked for more discussion. Then he did. He wanted me to defend him publicly in a video. Why? That's That does not sound like Vic. Hey, don't take it from my from my fans. Look at this porn star defending me. Ha ha. Why? Yeah, I agree. I agree with you, AC, on that. That doesn't. Make I mean, any Vic sense. is kind of a boomer, yes, but really, that just does, that doesn't he, sound right to me. He's not a super boomer, that's for sure. He ain't gonna be. It could up. also be a misunderstanding uh, or misinterpretation of him saying something like, "Oh, can okay, you make something to promote my con or something?" I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it could be. It could be that so. The most charitable interpretation I can get out of this is that a con where perhaps she was a guest was blocking Vic from being a guest. Mm. Right? That's possible. Should we put him on timeout, random eleven? Ooh, timeout. You're in timeout. <laughs> oh no, all the all the chat's gone. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay, I came man. back. Hold on. Oh, I oh no, it banned him. <laughs> it don't. Oof. And nothing of uh, value was lost. Wait, what? <laughs> all all I said was stop spamming. I did not do any of any other thing. <laughs> I just put you in timeout and it's like get users banned. <laughs> bye bye. Fuck. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, there goes all of our chat. <laughs> anyway, so I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, so like if she was a guest at a convention that he was being blocked from. Maybe he was trying to get her to publicly defend him in a video. Like, you know, you shouldn't listen to these hoes. Listen to this hoe. Let him come. I don't know. So, so basically a All public service <laughs> announcement for cons and consulates. What? I don't know. So she says, I wanted to defend him, but definitely not publicly. And I had to draw a line on that one. But he definitely tried to ask me to not directly tell anybody that we were together because he didn't want anybody fucking up our relationship the way they fucked everything else up for him, supposedly. But I I'm mean, sure honestly, it was... that makes a lot of sense. Even like it makes sense on in one way that like, you know, she's a hoe and it would be embarrassing. But B, <laughs> because like he is in the public spotlight and people are like, you know, canceling him left and right. Mm -hmm. So her being associated, it would make sense that she could get okay. some sort of. So I, do, I just want to, I just want to say once again, like, let me, let me pull something up again. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Real quick. That's fair. Is that a, to a real tongue? <laughs> That's Haley. Okay. Which one of these do you bring home to mama? 
Haley. The second one. I mean, it's hands down, right? Haley. Like this is this is the one that you sneak out in the middle of the night and hope she lost your number, or you try to strategically delete it from her contacts before you yeah, leave. Yeah, sure. To, like, right? like that's well, the thing. You do have that first option reason, but you do have the secondary reason of like even if that wasn't the case. <laughs> to, to quote, to quote, um, you know, Rick James, right? She's a very kiki girl, <laughs> the one you don't bring to your mother, right? Yeah. That that's Super exactly free. it. Yeah. Super yeah, so, freaky, <laughs> super freaky. Yeah. I'm Down but not out, JT returns. <laughs> so um so yeah, I just I just want to say like it's obvious, right? Like if Vic wa- Vic has a um Vic has a re- like a relationship that he sees as a potential, you know, more than a fling, right? That's Haley, obviously. It's not it's not Farah. I mean, here's the thing. You, <laughs> but can, is you, that can't, <laughs> you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. I'm sorry. You just can't. I mean, Should you can, I, but it's, it's hard, though. Should I bring up the uh, the Photoshop? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like her, her – she has, like, a white stuff in her tongue. I don't, I don't even want to say what it is. It looks like she – has an inflated like a uh, tongue injection. Did, I what? think she airbrushed her tongue. Probably. Okay, hold on. And her I'm fingers gonna... look like they're merging. It looked like a bad camera. So but our our magnificent photograph. our magnificent um, thumbnail <laughs> was even spicier. Is this the one I published? <laughs> Did I forget to save it? <laughs> Oh shit! I didn't save it. You posted it's okay, it's okay though. It's okay. Hold on. It's okay. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's cool. Discord. It's cool. It's just, it's just the part about how I, femboy Vic was still. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, don't worry. About it. All right, hold on. <laughs> oh god. Things, Calm down. Things Everybody, like remain fucking calm. <laughs> All right. So I want to show you how we <laughs> how we made this real quick. This. So her tongue. I'm sorry. I just, tangents. Right, but. <laughs> So this is uh this is this is what's on this brought on to you brought to you by uh Photoshop Beta's new basically AI Dolly tool inside, right? So I, I just want to show you how this got created <laughs> and a prompt that I gave it. So um originally this is the face. So I typed in woman looking flirtatiously to the left and I'm like, damn it. She's looking the, to her. She's looking screen left. I need her to be good looking her left. So I saved that one. And then I tried, I tried uh, looking to the right. <laughs> and I, and then what I did was I, I mixed the two of them. So I have this one with those eyes, right? That's what I did there. Then I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Woman looking eagerly at food being prepared to the right, licking lips in anticipation. Because if you say thirsty thought looking for dick, it says that's against our guidelines and won't won't give you anything. All right. So so I had to trick it. And I said, woman looking eagerly at food being prepared to the right, licking lips in anticipation. <laughs> Whoa. It looks like she's about wow. to uh, penetrate him with that. Yeah. No, there, there's even more. That, we're not, that, we're not even worse. getting this. We're that not just like, that one. Dude, that looks like sucky, sucky action right there. Oh, so that's why he brought it up. It looks like the same tongue. You know what I mean? Like a (laughs) six nine action if you catch my drift. I suggested adding a speech. Hold on, hold on. I have one that looks like (laughs) Farah. Oh no. Her race changed there. (laughs) So needless to say, I didn't include those in the finalized thumbnail. That would have been funny though, if you did. All right. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Thank you for letting me share that with you. <laughs> Congratulations on the show on and tell. Like an hour? What? How long did we spend on that? Like an oh, hour? At least an hour. <laughs> at 
I'm a master at manipulating Photoshop and AI. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but even I couldn't get it to give me what I wanted. You, you know All that right. chick that inst- that um that OnlyFans chick that's in uh in the pen right now for that incident in Florida? No. No. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that she uh, offed uh, her uh, significant other, but oh, I did uh, kind of hear about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's not that attractive without without that makeup and the airbrush on her fucking. She looks like a normal. I hate to say it, but the vast but... majority of women that advertise like, "Oh, I'm on OnlyFans," I'm like, "Yeah," and you're advertising because you aren't. They aren't coming willingly. <laughs> Like they're they're not like I'm I'm not they're trying not to be mean willingly. I'm not trying to be mean, <laughs> but they're they're not that attractive. Like yeah. God. So anyway, well that's what um, the makeup's for. So furthermore, like all good boyfriends, Vic asked them to keep the relationship secret. The relationship that maybe was open, maybe wasn't. Right? She said, uh, "All right." So hold on, where did we leave off on this last message? It was at. Let's say try to ask me not directly tell anybody. Let's start there. Um, you definitely try to ask me not to directly tell anybody that we were together because you didn't want anybody f- fucking up our relationship the way they fucked up everything else for him, supposedly. But I'm sure it was more about her. I'm a porn star, and I didn't want his reputation destroying my career. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Who's the narcissist you buy me again, like- Chief? Yeah, I'm a porn star. I don't want his good Christian image destroying my career. Like, what, what the fuck? Yeah, right. So I told him no. It was yeah. open. <laughs> Definitely not open to randomly leaving me for your ex. <laughs> That's what open means, bitch. <laughs> it's open as long as you keep sleeping with me. It's open to the reader's interpretation. <laughs> good Jesus. You know what open means? It means you didn't... Uh, Close your legs. <laughs> Open means you didn't you didn't sign on the dotted line with uh with that marriage certificate. <laughs> um so I mean it's practically wait, hold on. Uh where was I? I'm a porn star. I didn't want his reputation destroying my career. So I told him no. It was open. Definitely not open to randomly leaving me for your ex, though. Could have enjoyed fucking his ex all he wanted, too. I mean, it's practically my job to fuck celebrities. Celebrities who are not him. Lol. <laughs> Get cucked, Vic. Wow. Look, Farah, in my headcanon, the only porn you've done on Pornhub, in, uh, that's Vic's 60-year-old dick. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Can someone like uh, use DNA testing on the video to figure out how old the dick is? Unfortunately, with the twenty six thousand views that it had, uh, there's probably too much DNA on the video to get a clean sample. Oh damn! <laughs> if you just straight up send it to Vic. Is this you? <laughs> damn! I can't, him, so I can't believe I used to support him. So he could have. Right? It's crazy how I'm still a fan. <laughs> I wish I knew how to quit you. <laughs> All right. So she goes on to say, Interesting enough, interestingly enough, Farah had turned Vic down as far as making videos defending him were concerned. She actually believed his bad reputation could tank her porn career. Now, you're assuming that, Mars girl. It's his good Christian persona that is going to tank her career. <laughs> Well, you, it's not even that. Just the fact that saying the way I, I mean, I don't know, I've been half paying attention, but the way I kind of interpreted what she was saying is if I go, if I go exclusive with him, he's obviously not going to be in the videos with me. Therefore, I won't be able to do porn anymore. So it has to be an open relationship. Oh, and relationship. it might also limit the amount of extra talent she's going to get, right? Imagine being a woman and, and being like, man. If I had a guy who wanted to make me exclusive to him, I couldn't support myself anymore by fucking other guys. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I don't. Like, I literally. I think her statement has zero to do with his personality or his, um, you know. You reputation. think she misses him for his for his sixty year old massive fourteen Viagra's dick? <laughs> that's definitely in that video. <laughs> I, I have not been paying attention enough to I mean, know, but he uh, is God's gift to women. <laughs> All right. So anyway, okay. <laughs> Happy to have you back. 
Okay, so uh, wonder what changed now that she's on the attack several months later. Again, this is why I wonder, was it several months later or was this right at that moment? <laughs> Your porn career would have ended too. Oh no, what a tragedy. Oh yeah, Vic easily could have ended my porn career too, definitely. Wait, how? Imagine if people found out about us. This is why when he asked me to make a video defending him, I refused. I will not. I, I love the idea that she's like, like doing a sloppy blowjob and gets gets it all over her in the money shot and goes, by the way, Vic Mignogna did nothing wrong. <laughs> to the <camera>. <laughs> <laughs> I refused. I will not go public with our relationship. And that's probably part of the reason it was easy for him to go back with his ex. Honestly. Okay. Look, taking just what has been said by Farah, like it actually makes it sound like Vic has been mostly on the up and up about all of this. Like, yeah, he did kind of like try to keep her on the back burner kind of thing, but, but at least from what we've read so far, it actually doesn't seem as bad as it kind of was made out to be at first. Um, so anyway, she says, uh, if people found out about, found out about the head, if people found out, then the headlines would read sex pest dating porn star. Vic Mignogna accused of touching kids, but Zach Collins now dating porn star Farrah Fatherless, who clearly has daddy issues. Well, <laughs> I mean, at least she knows. Okay. Maybe Who's maybe Zach I Collins? take back. <laughs> maybe I take back what I said earlier. Maybe maybe she was worried about the reputation. I don't know. Having a porn star girlfriend isn't bad now, to be honest. Is it not? Most guys would love to have a porn star girlfriend. Disagree, but um, hard disagree. <laughs> by the way, what is it to go along with the idea of her making some blowjob or whatever? And then at the end, uh, she'd have to say, like, hashtag suck dicks for Vic or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, suck Vic that's dick. A, that's a hack. We can post that hashtag right now. <laughs> hashtag suck Vic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, he gets a cult following man. on Pornhub and like, uh, <laughs> yeah, of supporters and then all the porn Zeno, bosses become real no. people who want to watch <laughs> bad. bad go to your room <laughs> I mean, so, you know, the only way that would work is if you could they verify porn like star. if you could be the only dude in the videos which you know yeah but Gilzino's porn star girlfriend would only be doing furry porn and that's that's even worse. Oh no, you're right. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Having a porn star girlfriend is bad unless you're Charlie Steen. Yes. Well, I even if you're Charlie Sheen, let's be honest. <laughs> There's other problems that override the porn star girlfriend. He's issue. winning too much. He's got to hold back. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, continuing, she says. <laughs> There are many times where Ferris seems to go back and forth about how she feels about Vic, that he's the perfect man, but also a narcissistic asshole. One of my favorites is where she says Vic isn't a womanizer, just weak for women. I don't see the difference. So 60, 60 years old and still manipulated by a woman. And still as firm as someone who was younger. 60, 60 years old and still a virgin. <laughs> still manipulated by a woman be writing him. Be writing? By writing? By writing him? him? By, by writing, that could be it. She literally <laughs> hit him up with a flurry of messages. Maybe it is writing. <laughs> flurry of messages saying she could tell he was with somebody else after almost a year of not talking to him. You know what I bet she didn't do is send him a bunch of nudes, which is probably how you got in. <laughs> uh, and his only answer should have been, yeah, bitch, I am talking to somebody else. But instead, she whipped his ass right back into her pocket. The truth is, he's not so much a manipulator as being easily manipulated. He's a little manipulative, narcissistic, and definitely jaded, but not enough for me to hate him for it. 
I definitely hate him for being weak enough to allow her to be raped him. Wow. <laughs> wow. And went him over like that. Work him over like we had something really special. Berate him, <laughs> not berate <laughs> him. I love, sure? Sure? I love that her autocorrect from talk to text changed berate to be raped. <laughs> like, I mean, she probably has some kinks that she regularly yeah, chats that she about. She regularly hashtag be raped. <laughs> so again. It, I, it's such a weird way to be delivered this information about some celebrity couple, but it just like, it clearly, it is clearly to me indicative that Haley means something to Vic and that he would, you know, shape up because she came back into his life and gave him another chance or whatever. And that this is like, look, a fucking... Do I really want to be with, and I, I really wish I could just pull out the porn of videos, see how fucking ugly she is in that thing, but do I really want to be with this when I could spend the rest of my life with this? It's like, fuck no. Anyway, I was like, holy fuck, rape. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 my bad. <laughs> anyway, so she goes on to say, so he could have, right? It's crazy how I'm still a fan. Is it now? Is it? Dude, you have to Photoshop Vic's dick into his own mouth there. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> mission, the, you, what's you actually crazy is that you're swooning over this cringe image of Vic. <laughs> <laughs> Open relationships are so fun. My friend always invites me. There's a level of comfort he enjoyed. You people that could are... be my dick right now. <laughs> They're so fun. It's like you're just hanging out and they say, hey, do you want to fuck my wife? <laughs> like, oh, boy, golly gee, do I? <laughs> She's a porn star. I love that about her. <laughs> it's like their eyes gl gl uh, their eyes gl glaze over it. Oh, she's a porn star. It's like, little do they know, she's at the bottom of the barrel on OnlyFans. <laughs> What we drinking? Okay. <laughs> he really was perfect, though. He was the most sweet gentleman I have ever met. It's like he became a different person the second that girl showed up. He really was a good actor. It's Kool-Aid and Jen. That's right. Kool-Aid again? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> he showed his true self. Gun. It's Kool-Aid and gun? Gin? Kool-Aid and gin. What we drinking? That's in the photo. He must have had a drink. I got it. All right. It's Kool-Aid and gin. Oh, my God. Who drinks Kool-Aid with gin? That he did. I should have known better from the way we met. He's an actor, but he legit showed his stripes in those last sentences. How'd you meet, Con? Please, please, please say call girl service. Oh, this went back to the beginning. Fucker. You fucked up, Mars girl. Shame on you. <laughs> All right. Regardless, uh, or maybe, maybe that was, maybe that's the beginning of the, uh, maybe that is the continuation because she's, how did y'all meet? No, that can't be because it goes Vic Mignogna. You were dating Vic Mignogna, and that's at one oh nine p.m. Versus, yeah. So fail, Mars girl. <laughs> <laughs> so she says. Regardless, at the time, Fair was rightfully pissed at Vic. Said she never wanted to see him again, and that she deleted all his contact info. That seems to be at odds with her tweets in the past month saying she loved meeting him and wants him to come back to events next year. So let's read it. Come on. Do you think Vic subscribed to her OnlyFans? He might be the only subscriber, to be honest. <laughs> maybe that's the how, only fan. Maybe that's how Haley found. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only and only fans. Eld Jin can't hit. Okay. What? Oh, he's never going to see them. I blocked him, deleted his... 
Mars Girl has fucked up so severely that now there's a part of this story that I don't know because she put the wrong image in. <laughs> oh, he's never going to see them. I blocked him, deleted his phone number, deleted all our text message threads, and deleted my entire phone call log. Now, I would just like to point something out here. Now, again, as Mars Girl said, Farrah's not actually sophisticated enough to set up this whole ruse, right? But she's literally saying, I blocked him, deleted his phone number, deleted all of our text message threads, and deleted my entire phone call log. What she's saying is, I deleted all the forms of proof I could possibly give to show that I'm not making this up. <laughs> now, again, I just, again, to be clear... I'm of the opinion that she's telling the truth. Maybe not like without exaggerating a little, but I think that she's telling the truth here about having dated Vic and been in a relationship with him. Okay. Um, but I'm just saying that it is a little weird again. Oh, he, the personal email Vic, the WAP that's available for like 20 fucking years on his website. Right. Um, so anyway, no matter what he thinks of himself and no matter how much he thinks he's coming back, he is not. That's good, White said the White Knight. What irritates me the most is that I already hear his voice in everything. His voice is in every older anime. Oh, yeah, I have way too much self-respect. Apparently, a lot more self-respect than he does. Oh, do you? So much self-respect with that jizz all over your face. <laughs> Just watch the new ones or Japanese dubbed. Not going to lie. The way he words it very again with this Mars girl, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This isn't, this isn't an, an old one. Is it? There's a reason he word it like that. If I ever see him in another convention, I'm going to kick his fucking signing i'm gonna kick his signing table into his face okay so he can have an avenue to go back to you or just use for... okay so here's what we need to do for next podcast <laughs> take all of these and chronologically fucking organize them what do you read from that because this whole thing is very confusing and i don't understand why anyone would allow it okay hold on yeah, so fucking 136 to 116. Great job. So she she must have sent the thing that she said she deleted their entire... Like she sent that before. Dude's a weirdo for that as a guy perspective. Yeah, so this is the same shit from before. Mars, go, you're terrible. Okay, so then this is her more recently, right? So somebody said, I want to welcome Vic to Omaha, Nebraska, Krypton Comics Northeast on November 5th, 2022. Hashtag I stand with Vic. Uh, to which Farah replied, hey, it's Deep Purcell. That was the guy who, uh, I think that was the guy who filmed um, Vic's perspective of the thing where they went to that parking lot and got thrown out. Hmm. Just anyway. He was supposed to guest on our show that night, but he couldn't make it. Anyway, uh, please bring Vic back this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? That, this, again, this is April 29th. That's, you know, like a month ago. She says, Mars Girl gets work taken from Vic. Thanks, Twitter. <laughs> Mars Girl gets work taken from Vic Mignogna by encouraging followers to appeal to his attendance, threaten anime industry establishments with bad publicity, etc. Well, integrity and intelligence do much more with less. Okay. I encourage fans to write events letters on his behalf. Dear blank SoCal Cosplay Club is hoping... She said no, no. <laughs> According to her LinkedIn, it is the so called SoCal Cosplay Collective. <laughs> this is all fake. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, so, so the dear SoCal Cosplay Club is hoping uh, you could please invite Vic Mignana back. 
The members of, of my cosplay club and I will blah, blah, blah. Hello, Vic will probably be back next year. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. My cosplay club and I are wanting to get a hold of a booth for the swap meet. Can I do that through you? Okay. So she's just sweetening the deal. Wait, where did did I just lose where I was? Right here. Right here. You're right. Okay, got it. Well, you guys are troopers. It's almost in two hours. Okay. <clears throat> she says, I will hand it to the person talking to Farah throughout the Discord chat. They're regularly trying to talk sense into her and can plainly see that Vic has been manip a manipulative asshole. They also said there's nothing wrong to most guys about dating porn stars. And that is a hard lie. <laughs> and that they like open relationships. Right. <laughs> If you keep their balls in a jar next to your bed, maybe. Mm. Dude's a weirdo for that from a, as a guy perspective. Like, dudes love porn stars. <laughs> from a guy's okay. perspective, okay, so this is the, love mm, owning your balls and putting this it is, in a jar. This is the what you drinking. Kool-Aid and gin. Okay. God, Mars girl, I hate your guts. You suck at, at posting threads. <laughs> um. He had every excuse in the world for why what he was doing was okay. And I should just be understanding that motherfucker is Jaden. Jaden. Yeah. He kept telling me, don't worry. Have a grace with me. Have mercy with me. It's always the super Christian type of guys who are pretty unhinged. That's dismissive. Hey, you're suffering, but don't worry. Literally no empathy, LOL. Yep. I'm drunk in the morning. Uh, I like that the, the, the reply is, hey, oh, that's red flag one. <laughs> for that last one. Mars girl, how are you so bad at this all of a sudden? It's clearly uh, Twitter's fault. Tw no. tw Twitter is setting her up for 100% Mars girl failure. So while we seem to know what happened between Farrah and Vic from May 2022 to December 2022, how do you figure that it's May to December? Okay, let's say seven months. June to July. July to August. August, September. September, October. October, November. November, December. How the fuck do you have a May? That makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> so although we know what happened between Farrah and Vic, we don't know what happened between them since then. She just suddenly appeared on my radar in April 2023 picking fights. So why is that? So this is her saying, what a little psycho Mars girl is. LOL. She blocked me because I posted that I like Vic Mignogna's work. I've literally never talked to this bitch, but I've always hated her. She's the girl who cried wolf with several anime famous men. She's never met Vic, ever. Horse's mouth, 100 emoji. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. <laughs> Are these Mars girls' voice roles? Oh, no. Are we for real, Mars girl? Didn't you voice as no name bitch something or other in, in an actual anime? Are you a dude in this one? I think she's taking roles from uh, other races. Representation of matters. <laughs> yeah, taking roles from people of color. <laughs> from Oompa Loompas? <laughs> no, from Ballroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Come on, Donald Trump deserved that role. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, so uh, all right, so I think this is where it's going to be wrapped up here in the next couple. Uh, so while they seem to know, whoa, wait, wait, whoa, 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 that's not what I clicked on, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Twitter. Did they work their relationship out? Is she now on the attack to appease Vic? The way, he, the way he asked her to make videos defending him during their first stint together. Uh, it, oh, is she now on... Uh, you know what I mean. Okay, Is Haley aware that this woman is so vehemently trying to fight for her man? Who knows? Regardless of what changed, it seems fairly plain 
that the core reason behind Farah's recent obsessive and extraordinarily concerning attacks has plainly been in Vic's name, whom, regardless of relationship status, she does not appear to be over. It sure seems that way. While I think the screenshots are real, I'll not deny it's possible some elements of things Farah says could possibly be inflated. Regardless, I think there's enough to say for certain that, yes, there was at least a relationship between Vic and Farah between May and December. How? Where are you getting May? It's interesting that Farah's also denied knowing Squally and that Squally seemed to have demanded proof that Vic was in a relationship with Farah. Either Squally is protecting Vic's multiple relationships or or she genuinely didn't know it was this bad. So didn't, this is a I, reference. Assuming it's true. Like, it, I'm like, oh my God. Marsgill is taking her affairs word 100%, has zero confirmation. It's just like, yeah, it's true. Like, what? So Jordan Dutchman said, oh gosh, I just discovered that Farrah Fatherless was dating Icky Vicky, Vic Mignana, but he was trying to keep it a secret because he didn't want them to ruin his relationship. I'm so, unsubscribing from her OnlyFans now. <laughs> <laughs> Squally says, oh, please, please go on. I want to see where this story goes and your newest theory. You see, I have a bingo board for which outrageous lie you pull out next. Then Kaylin says, or pardon Mars Girl. Well, you know, same same difference. But Mars Girl says, Whoa, but it's did weird. You dead name her. I dead named her. <laughs> she says, um, but it's weird. Squally just happened to end up with the screenshots of a fake CNN anime news story that Farrah manufactured. That is not. You know how many fucking people sent that to me? Jesus, it yeah, is that's, not that's that the, weird. Dude, it's like a conspiracy for, no, for Mars Girl. She Mars thinks Girl like is, everyone's out to get her. Shit. Yeah, she is treating it like like uh, fucking UFOs are going around behind her, right? <laughs> like No, she's thinking that like the Loch Ness monster is in her backyard. That's fuck. And that Ferris shared screenshots of her email inbox indicating that she and Squally were DMing each other. Okay. So yeah, so she said, but why Gmail? Why am I not good enough for you? We've been together for so long, Gmail, and now this. Oh, because it says your email deserves better. And then it says social squally via Twitter and YouTube. So here's the thing. Um, that honestly, couldn't this mean that she has tweet notifications turned on for squally? Because this says Squally, YouTube, and like presumably, and others. Couldn't that just be mean that she has a notification because she has a um, notifications turned on for when Squally tweets? Because, you know, Squally is the one who gives out details about what Vic's doing next? Well, it also, it's because, remember, they're, they're all associated with each other. So if Farah is, you know, friendly with Vic in that regard, right? Mm -hmm. She's gonna have to be friendly with Squally as well, right? It only makes sense, you know, by so association. Farah denied knowing Squally. I don't know. I, I really think Mars Girl's reaching for that one, but you know, she does have those arms, so she is capable I mean, of she, doing she has, I, she has arms of steel, dude. <laughs> she has iron arms. She says. But anyway, let's try to wrap this up. While Farah is clearly doing outrageously heinous shit to pick fights, she's also easy to pity because she was so clearly manipulated by Vic in several ways. It's hilarious. At the end of this, I actually feel like less, <laughs> I feel less like this actually happened than I did going into it. Like Mars Girl did such a terrible job towards the end, laying out the information that now I, I question it all. <laughs> Um, so anyway, she says, but anyway, let's try to wrap this up. While Farah is clearly doing outrageously heinous shit to pick fights, she's also easy to pity because she was so clearly manipulated by Vic in several ways. He clearly lied to her and used her to try to foster positive reaction towards him. That is the most baffling thing about this. I don't believe for a second that Vic would be saying to her, hey, by the way, could you like record some videos about me and like say like I'm a good guy and stuff? You know, like oh, who, who is that for? Oh yeah, post it to my I'll post it to my OnlyFans, Vic. Right? Like that's to say nothing of Haley, another victim of Vic's lying. 
Given his history and what we know about him from his lawsuit alone, it's difficult to imagine there aren't multiple other women across the country like this too that we just don't know about yet. Look, saying it now, women who are dating Vic across the country, comment <laughs> on this video. <laughs> Send me your details. I would love to cover it because if he is actually, you know, two timing or a hundred timing women, right? Like now's your chance to, uh, to realize you're not alone. Right. <laughs> but I'll be honest, like it actually kind of seems like this girl is bent out of shape over the fact that she is not a winner in, in, you know, relationship goal terms, you know what I mean? And that she is being dumped by somebody who is now, I will say Haley Todd has a daughter, according to Farah, at least, and single moms are not the best choice when you're looking for a relationship. But honestly, oh god, she seems like oh. a very what? I was, I thought the conversation was going in a different direction. What, what did you think it was going to go to, dude? <laughs> well, depending on how old that daughter was. <laughs> oh, oh you, d dude, her daughter would have to, like, she would have to have been, like, 13 for her daughter to be even remotely close to. She's I don't know 29. how old she is. She's 29. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, if you, she would have to be, the, the youngest of her having a child would have to be 12. Okay, I'm just, I don't, yeah, yeah. if you told so, me she was 39, I would believe you. Like, um, yeah. So. Anyway, doesn't matter. Look we can move on. Nine. Uh, okay. I mean, she she's got like she she's got that. 30. She has that look where she could be, she could be a wide range of ages. But the the point is, she's good looking, right? She's not hideous, right? She's not she's not even close to hideous. She's very attractive, no. right? Um, and she that. could be any any number of ages. It doesn't matter. She she and does her look feet like aren't she's even exposed, right? The, the total win, right? But um, but yeah, the point is the point is again. That I I just think that I think that Farah is threatened by the fact that she probably felt like she landed again. This is assuming that her story is even true, which now I'm starting to doubt a little bit because she had all those convenient excuses and stuff. It almost kind of seems like she might have um. <laughs> <laughs> she almost kind of received thanks for saying it from my account all right <laughs> that's great it feels extra uh real now <laughs> no um but it it kind of seems to me like she may have had like an encounter with vic maybe not even like a, a super physical one just like met him at a at a convention or whatever and got along great with him and then almost had like that i'm dating vic in my head kind of per perception <laughs> So it, it, like she she kind of so comes across like that, doesn't she? So you're saying she's like the chick from Misery that basically yeah, grabs a guy <laughs> and ties yeah, him up like, and, and again, makes him write a book. I'm 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 reducing it to the absurd. I, I really don't think that that is what happened. I think it is somewhere in between, right? That that there probably was some sort of relationship. It probably wasn't as serious as uh, Farah is making out to be. But it seems like it affected her greatly because she thought, oh, my God, I've landed this, you know, perfect guy who's a huge celebrity. Uh, he has all these fans and, He's you know, he treats me well. Right. <laughs> and and like for a person who does OnlyFans and Pornhub and stuff, she probably I mean, again, her name is Farah Fatherless. She has terrible issues. Just look at Farah instead of Haley when we talk about that. She has terrible issues, clearly. Right. And so she's looking like at the her perception of the relationship is that, you know, I've got a uh, a win here. Like this is this is like my life is looking up. And so when Vic turns her down for somebody who's actually a good mate versus the fling that she clearly is. Right. That devastates her. And that's kind of like that. Honestly, that's the vibe I'm getting from a lot of what she said. And it's just so weird. Oh yeah, Vic could have easily ended my porn career. Oh man, that would. Can you imagine that? Been terrible. Like really? Is like, <laughs> yeah, is that what you're clinging to right now? That you know, sounds ridiculous. It just sounds ridiculous, right? So anyway, let's get these last like two fucking tweets out of here. Um, 
Sorry, hold on. She says she's all pity. Uh, she's also easy to pity because she was clearly made to feel like in several ways. He clearly lied to her and used her to, try to foster positive reaction towards him. I don't buy that for a second. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, that's to say nothing of Haley, another victim of Vic's lying. Given his history and what we know about him from his lawsuit alone, it's difficult to imagine there aren't multiple other women across the country like this who don't know about yet. So, Farah, I feel sorry for you. I genuinely do. You got yanked around by this literal piece of shit, defamatory. And that's not something you deserve. Uh, but for the love of God, you got to cut this shit out. Vic isn't worth this absurd behavior. He just isn't. Okay, so um, I've got some more uh, things to pull up that we can look at real quick. Um, I just want to make sure I grab the right ones. Definitely don't want to pull that Pornhub link up in here. <laughs> <by accident>. uh, <laughs> Reese has seen it, and he does not need to see it again. <laughs> Get to sound like I'm the uh, what you call expert on porn. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! My good name, sir. <laughs> My good name, sir. Okay, so I've got this. <laughs> this needs to be covered. Uh, somebody who definitely fucking watches the podcast because they blocked the stealth weeb account <laughs> which is why we're using the uh, middle east branch <laughs> um, it's also because happy pride month everyone <laughs> archive that thing i just put in there okay <laughs> because remember so, um, guys we were pride month you know cool. every month this we're, year we're we're pride eternity we're inclusive all yeah. year round <laughs> <laughs> do i need to remind you like, hold on, I gotta click on the profile. <laughs> I, I just remember every time you look around and you see how many, you know, companies change their profile to be all like, oh, inclusive pride, but they only do it for one month a year. And the branches that they have in the Middle East are pussies and they don't do it at all. Not us. We're inclusive all year round. We have, we support the best things. Uh, the best current things every day, and uh, like I said, we're not we're not pussies like other companies. We're did you see that time. Twitter post about? I, th I can't remember if it was uh, Crumbrion or Panotaku saying like about a uh, user like blasting like a Coke and Spotify and Apple and whatever for not changing there. <laughs> Honestly, they're kind of afraid to after what happened to fucking Bud Light. Let's be real. <laughs> Bud Light and Tar Target are setting a, it's a dangerous president this year. <laughs> but isn't Coors Light also doing the same thing as well? Look, all I'm saying is that uh, in 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 light of the boycotting, you will un ultimately do for this podcast, we stand with the, the current thing. <laughs> all right, make sure the, you... The Coors Light commercial was from a few months ago. I just realized that we could sell that flag. <laughs> Bud Light. All right. Anyway, so no, um, I mean Coors Light. Oh. Okay. So um, Mars Girl said, and, and this is a quote tweet. This is a quote tweet of Haley Todd's tweet. God damn it! <laughs> Hold on one second. Chloe, go find her in the kitchen. <laughs> You're supposed to be in bed. Yeah. Okay, so this is a uh, this is a quote tweet of a uh, tweet by um, uh, by Haley Todd, right? And that now Haley Todd has nuked her account, right? So uh, Mars Girl says, "Oh no, ma'am, you really brought the women are liars looking for attention line when you were the side chick to his known fiance in 2016, really." Where is she getting this from? Up her ass or something? No, I think I I think because Haley said that she met Vic in 2016. That doesn't right? mean shit, dude. Like, yeah, well, who I, needs a side it, chick when see, you have a five dollar super chat I had, from I had a friend. <laughs> I had a friend who met his girlfriend many You're years. Right. Hold up, he... hold up. Crossover maniac makes a great point. King Style, I need your permission for this. <laughs> it would only be appropriate. <laughs> appropriate in quotes for me to be black <laughs> in the avatar. I give you full permission. <laughs> you no, I, you are not canceled. I don't give a shit what other people think. 
We you have the are... official blessing from the ambassador. Hear that, yeah, everyone? Yeah. Yeah. You so, are uh, honorary. So we black. will we will shortly replace me with our uh, our uh, legendary leader Justin Trudeau <laughs> in Mr. Popo face. So <laughs> yes, why don't you take why don't you just take Pimp AC and turn him black? <laughs> <laughs> so crossover maniac says just look at Disney movie posters they have in China. They always censor out black people, even when they're the main characters, like Black Panther. Yeah, we talked about this last podcast that. They put the mask um, for Chadwick Boseman's character uh, of Black Panther. They put the mask on him for the Chinese poster I, to not show off the fact that it's a black guy. Yeah, but here's the thing, though, right? I kind of also, agree with them. The though. It's no, weird. we agreed with them too in the sense that if you're going to do a superhero movie, you should have the superhero displayed as the superhero. Cause, cause Nobody weird, wants like, to see Clark imagine, Kent the movie. Imagine you know? having Batman Tony Stark right? like, the movie. Imagine Batman without his mask or Tony Stark without the Iron Man mask on the poster. It's stupid. Remember, Toby didn't have the – he wasn't unmasked in the poster. He had the mask in all three mm-hmm. movies as yes. Spider-Man. Yes. So Because the reason you're going to see the movie is for the superhero. And that just goes to show you once again that – who, who fucking gave a shit about Black Panther? The only reason you went to see that movie is because, ah, oh, first black superhero. Oh, except for Meteor Man, Blade, like fucking every other goddamn yeah, movie Blade, from here, Blade Hancock. You know? Blade didn't even wear a mask. He, his freaking signature fantastic. mask. Was Spawn? Horrible. Like, give me a fucking yes, break. Spawn. First black yes, superhero Spawn. movie. Fuck you Spawn guys. Spawn didn't <laughs> even have his face, like his human face or his burn first face. First black had, superhero. He had the Also Spawn face. first burn superhero. Beat Deadpool, right? Exactly. <laughs> and even Deadpool had his mask on. They didn't show um, Reynolds without his mask on. Well, right? nobody would go see it if they saw Cheese Grater face Reynolds. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> X Men Wolverine Origins. Remember when he? Was oh, that's normal? true. They did show. They could have done that. They could have done that. But no, I like the the mask version of Deadpool. All right. So anyway, let's let's wrap this up so we can move on. We got a lot still to go through tonight. So, uh, yeah, so she says this about uh, you were the side chick to his known fiance in 2016, and you suddenly think every other woman is lying. Ah." So then this just dropped. Uh, This is fair fatherless. I don't know what this is on. Maybe Instagram. Oh, she might be talking. This might be posted to Haley. Oh, that sucks, Farah. Fuck you. Just you win. I don't care anymore. I still hate you for all the pain you cause him. She might be referring to Mars girl. Yeah, she is, because she says she says more. Okay, we'll see. I disagree. But wh- who's Instagram? I don't. Is this Instagram? This is yeah. This is Instagram. Those are that's the real symbol, right? Okay. Uh, I still hate you for all the pain you caused him. I disagree with it, but you were right this time. I was a victim. Haley spelled wrong was a victim, but also outside his hoe bag. But also outside his hoe bag was he is a good man, and I can't say he deserves the torture he gets. Even still, I hated you for saying that until I realized he finally told me the truth. He says he's going to tell Haley the truth. We've been together the whole time we worked out a few days later. Okay. Uh, but what I didn't know is that they got back together after the closure thing too. That thing you said, Oh, three weeks for close. What do you, th- I thought he only did what he needed to do with her for two months. I don't hate him. I forgive him, but also I'm extremely hurt and I'm glad. I'm glad I know the truth now that fucking destroyed me, but Hey, every day for over a year, Vic and I made time for each other. That ended today. He was a good man and he did shitty things. So much good though, too. Painfully good to me. Again, father issues. Painfully good to me. I have never been treated as well as I had when I was with him. I give up, but only because my heart is broken. He's my best friend. Oh, I hate to break it to you. I want you to give it up for my best friend in the world, Jeff Johnson in the back. Sorry, Sorry, Pharaoh, but he doesn't he doesn't think of you that way. (laughs) Dude, no wonder she's going into porn because like clearly she can't write to save her life. Like, what do you think her OnlyFans posts are like? 
Me want suck dick me now. Me want suck please. dick <laughs> hard. Okay. So you're saying she's like she's like Barry from uh, right. American Dad. Barry. I just need a. I just need another okay. thirty dollars <laughs> to fund <laughs> us <laughs> finding <laughs> out what her only fans are. She's a con slide. <laughs> All right, so uh, where was I? Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. I could actually heard that fucking destroyed me, but hey, every day for a year, Vic and I are trying to say things. Best friend. Okay, he's my best friend. He says he may come back around, but has to stop talking to me for Haley again. But it appears much like a child hiding their mess in the closet or under the bed instead of cleaning their room. I hope I matter as much as he says, but it's easy to doubt. But it's easy to doubt that when you are, uh, when you are as was brought to my attention, the side piece, when you believe oh. you were number one. Yeah, you're the mess, bitch. <laughs> you're the mess in the closet. You're the, the you are number one theme from Lazy Town. <laughs> so Mars Girl, you are number one. the truth is I hated you because of how many times I cried for him when I saw him in pain. Sitting at a date we couldn't even get through last month, he has tears in his eyes. He just cried for three hours straight, or sorry, we just cried for three hours straight together. He's not a demon, but he is a whore. <laughs> oh my god. All right, god. so it took us it took us uh two hours and ten minutes, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, today. to answer the question, Vic Mignana is an actual whore, a stupid <laughs> whore. But he's a whore I love and care about. Sounds like a OnlyFans chick. Oh, no. <laughs> I wish people would stop doing horrible things to him. And it's why I made the petition to begin with. You dig? <laughs> but if now, only he stops doing horrible things. Again, so uh, <laughs> JT, this is not why I created the petition. I did that because it was funny. <laughs> just, <laughs> just throw that out there. <laughs> um, you dig? <laughs> but now I see why you make some of your points too. I'll back off and have no intentions of concerning myself with his messes again. But I do want my best friend back one day. I hope the other girl is okay too. This is horrid. Well, right, you so were the that. one who said, I don't, I just, let's just cut it off, right? <laughs> After he said, but that sounds like it's a permanent thing or whatever it was, right? <laughs> So I his offer was apparently a good one. <laughs> it's just no longer I stand with Vic. It's I stand with the whore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then they said she added this comment. Um, as it turns out, he actually got with her again behind my back. Oh, what a dick bag. He didn't, he didn't want to be exclusive with a fucking porn star. Oh man. How dare he? <laughs> The whole two months he was supposed to be taking his whole uh, this well, the whole the whole two months again. She said three weeks. How is three weeks two months? Can can I just say this? I don't I don't want to be mean. Uh, just, just another right? week, honey. Just another I, I, week. I don't want to be mean saying this, but can we? This is not even speculation, right? She has to have some learning disabilities, right? I'm I'm not trying to sound mean. I mean, but, she has a disability called being fatherless. <laughs> I think I mean, her only disability is her ability to type. She, she can't even form sentences or she doesn't even know what, like, literally three weeks is not two months. That's not it. Uh, right. Typical thought mentality. <laughs> <laughs> Never, I'm not she's kind of uh you know <laughs> a little bit on the spectrum <clears throat> all right uh yep keeping those comments to myself <laughs> no 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 and, ace doesn't and, have to say and sharing anything. sharing them in the private chat <clears throat> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Who had to get it out on my system? <laughs> uh, I'm glad you got that out of your system. <laughs> All right. So anyway, as it turns out, he actually got back with her behind my back. This whole two months, he was supposed to be taking his whole closure thing. 
I can't can believe you even believe that if that was even said. <laughs> Apparently, he did actually break up with her the day before Valentine's Day, and he broke up with you right before fucking the, the, the New Year, uh, Christmas Eve. Like fucking, it is the dentist system. <laughs> <laughs> or two days before, like he had told me he did. We've been together ever since. Good job with no issues, and I knew nothing about this. But apparently he got back with her during the last couple of months and didn't tell me about it because he didn't want me to be angry. The polyamorous one? Angry? What? So if anybody's the side chick, it's Haley. <laughs> Z-snap. <laughs> this girl has bipolar disorder, I'm pretty sure. Um... <laughs> Yeah, a lot of these uh, thoughts. Bitch, and... you the side hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I, wish had, I wish we would have had you on camera for that. <laughs> I, that's what that's what the local recordings are for. Uh, so if anybody's the side chick, it's Haley. She started as a side chick before, and she's a conniving, manipulative side chick now. Haley, for your safety, I'm going to advise you to get a restraining order against this clearly unstable porn star. <laughs> She came back into our relationship and said that she knew he was with someone else and that must mean he never loved her and that he owes it to her to give him a shot. So you know what? If he's not gullible, then whatever. Leaves her again. Never stopped talking to me, though. We agreed that was wrong of her. And then hides her as the side piece again. So now she got her wish and is the main piece. LOL. Go Haley. I mean, all right. So I just, I just want to say real quick, Haley and Vic. It's been a bumpy road. Truly, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I really hope you guys make it work. Vic, please get some counseling. You have serious issues from your fatherless upbringing that need to be resolved. They Assuming need to be resolved. True. No, regardless, regardless of if any of this is true, Vic has issues that need to be resolved that are from his fatherless upbringing. And I, it's not an easy thing for therapy to solve, but you need to get some help for the sake, even if none of this is true for the sake of Haley, she deserves that. Right. In fact, she probably needs her, she probably has her own issues. You know, it's, it's difficult being a 21, a 29 year old single mother, you know? So I hope you guys can get some therapy and honestly, like from the bottom of my heart, I hope you make it because you guys look like a great couple. And I really think like the, the post that we read about the painting and stuff, like that's not something that happens every day. Right. And I just, yeah. I, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I hope that, that you guys make it out the other side of this. Anyway, about any thoughts you guys want to share? Oh, What's up? The restraining order thing that you said about, um, for Pharaoh, Pharaoh to have, what is the worst thing she's going to do? Uh, do the duck lips and spit on Haley? Like, come on. She's not, she's, she's going to suck Haley's dick. <laughs> She's well, Look, let's she's be not, real. She's dumb, but she's not oh, that dumb. She's not if, gonna go to jail. Come on. If now. she did duck lips and spit on Haley, she could probably give Haley quite a few STDs. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, God. right. <laughs> You're right. Hopefully, Vic wore a rubber. Because, Didn't look like it in the Pornhub video. Because <laughs> you make it seem like like she's gonna do like uh like the those videos. Oh, a jealous ex retaliates by doing the ultimate unthinkable thing. And I don't think she's gonna do that. Well, I'm just know? saying i I would hate I would hate to have to report that on the podcast that Haley Todd was attacked. You know, so no, no, I I I don't want that to happen either because she's a good person and it's good that she's happy with in a relationship with Vic. And we are still want... three hours away, Miraculously, and I. Oh, shut up! I wouldn't, so... want... <laughs> I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want anything is... that happened to them. So there is but one I more thing I are... need to uh, I need to share that I am struggling to locate. So just give me a, uh, a moment. Oh, Alrighty. 
I think it's over here. Hold on. Fuck yeah, I found it. Okay. All right, I have an archive. This would be the last thing we look at. If there's anything that the chat needs to say, I'm starting at where we left off uh, right here. <laughs> this is going to be where I pick up from. If you have anything you would like to say again that I missed, go ahead. Uh, except for JT. You do not need to post every single thing, thing you said. <laughs> okay, so again, Farah's um, Twitter was nuked. Uh, somebody on Kiwi Farms, a website that I have not been on in many months, um, because uh, it's you have to access it through Tor now. And weirdly, I did find that they are talking about it. So that's nice. <laughs> but you have it's, not been on it in months. It's nice to be loved. <laughs> um, but uh, um, somebody on Kiwi Farms went to Twitter Advanced Search, search from Farah, and just archived that because they, as I said, they were at work, right? So, um, so we've got a couple things here. This is right before she nuked it, right? Uh, so this says 35 minutes, and this was on uh, May 24th, right? So uh, Farah had said, and I don't know what this is in reply to. Yes, she was. He was only dishonest with either myself or Haley for the last few months or so. They be on and off because he doesn't wish to be tied down. She wants him to herself. It's a common theme all through history, not something to become a public entertainment. I agree. This is a fact. Hopefully he learns to be honest, even when he's afraid. But this honestly isn't time for people to come and give opinions. So I'm trying to figure out how to turn comments off. Don't know how yet. Nice stretch. You know what I meant. Unless you're stupid, improper use of your, then maybe... Come on, dude. Know when to please shut the fuck up. He is a good man. I st I stick by it till I die. Uh, anyway, so are you on crack? I don't hate on Haley. I don't give a fuck how her name is spelled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that she's talking to this spaceman Hardy who's just like, uh, your <laughs> with an apostrophe R-E. Like, fuck you. I don't hate on Haley. Is like, Haley. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you honestly think that I need validation from somebody who goes down on me? How about no? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> wow. Uh... Wow, indeed. I like how she uses, like, I'm on my period emoji <laughs> in her name. <laughs> really? <laughs> <I'm just joking. laughs> Doesn't it look like a blood drop? <laughs> yeah. You would assume a whole lot because nothing you said is correct. I don't assume shit. Stay the fuck out of my mouth. Oh. <laughs> I simply have forgiveness in my heart. <laughs> It's very easy to do, and I won't turn on someone because they're a hoe. Get lost, y'all. Uh, get lost, lol. Y'all well, trying yeah, to convince to a porn herself. star. Get Why out of she, my mouth. Dude, she sounds, like, she sounds like Will Smith as Jada Smith on Chris Rock. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> get, you your sound, wife, get your name you're, out. You're, get my wife's get my name out of your fucking out mouth. Your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're describing your entire side and what they've done for four years. Get fucked a bitch. Okay, great. Go curl up and <laughs> your logic is that I made my relationship your business when I insulted you being blocked by Peter. She means PETA. Uh, that shows a lot of the crazy on your side. Get the fuck out of here, dude. You cannot be serious. So, yeah, you made it my business when you insulted my intelligence for my PETA blog. Here's an idea. Do a little research on the number of animals hypocritically euthanized that an alarming rate by them. Or don't hope you, Haley, and potentially others find out how to make it work. <laughs> Damn, he showed her. <laughs> wow. I wish I could have seen this happening in real time because the ring is echoing for eternity in this archive. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's about it. Let's uh, let's let's call that covered. You're welcome. Uh, if there's any if there's anything I missed, please uh, share it with us in the Discord in the um, in the Farah thread, which is in the Vic Manana channel. All right, thank you. If you get lost, you can ask. <laughs> All right, anyway. call, you should make a thread in the Vic Manana channel just called the Larping Adventures of Farah. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, I've got more stuff to cover. That's called the middle mouse. Oh, okay. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. Hold on. Let's just let's just close them and start over. <laughs> Come on. All right. So something else that was recently brought to my attention by JT, um, our biggest fan. Are you are you skipping the comments now? I am. Thank you for reminding oh, me. Because they're all from JT. Okay. The cool 2T says, with Ferris tech illiteracy, is she the boomer or is Vic? Good question. Here, I'm going to only share one from JT. There you go. That's the one. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Okay, from JT. <laughs> from JT. <laughs> In the Discord. He shared. Goodness gracious, YouTube. <laughs> okay, so this is just my end. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> As you can see, a City Hunter podcast, oh, there we go, titled Mokoti Play that by is. Mars Girl. Now, um, AT shared this, and uh, like, I'm not shaming you for getting it wrong. I just want to correct the record here, uh, that Mars Girl had just started a new podcast. Okay, As you see here, originally uploaded October 31st, 2021. This is actually a long, ongoing podcast called Mokoti Play. Not about, as long as ours. No. Yeah, we're WrestleMania. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's currently, as of May 29th, on episode 78, discussing season two, episode 27 of City Hunter. Now, do any of you know what Mokoti means? Giggity. Giggity. It's, it's, it's basically, it's a word that was, as far as I know, coined Edgy. in the series City Hunter that basically is the main character, Ryo Saiba's way of going, showing. Yeah. It is literally an onomatopoetic noise of an erection causing your pants to get tight. Okay? Wow. I'm going to play for you a short clip from City Hunter. So I just want to say Mars Girl and her husband have a podcast titled Mokori Play. Where they look at each and every episode and movie of City Hunter. One more time, it's titled Mokori Play. Yeah. Mars Girl is a fucking bitch for pretending that Kick Vic was about sexual assault. Don't forget. She named for the podcast after. The onomatopoetic word coined in the series for an erection making your pants tight. Okay? I'm just throwing that out there. Now, she claims that it's a it's supposed to be a pun because moko re play is supposed to be like replay, like we're, we're replaying the series and doing things. But seriously, you're so invested in City Hunter, which is a fucking great show. Don't get me wrong. You're so invested in it that you're doing a play-by-play, episode-for-episode podcast about it. And you title it Mokori Play. Which again, as Ree said, is Quagmire's giggity? I mean, that's like making an entire podcast about Quagmire. <laughs> and, and you have the gall to say that Vic is a sex pest. When clearly you absolutely love a series for which the main character <laughs> Right? Yeah, I have to agree with you, AC, on. on that. That's pretty hypocritical and very stupid, and you can't really say anything other than wow, you, you gotta And when was the latest make... episode posted? 
The May actual 29th. latest one? You can't make this shit up, May man. May 29th. That's how stupid it is. So only only like a week ago. Anyway, just saying. Just saying, you know. Celebrating the character that is literally all of the things that she claimed Vic was or worse. He's sexual just harassment saying. on a stick. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you know, be made today. Like, turns out Mars Girl's really upset with Vic because she can't smash him over the head with a hundred ton hammer like Howard does. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. Moving on. Let's talk. Um, so I, I've kind of blown our load on this already, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a very I mean, two and a half hours of edging. I mean, we kind of earned that nut right there, you know. So. Oh, such a fast internet connection. Oh, yeah. Almost as fast as that <laughs> I, computer. I love so, how uh, you, you make the noise as we talk about blowing our loads and shit. Right. So, so Savakis <laughs> says it's alive. And he posted a uh, he posted a picture of his new PC. Right. Where's his Blu-ray player? <laughs> no disk drives at all. How does he author discs? Uh, they probably a, are. They, he probably blue. plugs them in. Yeah. USB. US like baby. a normal person, dude. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Thought you needed to have one built in. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> anyway, so he says, um, he says, now that I'm all upgraded, uh, I'm all gung ho travel. Well, that's not what I well, here, here he says. Here, this is the part. I C R I C G I C B looks correct. Will likely change to different things once Pride Month is over. Dude, we're even more committed than a gay guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> Reminder to myself: what? Need to be black. <laughs> what, what is the what is the gay version of Mokori or Giggity? Uh, it's universal because it's Gr for erection, right? So I you don't know. It twice as much. <laughs> I'm afraid. By the way, um, yes, for even hypothesis. Are you sharing that other? Uh... <laughs> so, are, are you asking what would be the lesbian term of it? It'd be like the clicking her? Oh dear lord. <laughs> Oh, please, no. <laughs> uh, Am right, I going to share one for Are visions of angels dancing in your head? <laughs> Would the lesbian one be, just be like drip? Sploosh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it'd be, it'd be a, a water sound. Yeah, drip. <laughs> like running no, no, no. Like, like, a like waterfall. A wave, like a wave of waterfall. <laughs> It's like when you put your when you put a, a maybe, seashell maybe up here. Maybe it's the sound of Niagara Falls. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, what were you saying, uh, Wyndham? Am I going to show the what? No, well, I was wondering, did you have the uh, that uh, Savakis? Actually, no. I guess I told you it's not worth covering, or did I? I don't know. The one about like uh, the one about Oticon? To... Yeah. Why don't you just wait till convention news? You impatient <laughs> bastard. Hey, okay. I didn't spoil what it was. I was just just wondering because <laughs> yeah, we got it. Shut out. your whore mouth. Sticking with the current topic, which is Pride Month. How dare you do that to the gays? <laughs> we are the Pride Podcast. The Pride Cast. <laughs> yeah, we're so, as prideful like Vegeta is in Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> we have so much pride in us. I kind of want to do like you know the the Super Saiyan Vegeta things like do -do 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 -do, like with the with the xylophone or whatever, but like yes. have it like the background changing color with each beat to a rainbow. Yes, <laughs> yes. Do that, dude, my dude. pride. <laughs> and then Supreme Kai's like your 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 stupid pride, my stupid pride. <laughs> no. oh my God. Stan has everything. Oh my God. But pride. That's got to be so good. You're, that would be so good to cut in the part where he's dancing for Beerus, but like have him have like <laughs> rainbow like tassels and stuff. <laughs> yeah. My stupid pride. <laughs> Dude, you could do that, man. You could fuck, that sounds like a great idea. We have the right. technology. We so Japan, Japan sexual minorities, quote, LGBT bill is unnecessary. Listen to the people, not just the activists. Interesting. So this is uh, this is this is pre Pride Month by almost the whole month. <laughs> no, by more than a whole month. <laughs> well, no, it's not. All, it's we should have covered it a month ago, <laughs> but it's more appropriate now. <laughs> all right. So the Japanese the Japanese Liberal Democratic Party is looking to push a controversial bill for LGBT understanding in Japan when the country hosts the 49th G7 summit later this month. 
Whoa, that that uh, sort of reminds me of when they tried to stop. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Convenience stores from selling porn in order to clean up their image before the Olympics because they thought they'd be embarrassed when the foreigners showed up and was like, "Whoa, look at all this blocky genitalia!" <laughs> <laughs> they already sell so censored themselves. Look like down Just there. watch ah. they repeal their laws to make uncensored porn to accommodate the. Uh, <laughs> yes, the that's what that was the exact solution we gave when we covered that all those podcasts ago. <laughs> anyway. But that would be that would be amazing. Like they'd actually say, "Well, we're gonna just be like the Western world. We're just gonna de yes. ourselves. Make us feel at home in the land yeah. of hot Asian chicks." <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> so they yeah. say. Um, well, speaking of hot Asian, should we bring you on soon? <laughs> oh yeah, isn't it time for Lance to uh, join? Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll send. I'll tell him. All right, so the Japanese Liberal Democratic Party is looking to push a controversial bill for LGBT understanding in Japan when the country hosts the 49th G7 summit later this month. But not everyone appears to be in agreement, as a sexual minority group press conference was held recently to discuss the matter. What sets Japan apart from the other nations of the group, uh, sorry, of the other nations of the group of seven, is that it is the only one that doesn't recognize same-sex unions and doesn't prohibit discrimination against LGBT individuals. If they did recognize same-sex unions, do you think it would cure their low birth rate? Hmm. Are the same-sex couples even fucking? We need to get to the bottom of this. Maybe that's the entire reason why they have a low birth rate is because it's like they're such a sexually repressed country that it's oh, it's so fucking hot to fuck you in the ass because it's illegal. <laughs> like, <laughs> you see, it's not just bottom; it's power bottom. Okay, it's power. Bottom. So it's it's just it's the unions specifically that are not recognized. So anyway, for the past few years, Japan has been under pressure to update its LGBT framework to be on similar grounds as the other G7 nations, and the proposed bill is seen as the first step. And the second step was noticing Target and Budweiser stock. <laughs> uh, Japanese parties have criticized the Liberal Democratic Party for its slow approach to passing the bill on protecting sexual minorities because currently it's legal to hunt them, apparently. Uh, <laughs> so now four groups, including the Gender Mismatched Persons Association, terrible name, which consists of people with gender identity disorder and the Women's Space Protection Association, they mean like in outer space, right? Uh, no, I think it might be like that's women Japan's space force. That's no, no, like an actual. That's like the Girl space. Scouts of space force. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. The <laughs> fucking like the women's space, like women's bathrooms, women's locker rooms. Oh, like like the but podiums. They want to keep them separate. They won't like want the podiums at a sporting event where you get your gold medal. Those spaces. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they said, and the Women's Space Protection Association, which aims to protect women's rights, have voiced their concern about the LGBT bill itself and its necessity. Uh, Kyoka Sengoku of the Shir <laughs> Shibuyuri no Kai. <laughs> Doesn't it sound like Goku? Doesn't it? Kamehameha. Like seriously, these two Sengoku and Shibuyuri no Kai. Does don't these sound like um? Like yeah, the leaders of of, uh, of the Shinsengumi or some sect of the Shinsengumi from like Roroni Kenshin or some shit. Uh, Kyoka Sengoku or, 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 of the Shiryuri Yokai, or, which is made up of sexual minorities, commented on the bill. <laughs> like, or Dragon Ball like, characters. Goku. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, hard <laughs> I mean, the author of Roroni Kenshin is a sexual minor minority, minority, if you think about it. Oh, oh no. God, yeah, he is. <laughs> You're right. No, he is not a sexual minority. He is target practice. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a high possibility that men could claim to be women and use the women's restroom. Oh, fuck. The unparalleled logic of the Japanese. Damn. <laughs> that kind of bill is unnecessary. Midori Miyama, who is part of the group of people who have changed their genders to female, said, quote, as an ordinary citizen... I've never been discriminated against by medical institutions, financial institutions, or the government. <laughs> that should change. No, no. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so what the, what he's saying is that it's he's already not been discriminated against by the people that would be affected by the bill. Right? This yeah. bill is unnecessary and could actually create problems because it's overreaching in in its proposal. Yeah. Right. 
So Shiryuki, Shiryuri no Kai leader Natsuko Mori denied the need for the bill and said at the press conference, quote, LGB, uh, I'm sorry, can't forget the T's. LGBT activists are not the representative of the LGBT people. Anyway, that's it. That's it for that one. Okay, so let's talk about more stuff that happened. Kabukicho Tower, gender-neutral toilets are compromising privacy. By the way, I think I should uh, I think I should say hi to... Oh, you're in our, spirit? Our other month? LGBT oh. uh, hey guys, what's up? member, Lance <laughs> yeah. GBT. Hey, Lance, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Lance G P C. Is he sexually identifying as a uh, as a language model now? <laughs> oh goodness! I'm changing. I have name. my own website apparently. Well, the the difference between this variant is that uh, it won't be able to provide Wait, that any get there? script. <laughs> you got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, back to this. So, um, Kabuki Kabu Tokyo. Kabukicho Tower, gender-neutral toilets are compromising privacy. So uh, the newly opened Kabukicho Tower is one of the few early adopters of gender-neutral toilets in Japan, but it has already fallen into controversy due to some rather privacy-invading issues. Mm, I see. <laughs> what? I like to think that Japan's got such high tech toilets that it literally rejects you if like you're the wrong gender. It just like pisses back you know, at you. You know what it reminds me it's of? It's called a bidet. Yes, ever, it does. Has anybody ever saw How I Met Your Mother? Remember the scene where where the guy went to the bathroom and uh, this chick was taking a piss? It's like, hey, what's up, bro? What's up? I, I do I have not watched that show. <laughs> Imagine watching How I Met Your Mother. Jeez. I, I'm just saying the clip. Can is I? Story of your life, huh? Can I bring something just up saying. randomly that will totally ruin the timestamps for a second? No. I saw <laughs> something. Here, I'll save it for uh, at the end of this topic. I think it's this one. Oh no, not that one. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> This one. Well, let's talk about it. <laughs> no, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this at the end of uh, at the end of Pride. You you mean of this uh, stream or uh... no? No, at the end at the end of this series of uh, of topics. Okay, okay. Like... he said Pride. Yeah. He meant at the, the end of Pride. Of the Lion yeah, King. not this... the end of the month. The end of the, the okay. Pride topic in this stream. Gotcha. Okay. The Japanese so they... Pride special. So they say here, one of the main problems stems from the fact that the male and gender neutral toilets on the second floor are separated into standing and sitting toilets with women forced to share a toilet with non-binary people and men. Like, hmm? well, I don't hold on. One of the main problems stems from the fact that the male and so one, one of the thing I find so funny about this is that they're oh, wait. OK, hold on. Are they saying that there's a toilet for men? And then there's also gender neutral toys, but there's no female toilets. There's like it's just a like a urinal only one, and then just an actual. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So they're saying that it is separated, but they just have urinals on one side and and stalls on the other. Right. Sounds okay. like it. Uh, with women forced to share a, uh, a toilet with non-binary, I like the idea that like they go in Sharing. to take a leak and like there's they have to sit on it with somebody else. Yeah. Like, that's what they need. I had that thought, but I was rejecting it. <laughs> or, or, or or they they expect the women to use the urinals. You know, explain to me how they that probably will when they identify style. that way. <laughs> I just like the idea of two sumo wrestlers like boxing in one small little Asian chick like in between the two stalls and then just like ripping ass and dropping <laughs> nukes for like 10 <laughs> minutes straight. So um, there are other things that simultaneously also happen in Saudi Arabia. And I like how you phrase it as banned that. <laughs> punishable, by, punishable by um hmm. executed or genocided or like those are also words that would apply <laughs> anyway 
Oh man, it's banned. Guess I'll try pussy now. <laughs> just oh, I really don't want to. I, I really don't want to touch. I really don't want to touch this thing. But you know what? It's better than nothing. Okay. Okay. Could you wear this fake beard, please? <laughs> Can you all get right. all muscular and wear have steroids? Please? Oh God, that brings pull my hair to an entirely new level. Mm. So coupled with the fact that the that most of the floors in the tower don't have public toilets, with several floors being taken up by live stage events, a stage play theater, and a two-floor movie theater, this means that women who aren't comfortable going to the genderless toilets are forced to either go to the paid areas or take a long trip up to the 17th floor to access the only female-only washroom. Whew. One person took a short video of the gender neutral toilet with men standing around for long periods, yeah, I, making women even more wary of using toilets. I would just like to point out, was it not last podcast that we talked about the guy who, who went to the men's room and stripped naked, took his phone out of the men's room, went into the women's room and tried to film girls peeing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> look. Oh, Gender neutral. You're just making they, it easier. They like, just expedite wait, wasn't the process. There, for real. Wasn't there like a Naruto um, like movie or OVA special where it's like a sporting or Olympic theme and Naruto has to go to the bathroom, but everybody, including the women, were in line for the bathroom? In that, in that clip, you can see Naruto's dad and every member of the Akatsuki in line. Yeah, yeah. Like, there were, and that includes Onan, right? So it's like, wait a minute, there's gender neutral bathrooms in the world of Naruto. Wow. I mean, most like if you're on a porta potties, a lot of times don't have a. Yeah, a, but a porta potty is wall. one fucking stall. Yeah, but it's considered it's considered a re it's not a restroom, more of a. You know, and it's entirely dump. private. Yeah, and it's uh, just the thing I'm. Which the thing I'm wondering about this is that why? Why would they make two separate designs for one purpose? Well, so so it doesn't what? stink as bad as it should. <laughs> oh, Are you this. telling us that girls' shit don't stink? No, I'm saying no. A I'm saying guys, right there. you will be but very very disappointed when you get a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm saying if we eat like really something funky. Watch. Oh, they cut it early. Right oh, after that. Man. You see you see Minato or whatever his name is. Hmm. Minato. Look at right. that. Anyway. Look at that. You saw me and Itachi line. are both there. Anyway. Aren't they right supposed on. to be Yeah, no, they're not they're not dead at this point, are they? I don't believe so. All right, anyway, so continuing here. So they posted the video, which uh at least at the time of the screenshot, it had 20.7 million views. Wow. People tuning in to see inside of a women's bathroom? Never. No, it's not inside of a women's bathroom. It's a gender <laughs> neutral bathroom. It's just oh, a bathroom. Oh, you know, if that oh. was the case, the DC Douglas would definitely be a part of that. Uh, Yikes. You know, how come how come uh how come he got canceled, but not this lady? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't get canceled. Never mind. <laughs> Possibly due to the nature of Kabukicho, the accessible toilet on the fifth floor has already been damaged and closed off, leaving even fewer options for women looking to relieve themselves in a comfortable environment. That's the pervert's plan. Hilariously, as if the sign separating toilets by standing or sitting wasn't enough. Kabukicho Tower Management responded by posting a guard in front of the genderless toilet. And people wishing to use the second floor toilets need to report whether they plan on doing a number one or number two. So now nobody is happy with the lack of privacy on their toilet business. And even transgender people who want to stay silent are forced to speak in front of everyone waiting to use the toilets. Now it's going to be silent, but deadly, so, right guys? Wh <laughs> what if they go in there and he's like, okay, you, you're going to do a one or a two when they go in the bathroom. He's like, I don't hear any shit. In there. <laughs> I just, What's it's all that clapping really sound? Dark. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> It's like uh, sucking yeah. cup, uh, suck, okay, suck number two, you're noises. you're you're uh, you're assigned to stall number four, and then like five minutes later, like I don't hear any shitting. 
I don't hear my any fart noises. Tins, Get out of here, you asshole. You just hear it unlock. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it was a ghost shit. <laughs> no, no, it'd be messed up. There's like, I need to prove that you took a shit or a piss. Let me see. Yeah, like you're going to have to send me a photo, my, text this number, uh, use the like QR it, code in the bathroom that I've taped above the stall. Before you walk. <laughs> you have to have the guard go in and unlock the flush. <laughs> Oh you have to like what you send me the picture of your nasty doo-doo and uh i push this button out here which unlocks the flush so you <laughs> no like yes. one... no, the god no, no there's no to toilet paper so there's no bidet until you prove you took a dump because it could just be using the same photo from three days ago <laughs> wait yeah, a second there, this is a poop like, from your home <laughs> it's like unless you're taking a full dump it's, it's like they're me. in there with their laptop using the photoshop thing i showed <laughs> while, while no no but it'd be oh, messed up. It, it would be like they say well if we need to prove that you took a massive dump and, and unless you prove Knowing that to us Japan, we're not going to give you paper roll Knowing japan there would be gotcha machines stationed outside with fake turds you put in 25 <laughs> cents yeah. to get the fake no, but but it's anyway. like no, oh, you have to wipe God. yourself with one piece of toilet paper. We're not giving you a whole bunch unless you take it. <laughs> no, they got the It's gonna be prison. It's gonna be prison style. Toilets don't I just have said this that problem. Got <laughs> so, as one woman questioned, despite there being many more natural-born women, why is the only female-only public toilet on the seventeenth floor and not near the ground floor for easy access? While the onus may fall on Kabukicho Tower Management for only planning two main public toilets that aren't stuck in tenant spaces, people are questioning if the genderless toilets are meant to be more of a gesture than considering the needs of the people visiting the tower. Well, following that, Kabukicho Tower's general neutral toilets shut down after a month. <laughs> So Kabukicho Tower opened its controversial gender-neutral toilets in April, and it's already been shut down just a month later with a temporary partition that splits the, the restrooms back into two areas for men and women. Yikes! It's just a, like a hot spring now. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> a Twitter user shared a photo showing the toilets that were available to anyone regardless of gender are now... I'm sorry... Sharing, showing the toilets that were available to anyone regardless of gender are now separated into men's and women's toilets with a partition. The oh, Twitter user God. confirmed that the partition is being used to split the previously gender-neutral toilets and that the women's section is more spacious. Others, uh, sorry, other users refrained from taking photos inside the restroom but confirmed that the toilets had been divided by a partition. Well, not apparently all of the other users, because okay. some more photos from... Uh, um, so this is what it looked like before. Yeah. And this is what it looks like now. <laughs> it looks the same. Now it's got this wall sectioning off one, two... How many toilets is that? One, two, three, four... Uh, five, six, seven, eight toilets for the women. This, this would have been so hilarious if if, Nar if Naruto or Boruto didn't like a special like this where it's gender neutral bathrooms. And they're like, and, and can't Naruto do goes this. sexy to Jutsu and he goes, to the <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Boruto or Naruto have to go <laughs> sexy Jutsu just to go to the women's bathroom because they don't want to wait. You're right, man. <laughs> I think you just figured out why there's women in the line. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 no. We can't have him just do sexy you know, due to that be too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then uh, you have like, you think, and, and so you think, like the, uh, some of the people are masquerading as the Akatsuki. They're like, maybe if they see the Akatsuki, they'll all run and get to the toilet oh. faster. No, no, it'd be That's funny. And they masquerade like doing the transformation jutsus and stuff like that. Like even Sakura and, and Hinata transform to be guys to go to the men's bathroom. Ah, they're the Akatsuki. Gotcha. I like the I like the idea that there's a jutsu that you can use that turns your shit into a log. <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Did, Substitution did, 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 jutsu. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, uh, the Twitter user confirmed that the partition is, <laughs> is being used to split the previous oh ones. Uh, other users refrained from taking photos. They said it that, but confirmed the toilets had been divided by a partition. With the failure of Kabukicho Tower's gender-neutral toilets, many have begun to question the LGBT bill and whether it should pass. If it does, people can expect more money to be wasted on simul similar initiatives. 
Japanese internet comments on the matter said, quote, so they ended up dividing it. They should stop already. Women all knew it would end this way. And it's really lame that the people who weren't listening to women just kept going down the path to failure. LGBT will have no future unless they seriously think about the reason why this partition was created. That's so stupid. Why didn't they make them normal toilets? That partition is the embodiment of stupidity. And that's the end of gender neutral toilets. So fucking dumb. It's for the best. I want the mayor and prefectural governor who listened to the activists to take a long, to take a look and think hard about it. So I thought you were finally... going to say take a long shit. <laughs> take, take a, a leave, long dude. shit with women watching. <laughs> so they finally realized wow. that toilets will ultimately be required to be divided between men and women. It looks like it'll it'll be some kind of historical structure. <laughs> I've never seen a facility undergo so much change in such a little time. These toys just ended up costing money for nothing. So on the uh, on the Songkaku Complex, or the, the Sword News 24 version of the article, they talk about the fact that it went from looking like a brand new, like, state-of-the-art facility to now it just looks like it's got this shitty-ass, ugly divider in the middle. And, and then this is the like thing, though. It's like, the thing I find funny about this is that this doesn't solve any of the initial problems. Nope. If a, if it, like again, if you had toilets for men and women, well, I guess I guess, it, I guess that is what they were trying to solve. I was gonna say like, now that you have this, are the transgender uh, females not still gonna go to that side? <laughs> I mean, if right? they if they are like Haku from Naruto, yeah, they just. I think what go. this say so so the problem with the 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 transgenders in bathrooms issue is that wolves in sheep's clothing exist, right? Mm -hmm. So people can pretend and have pretended to be transgender in order to gain access to kids and women in general in bathrooms where they're vulnerable, right? Mm -hmm. Or just get their rocks off like DC Douglas, right? <laughs> um, and, uh, and so the idea behind gender neutral is, well, if we just let everybody go to the same bathroom, then it doesn't matter if you're wearing a dress or not. Everybody's just going to be a little bit more careful. Whatever. It just, it's... Men can be raped by men. Ass. Men can be raped by men in the male toilets. Nowhere is safe, Luigi. Nowhere. <laughs> especially, especially for... Luigi, don't drop the soap. Bar is coming. Like, All right, let's talk about the bathhouse. <laughs> isn't there a controversy of like, um, you know, women getting pregnant in the female prisons mm -hmm. because identifying, you know, as a woman, you can or maybe the guards that. are just having. Fun. See, see, this is the problem with that, though, because Reese has got Reese has got an interesting point there. Well, this is this is the problem. What happens with um, female transgenders who go to prison is one of two things. Either they go to the female prison and they knock up the female prisoners by raping them, or they go to the male prison and they get raped because they look female. So don't commit any crimes because <laughs> rape. rape is inevitable. I mean, We're going to get raped wherever you go. <laughs> I guess, I guess one of those rapes is slightly less bad <laughs> for the, for the person involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Depends on whether or not you like taking dick. Right, anyway, a Japanese bathhouse policies are in question. <laughs> After a trans woman oh enters God, a woman's bath, dick. Yeah, scrolling down. <laughs> Japanese bathhouses have been a controversial topic when discussing LGBT matters, and it appears that things are about to get more confusing for onsen managers after a recent incident in which a trans woman with a male lower half. <laughs> Entered a woman's only bath. That's called pre-op. Right? <laughs> in a now deleted tweet by Shin Seiyu, a bathhouse which has been in business since 1935, the company discussed a delicate situation that occurred on the 7th when two women entered the establishment. The two were soaked from the rain and were allowed inside as usual guests. However, in a likely unwelcome scenario, another guest at the bathhouse discovered that one looked female-ish on top was a male on the bottom. I, this is Japan. That's called a fuda. 
Right? <laughs> oh, Shiva. Yeah, yeah, it's called oh. it's called a trap, you know. Hideyoshi? Or or a haku. Desune. <laughs> what? Teardrop Desu-de? emoji? Is this the is this the uh, female uh, Mokori symbol? Hontoni <laughs> <laughs> drip. <laughs> <laughs> There was even there was even a trap in um in Roroni Kenshin, remember? There was a whole there was a whole argument made about Mokuba from Yu Yu Gi Oh. There was a bunch of people trying to argue that 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 Mokuba was secretly a girl. Really? Was yeah. multiple people Luigi the Metal sixty four? Uh, Luigi <laughs> or, you or JT or JT? It's been a while. Oh, JT. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, JT, not a stalker. Oh, uh, shit. That's cute. <laughs> Once again, don't say these things from my account. <laughs> I don't want the stream to get taken down because they because YouTube didn't understand your uh Yeah, whoever's contest. doing that, knock it off, okay? Knock it off, I tell you. <laughs> anyway, so there's a good there's a good chance that the tweet was deleted due to the wording. But another bad, yeah, f- female-ish. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's a good chance that she was deleted due to the wording, but another bathhouse's Twitter account chimed in to discuss policies. Rules such as, quote, children over elementary school age are not allowed in the mixed baths have been followed without any problems. However, if a controversial LGBT bill were to be implemented, what's to stop someone from entering a woman's bathhouse saying, I have a male body, but I have a female heart, so don't discriminate. <laughs> Mokuri! <laughs> 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 there goes, hey guys, Ishidaki Dick. Another Twitter user mentioned a member of the Japanese House of Representatives, Tomomi Inada, with her quote saying that someone who has the body of a man but the heart of a woman would never enter a woman's bath. Mm. Yeah, huh? right. Maybe, maybe it like, like you know how women are like, my wife is weird. You know, not okay. Let me rephrase that. My <laughs> wife is not. Yeah, weird. you my don't want to. My wife, like most women is gorgeous but has those days where she cannot decide what to wear because i am hideous in everything i own right that's what i mean right so they're saying if if you really had the heart of a woman and you had an unsightly big old dingle donger you wouldn't enter the women's bath which therein lies the point that this did is actually a fetish <laughs> right did they say they wouldn't want to or they wouldn't could you double check the wording at the bottom you identify as a woman, you should cut off your would jingle diaper right away. Would never enter a woman's bath. Would Look, never, okay. That, no, I don't agree okay. with that. I, I, okay. You're just assuming I, that. I need to know, is there a Japanese word that we could coin? Like seppuku. Dick puku. Right? Yes. <laughs> no. What? Dick puku. <laughs> Chin puku. <laughs> Count duku. Well, I already said he could dock the dick. I mean, that one's already coined. Or, 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 Chim, uh, Chimpoku? Or, or oh. Futurama. Futurama is another oh, one. No. Futurama. Okay. That, would, that is terrifying. All right. Now, in a, in a different <laughs> turn, it's a tumultuous time uh, in Japan right now to be gay or trans or Read that black Italian. indigenous. <laughs> <laughs> Which is something that seems really appropriate for the Japanese LGBT community. <laughs> Those Whoa. black indigenous peoples of color. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're colors, so let's put them with the other colors. Eh? <laughs> Would it be funny in the Japanese version? It's the rainbow, then the trans flag, and then just yellow again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, anyway. <laughs> His underwear is up on their own. That's so Nago- <laughs> Nagoya gay marriage has been rejected. Sorry, the Nagoya gay marriage rejection has been overturned, building a precedent in Japan. And again, just in case it's unclear, uh, I don't give a shit if gay people get married whatsoever. I've always thought that was a retarded take that the, the religious right in, in the United States took. It's like, oh, that's marriage is between a man and a woman, man. Like, you, you can't let the gay people get married. It's like, do you think that not letting them get married is stopping the copious amounts of sodomy occurring? Like, <laughs> no, that's but, why do you think prison's such a huge deal with that with dropping the soap? I just say, like, like it, you're not stopping them from fucking by stopping them from getting married. You're yeah. just being a petulant child about it. <laughs> it's icky. <laughs> 
Anyway, so uh, another rather high profile case related to gay marriage has occurred in Nagoya Prefecture in Japan, where a homosexual couple who applied for marriage with the registry office had their documentation rejected, inciting a lawsuit that led to the Nagoya courts overturning the rejection and yet another step taken for the foothold of LGBT rights in Japan. <laughs> do you think, do these people strike you as gay or do you think they're just um, white liberal women in disguise? White knighting for the gay. Do you, you think that like j white women are masquerading as Japanese people? They're, they're, they're... I think these, these are the activists they spoke of. Okay. I will tell you this. This guy over here in the suit jacket and shorts is definitely gay. Because <laughs> I was, if, if that's the case, oh, is, he one of the, is he in one of those like nice tuxedos or whatever, but his shorts? Is that what this is? Saying? This is it's Luigi the Metal 64's ideal outfit. Right, it's Mario Mario. Because I thought you were going to say this, AC. If, if are they gay or they're European? Uh, you know, <laughs> Japanese. So he's wearing what looks to be like cargo shorts underneath too. Like they're like khaki. Man, he's not getting blowjobs. Reese, he's giving. Oh, he's <laughs> <laughs> no one's got the blowjobs. See him, him on his no, knee. No, 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 no. No, 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 no one's got the. No one's got the. If he stands up, he won't have to bend down. <laughs> oh, super bad watch party win. <laughs> oh, that would have been perfect to have that clip on here. <laughs> All right, anyway, so um, so judgment came on the 30th where a Nagoya local judge deemed that the case went against fairness under the law and freedom of marriage, as written in Articles 14 and 24 of the Japanese Constitution. However, as the governmental branch had not neglected its duties, the charges for damages did not hold water. So what they're saying is that um, although the ruling was overturned, the damages were not awarded because although they did find it to be an error uh, that it was rejected, they did not find that there was discrimination or whatever in, in the judgment that was up, that was originally put forth. Um, so, however, as the government branch uh, had not neglected the, uh, the charge for damages did not hold water, this makes the fourth case that has occurred under similar circumstances with Sapporo and Tokyo ruling for and the Osaka court ruling against the marriages. The plaintiff's claims were that homosexual marriage was not being recognized due to discrimination based on gender. And at the end of the trial, the judge mentioned at the end that many places have now recognized partnerships legally and that it is true that gay marriage is becoming more accepted in Japan. I mean, the land of boy love. Yeah. I mean, uh, oh, no, it's only hot because it's forbidden. Don't don't make it legal. What are you doing? Anyway. Um, plus that while under current legislation, homosexual marriages were not legal, it is reaching a point where it is becoming something that can't be ignored much longer. So um, I don't care. Good for you guys. If this is uh, what you need to feel happy, you can get married. Cool for you. Of course, the news made the headlines, leading to further nationwide discussion over the current state of the Japanese laws on homosexuality. Japan has already been trying to clean up its image on alphabet soup issues, with the G7 <laughs> summit being held earlier this month in Japan. Sorry, I, I just realized. I thought, for some reason, I thought alphabet soup was like, I didn't, they're referring to LGBTQ, AIP, and all that shit. Anyway, I thought that was, anyway. So, oh, but what about China. Beijing LGBT Center closes after pressure from China's anti-LGBT crackdown. Big shock. So uh, Saudi Arabia comment. Uh, there. Okay. Well, bam. You know how I know you're gay? You like the band Coldplay. Wow. Ooh, really got some people. I right. am the gay icon collector, and I do like the band Coldplay. <laughs> Yeah, and another one is U2. I, have <laughs> I hate U2. Fuck U2, though. I have never Fuck heard Bono. people say that you're gay if you like Coldplay. I've no more girls to I've no more women to like Coldplay than guys. I I like Coldplay, but I don't I don't know. I never considered. I'm a three like doors that. down kind of dude. Just saying. I like three doors so down. Gay. <laughs> what a great <laughs> representation for Pride Month. <laughs> yes, gay power for everyone. All right. Anyway. So the Beijing LGBT Center, an organization that served as an advocacy group and safe space for the LGBT community, was the latest organization to close down under a crackdown by the Chinese government led by President Xi Jinping. 
The organization was forced to suspend its activities under pressure from the Xi Jinping leadership, which regards the protection of sexual minorities as Western values and sees it as a danger to the nation. Hmm. Why would you think that? Anyway, there's been a recent increase in pressure from the Chinese government, such as detaining more activists and the Beijing LGBT Center was another victim. According to Hong Kong media, the Beijing LGBT Center was established in 2008 and has been an area where sexual minorities gather for events and were provided counseling and lectures by experts. Well, that's nice. They get lectures. Uh, Xi Jinping has served as the president of China since 2013 and has since then pushed against the the recognition of same-sex marriage and Winnie the Pooh and has cracked down on activists and human rights lawyers. So that's that. Okay. So previously you were talking about, um, you were talking about um, how I met your mother. Uh, And I can't think of another way to like talk about this. So I'm just going to like bring it up here. Um, I saw this shows like friends, mash and Seinfeld were shot on film and presented on TV in four by three aspect ratio for streaming. Unused portions of the film negative are used to create a 16 by 9 widescreen image. If the reframe is sloppy, the audience sees more than was intended. This is Friends, Season 10, Episode 1. And as you can see, there is a hole cut out of this wall. Oh, presumably, boy, presumably for um, for the cameras to be able to shoot through the wall for mm-hmm. different angles and stuff. I'm guessing I, that's what that's for. I mean, they could always cover and say, you know, like, because I used to live in an apartment where they has like oh, a wall it's one of it's for, one of those kitchen doors. You know, yeah, like the kitchen, openings. like a kitchen wall or kitchen door where you serve. But this breakfast. is the hallway. Yeah, except oh, that's yeah, but don't the they hallway. have that? Like if it's a yeah, kitchen this is this is the hallway. I've you can seen see the that lock on the door. King style, but it's it's a weird thing to add. It's uncommon. No, I no, agree not, with you. Okay. I just you don't have to cover for storyline reasons why they would do look, that besides the camera. Look, granted, they Joey is walking into the kitchen. But that's the hallway, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> fair enough. All right, just, so uh, um, he, King, King Style's got a point, though. They could argue it if, they if it, argue if it, it wasn't storyline purposes, yeah. But if it wasn't clear, that's the hallway to the outside of the apartment. Okay, okay, yeah, you're right. Like, yeah, but I, I've literally seen where you'll walk into a house; it'll be a hallway leaning into stairs. Sure, yeah, sure. That's where I used to. Eight, that happened to me. And then they right, cut yeah. into the wall like a four by yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look, opening. That to makes sense. Believe but that it or is not. That, Outside there is not of the a apartment. Law. There is not actually a, like a, a universal force that prevents morons from picking up a saw and putting <laughs> holes in their walls. Okay. You're not wrong. Nothing stops you from doing that, regardless of city codes and whatnot. The inspector is not going to knock on your door and say, Whoa, why are you putting a hole into your fucking staircase? That doesn't happen. So, granted, yes. Weird shit will happen, okay? We <laughs> seriously, I no, told you what the fucking hole is for. We don't have to keep hypothesizing about why it should actually be there. But it identifies as a hole leading outside AC. Just come Jesus. On, there is no reason these shows can't be presented in their original aspect ratio of four by three. Streamers claim audiences will be confused by pillar boxing. It's actually more work for the studio to reframe every single shot for 16.9. So he goes, how MASH season 11 episode four looked as it was originally broadcast versus today on Hulu. Previously unseen portions of the negative are restored. Left and right and top and bottom are cropped. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so, oh God. okay. So they're saying you can't even see the shoe that Hawkeye is trying to pick up that BJ nailed to the floor in the 16th. So you can't see that he's trying to pick up the shoe because they cropped it too high. Obviously. Hmm. Right. Seinfeld season eight, episode 16, the pothole looked as originally broadcast on Netflix. So you can't even see the pothole now. Oh God. Right. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's like the Simpsons, how uh, they cropped it. So, Oh, you can't Mm -hmm. see that in the Duff beer factory, they have their three lines of beer, the premium, the crappy and whatever. And you can't see the thing at the top where it's the same pipe. Yeah. So the joke is lost. That's why four by three, like if it's originally shot by four by three, Mm -hmm. keep it intact. Don't leave it there. Anyway, just, this is why you don't really want board. the orange brick sets. Is all I'm saying. Right? <laughs> but here's the thing. But here's the thing. Well, I think like in the future, guys, right? Like as a mm-hmm. experimental thing, if you're like a movie or a television guy, for do shoots four by three, 
do like the option. Look, like that they should have just presented reason. these as IMAX. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a it's, cool it's, idea. It's just like some some covert form of racism. They're against black bars. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> I think they're pro black bar. They're putting them on the top and bottom. Oh, they're Jesus Oreo in these. Oreo they're... cooking the image. <laughs> no, no, they're anti side black bar. They like yeah. the top they and bottom. Side they, black they, their black bar is prostrate instead of. <laughs> Prostrate. Uh, anyway, prostrate. So here we, hey, 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 so here we got this. Take positions out of this. Oh, in prostrate. Malcolm oh, in the middle, you, you can see the hand hit, like hitting the next shot of the uh, the hand drop of the like what's supposed to be the end of the American flag for this like dominoes effect, but they they cut it in a way where you could see the hand now. Right, so you can actually see them push down all the things to try to continue the shot. Uh, uh, anyway, so I just I, you now I have an excuse. There you go. <laughs> Good for you, man. I'm glad there you have you. excuses. Now we now. now we talked about it. Now I can take it off of the uh, things that I couldn't otherwise figure out how to put into the. You know what else we should talk about? What? Do you not... Oh, I think I I think I booked. You know, Reese knows. Well done. This is the perfect Fundum time. Vampire obsession. Fuck. Where is it? Podcast misses. Well, what do I folder. don't know that I know? You know. Grace, you know what he wants. You know what he likes at this time in the morning. The, the choice is yours. Running? Oh fucker! It's gonna open on the same window. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is it. Because <laughs> if not, you're screwed, right? Because I don't want to add something else completely unrelated to the doc. Yes! <laughs> we don't have Digimon on the movie, but these are similar, Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah, Seinfeld Sorry. Is. Now we've. Uh, those are two things I've knocked out of the park today. I don't have to cover them now. <laughs> Dear God. Everybody loves Greymon. <laughs> so what's the deal about Digimon? It's amazing. Lance, that is the best thing you've ever said on this podcast. That is some fucking merch. Oh my god. Send me a shirt. Thank you. <laughs> that was amazing. All right, so let's get back on track here. Whew. All right, here we go. Where are we? Um, <laughs> it's time. I for bet you that's down. already been done. I bet you it has already been done. Google it. You Reese boy, Google you got pickups to show? Oh, oh shit! I have oh, I'm going up. last. Holy fuck! He was right three hours. <laughs> Luigi was right, or uh, Ashley and Otter was right three hours into the podcast. <laughs> we do pickups. <laughs> All yes. right. Leonardo so here's my is, pickups. Is a, is, is a predictor of time. He just knows us too well. All He's right, Noster so, uh, Leonardo. Noster Damas Leonardo. Uh, this arrived. Oh, you bought the standard? In this. So I don't know why oh. they arrived separate. Like Dude, What the fuck? Right stuff, right stuff sent it to me in one of those, like, you know, folded before you, before you toss that cardboard. Look, this is the one I open and watch. It's all right, yeah. no, but I noticed on the spine of the cover sheet, like, move up the slip cover, it still says Funimation. Move, move, take, oh, okay. take, move, you, you want me move to show on the cover sheet? So, on the okay, so you're saying open it, it says, here, like, here you remove go, the line. cellophane. I'm so, shut the fuck up. Just shut up. Greenland, this is for you. All right, Crunchy I'm watching. Roll. Funimation. I'm watching. I'm seeing. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, oh, oh. There it so, is. So what does that mean? Does that mean that they're technically They fucked up in QC. That's all it means. Yeah, yeah but it means that... It means that they planned this ahead of time, but only only caught the print file for the... Uh, Slipcover. For the slipcover in time. That's okay. so weird that they couldn't just go back and be like, all right, fucking Photoshop. No, nah, I think that's logos. a Freudian slip right there. No, yeah, I, I think I think they did that on purpose in case it says Because wanna... it says Crunchyroll on the back. Yeah. Okay. It, it's a fuck right. up. In, it, it says, says Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll.com. 
because I thought maybe Mexico. Because <laughs> I thought maybe they're like, well, maybe we want to keep the Funimation brand just as a DVD or no. Blu-ray thing. No. It's a fuck up in QC. No, they're okay. just fucking idiots. They're they're full on retards. Have you uh, seen uh, their doing exhibit F green line? What? Oh, we're doing Discord pickups. I, I thought. Well, I was, whoever's, I whoever's, whoever's, whoever's Nick. I was He's getting it ready. Me. He's getting it ready because okay. I have to. I have to leave and then come back so that my um, my recordings get split. I will. So I was I just put it in there. And if I leave, I won't constantly interrupt Greenland. So these are good things. Yeah. So <laughs> did that actually work last week when you left? <laughs> yes. Okay. I've been on a Tenchi uh, kick. <laughs> Fitnam has convinced me to pick up uh, all the Tenji shit. So, picked up War on Gemini, the limited edition. So, this is part one. I need to pick up part two. Or just the uh, the essentials. And just stick it in. Nobody will notice. <laughs> and then... Uh, yes, the Mahoshi really stick special. it in. No one will notice. Yeah, exactly. The Mahoshi special and the uh, Sammy special. And then Ryuoki, the other OVAs that I haven't picked up yet. Third season. Yeah, the third season, essentially. Were any of these Even though they call boxes? it just Ryuoki. What's that, Reese? Were any of these in those Blu-ray boxes that they put out? Uh, the movie and really? OVA collections? What are you talking... No, Ryuoki, the one he just showed, was only DVD. Okay. So he got the prettier looking release, if you ask me. Okay, cool. For that one. Mihoshi yeah. never got a re-release. Yeah, I'm gonna have sadly. to talk to you about this later because I don't know which I, I don't know which Tenchi is the one that I liked a long time ago because I know they've done a few different ones. Uh, as among I, 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 I like the slips. Though. It, it, does any of you know? Does any of you? Let's ask us on Discord. Ask us on Discord. All right. And then finally, I picked up a really banged up, but I still picked it up because it was. Fairly affordable. Um, Ghost in the Shell single gig box set. Nice. Um, from Bondi. You must really not care about shelf space. <laughs> I do not. Plus, the Blu ray suck ass. So, I would I even. Well, you could still get the, like, the Anime Legends set that's only like one and a half spaces wide. <sighs> True, but eh, I don't know. I like the pretty boxes sometimes. Okay, Reese, you can't just. Look, we've been over <laughs> this. It's, it's the love hate relationship of the. Large boxes. Yeah, okay. thank you. You're thank into you. the thick girls, okay? I got it. Yeah, I am. I'll uh, I'll send <laughs> you a bad photo for me, but I can't tonight. resist. <laughs> All right. I can't Remember, find uh, pickups on the fucking app. What is wrong uh, with you guys? There's too many things. Well, I told you to do that a couple days ago. So you don't I've had to stuff going on, Reese. Far more important than time. Time. Uh, Turn time. that stuff off, Lance. Jeez. Don't Unfortunately, AC isn't here because I had a pretty good joke. But I'm going to say anyway. Since uh, AC left Mirage Leonardo, Mirage Leonardo had to get something that could consistently blow. This is AC oh. in the form oh, of a God. box fan. <laughs> <laughs> so, Effie Anime Attic also got a box of Yu Gi Oh cards. So it was like 20 in here or something. Empty them. Twenty what? Cards. That's a booster box. He's yeah, showing but... all three dimensions. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's on the back here. It does like five packs or four packs of five cards or something for a total of twenty-one cards each box. Oh yeah, well they're premium boxes or whatever. You have the opportunity to get a ghost rare, and if you get a ghost rare, it's worth uh. Let's see. Could be um, up to like eight hundred bucks, probably more yeah. than that, honestly. Yeah, there's like five sets in there of like big thick um big booster thick? packs. Yeah. Extra thick booster packs. Green line your wording, man. Your wording. Oh. Yeah, I know. I, I picked my wording deliberately. <laughs> but and bucks. Apparently holding on holding on to it diamond hand style to double his money, apparently. I also got the standard edition of uh, Violet Every Garden, the movie. I thought you were going to say, I also got this yu -Oh box. <laughs> and then I put it in my TV Blu-ray box. Since he it put it really in nice. on Discord. I, I put games. it in. <laughs> nice and snug, he, he... perfect fit. Oof. 
Yeah, nice and hot Ooh. too. Three inches. All if, I could do, if, I could, if I could do it again for the first time, I would. Okay. You know what? I think we all do. <laughs> so I was going to talk about if, if AC comes back. We're going to talk about AC until um, he comes back. Got you. Because he's got the limited edition. That limited edition comes with a singular, uh, like a single-sized art box just for the movie. Mm-hmm. And the extras I box. How I know. And then the extras box, like shrink wrap to it. That extra box, or that extras box, which is just like 12 postcards or whatever, mm-hmm. you can put the postcards from this and the sticker sheet in there too. And that's supposed to go in here in, in this box for, for take foot for this space. And you just have the, this movie in just a single size art box. Which makes the, the whole limited edition idea for the movie so fucking stupid. You're not yeah. wrong. I hate. I literally hate this design. They have, dude. Every everything oh from God. that uh, from that slate sucked ass. Like even restaurant from another world too. Oh like, my Everything God. missed the mark in some way. Not to mention that there's the stupid slipcover on both of them. <laughs> but I think that this is the better better like way to do it. I, just I, having I like it all in one box. Us. At a certain point. And then FGM got. I got uh, Dungeon of Black Eight. Company and Love After World Domination, so I can watch it for the Watch Club on my own copy. <gasps> oh, shit. And I also picked up <clears throat> a couple days later uh, Burnout Paradise Remastered on Switch and Bacchano Novel 22. Um, I think it's 1935C Lux Street Boys. And this is the last Bacchano novel to have come out so far. It's not the series is on, is on hiatus while he's working on um, Dead Not Death Play. And then I also picked up Tomorrow's Joe the movie and Tomorrow's Joe 2 the movie. So, yeah. And then Randall 11 got the master deal, though. <laughs> Yeah. Want to tell us about your dildo? Oh, it lights up. <laughs> Is that the only Does function it, give you it jobs? has? Does it vibrate yeah. too? Does it Straight fit from, all the way in? Straight from Japan. Which end is easier up. to ins- which which end is easier to insert? Did you pull it out while giving Does it Zola vibrate head? and spin? <laughs> I I don't think it does that now. I mean, don't tell me you're wrong. Your, it does your, shine uh, speed, when Link holds. What is your speed running time on it? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 120 hours. Damn. Wow, that that's is, pretty slow. That is the longest thing. Doesn't work. I think well. you should go see a doctor. doctor. <laughs> I'm not an expert, but I don't think your prostate should take a beating for that many hours. I'm not a doctor, but I play a doctor on TV, so it's okay. Okay, I'm not so, a doctor, um, maybe the mass so it, it was a uh, lottery um, prize in Japan. Mm-hmm. Uh, we covered it, right? Oh, yeah, well, no, you talked about it. Um, <laughs> oh, what a great day, Pride Month. <laughs> <laughs> The master dog. Um, so yeah, we we yeah. talked about it off podcast. Uh, hey, AC, you have to watch the vod for my joke about uh, Mirage Lee. I, I thought we talked really bad about <laughs> AC. I thought we covered the actual lottery, but yeah. So in Japan, they have a lottery at convenience stores mm-hmm. for uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Um, each ticket costs seven dollars, but um, I'd be crying. You get like a variety of items. So uh, how come related to Breath of the Wild? Reese, can you click on that image for me, please? And uh, the master sword was the uh, best master item. Bader. So how come? Which oh. can you zoom out? To the, which mouse do you use for porn? The gaming mouse or the tiny baby mouse on the other side? <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep uh, one of them from getting crusty. Is that what? is that the deal? I think I think I would be using this one for, for the ergonomic. Oh, the left-handed mouse. Pleasure. I see. You're one the of other those. Is for hers. <laughs> This is when he do I mean, There's just too many you, buttons over here. You'd be fucking editing you, windows when you nut. Right you, you've you've never double double moused it at all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're using to jerk off with if you're using dual mouses. 
<laughs> he, he's using the roller of the old school mouse on his dick to stimulate. <laughs> this is the weirdest back massage I've ever gotten in my life. I didn't know mouses vibrate. Uh, like, like wow, that. he got a couple of dollar, couple of dollar tree finds. He picked no up No mouse November. <laughs> Two mouse November. <laughs> Nap Nabu Princess, and I Nostable. think this was the third Digimon Kai movie. Confession. Yeah. You're correct. Is that what it says? I thought <laughs> that this... one was really good. You know, it does say confession. I was like, what are you confessing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay, Mon. <laughs> <now. laughs> yes, it is Pride Month. Play that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Did we remove that? <laughs> no, no, we one. better we're fucking not have. <laughs> It's the what? only time it's ever been appropriate. So, what, what, would would gay would Gaimon's like super move be Cum Blaster instead of Nova Blast? I'm Gaimon now. <laughs> there we go, guys. Is that We're Lance Gaimon now. Ring in the background after I think of that. Oh my god, is it? Uh, I'm gay. I would. I... And seven, okay, don't touch on... me, please. Hose. For the love of God. He got hosed for buying two bootlegs of uh, Blue Gender and Crypts of the Stars. Mm -hmm. Rip um, pulling out that, for him. You know, we have... <laughs> I, I was thinking about this earlier. We have bootlegs, right? Why don't we have, like, glove arms? Why, <laughs> why, why isn't that a thing? <laughs> okay, I can answer this question. Well, we have foot jobs and Why, why don't jobs, we have but, I mean, dick sleeves? I can answer this question. The reason Hawk they socks. call them bootlegs is because it comes from the the, the prohibition era where they would smuggle alcohol in their Into boots. Their boots. In their boots. Yeah. That's why they call it bootlegging because they're using their boots to store like flasks of whiskey and stuff. But it's uh, not fake alcohol. It's shine. real alcohol. It is fake. They were building. They were making moonshine out in the boonies just it to was, get it. Just it get doesn't room. make it fake. It was it's home literally room. alcohol. It they, wasn't they officially would make, made. I know what you mean, though. Look, see, they would so, make the point wine. is, the point is, when you're when you're trying to drink, like you know, a Balmore or or like something like a like a oh, really actual good spirit. high quality spirit, and instead you're just drinking like piss that you fermented it out in the boonies. Right, it is fake, okay? <laughs> the same. What you're saying is they it's see, they that's it. not fake. <laughs> they did the same thing in prison, oh, right? Right? Prison wine, they just use toilet water and they mix like grape juice and Yes. <laughs> More like grape juice. Rape juice. Or... Oh. So um are we done with or the discussion? No, I was just moving yeah. over to you since you were telling yeah, about yeah. it. Oh, uh, here we For the bootleg series, oh, I actually photoshopped the swastikas. Out of the the tiles on the floor of the Prohibition era image, just to not be distracting, because people don't understand that the swastika was a good luck symbol used all over the United States before the Nazis took it. <laughs> yeah, try explaining that to people though. And then, what the hell am I looking at? Yeah, they had the in certain religious Full churches, mm -hmm. like so. They had Reese that did send me uh, these. That is with so the awesome. I mean, the the saber Leomon's Dixie fang Mon doesn't like, like to girl. stay in that so well. <laughs> well, and then the next photo, I decide to make a little display with them. That is so cool. Oh. That's about right. Wait, can you go it back pride, one man. photo? Happy pride. <laughs> He's getting sabered, guys. Watch out. Look at that okay. mouse. Weird. I was looking at the other thing. I I don't know what the hell the other thing was, but it like I think it's that that's, like that's a paint tray. Like uh, my paints came in that. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, Fudum's a painter. You know he's high so. Oh God, those teeth. Speaking uh, of painting, the Saber or? Leomon's paint job is horrible. <laughs> These look like clay them, models. Well, if you when think I'll... you could do better, why don't you? <laughs> I could. Yeah, three D print your own. <laughs> no, I'll use the same model and just repaint it. Oh, geez. Is this what? Nazi Pride Month or something? Yeah. Hey, anime collector, what are you up to tonight? Oh, you know, just photoshopping swastikas out of pictures that predate the <laughs> Nazi party because people will incorrectly associate it with Hitler and it will distract from the main point of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Lance also picked So there belly. you go. That's why they're called bootlegs. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, I, I think... 
I think we should still make a good effort to try and get glove arms. <laughs> I think glove <laughs> arms are what I, think, I make for myself. I think, yeah, which you is just, the, uh, I burn my own copies. You know, you just, just don't want there to exist. I don't <laughs> anything associated the... with feet. If you could, <laughs> you're the Hitler. You're the Hitler of feet. What is the population? What's the population? Eight billion. You're the sixteen billion genocide of feet wanner. Like <laughs> that's I mean, like Ren Melendez is just a closet ableist. <laughs> He's a toe jammer. In, in, in Yu Yu Hakusho, right? Didn't they? Uh, didn't Funimation had to censor that by painting his skin? And editing like the background in his clothes, that Damn ninja who? guy. Oh, oh, the yeah, the. Which guy? Okay, in the Genkai yeah, tournament, the right? Yeah, I think there, there was a been, ninja. There was yes, I think you're right. We'll have to watch Yu Yu Hakusho at some point. Yes, <laughs> that that will be a year long watch club, everybody. Yeah, uh, that would be cool. Just the first season. So Lance picked up the also picked up the Violet Evergarden LE yes, and the Ghost of Shelf 4K Blu-ray combo steelbook. Even and I don't have that. Ju -ju you got the Ju wrong Kai. one. What? The one with the better cover. Oh. That you cover fail. Sucks. Feel bad. But steel bet but the steel book. Steel I went yeah, the, to, the, uh... the mission fail symbol from Grand Theft Auto Five. Please. And he also picked up the Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie steel book. I went to Best Buy and Yeah, both of these are Best Buy exclusives. Dude, for half a yep. second I thought that was a four K Jujutsu Kaisen. I was gonna be like, Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Lance doesn't know how to take pictures. Lance hey, really um, it is 4K, by the way. One of them is. No, it least. isn't. The Mirage. <laughs> I, I'm saying one of them is at least. Mirage. Well, yeah, the two one of behind them, it is. Actually, two of them are. Oh, yeah. By the way, I've got No, no. I'll bring up the steel book. Oh, my God. Good job. Why do you Grab wild? your dick and double click. <laughs> That's Mirage, can you um can you post this again? I just opened uh Twitch so I could click on it. That's but a shirt, by the way. Have the, so just can yeah. yeah can you uh, that, that's our that's our Katakana idea shirt for real. Yeah. <laughs> Grab your dick and double click. Left and right all day and night. Oh geez. Rub all it right, here and, and rub and it there. And that is it. We rub it till it's in your hair. Okay. Uh, Cam, back to me. I have extra pickups. Cam so um, we did a game night um, on Oops. Friday. Rip. Hi. Do I deserve this disrespect? I <laughs> didn't mean to click remove. It's the biggest damn button. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold window. on. Hold on. Before we go to me, let's uh, let's let's finish up this topic. Well, yeah. Let's finish this topic. You want to talk about uh, since everybody? I already got talked it? about it while you were gone. Oh, cool, cool. Did you show this? Sad. No, we're I did not. Sad. Of course I you did didn't. Not. We talked about this when it was announced. Now it's we're useless. Sad. Anyway, I repeat myself. But no, but seriously, all you have to do is yeet the fucking art cards. This is so stupid. Oh, I'm clicking on the stream instead of the actual yeah, window. Yeah, but then you have the, another art box, so you gotta. Who fucking cares? Throw the art cards in here. <laughs> Put this in there, like <laughs> that's all you gotta fucking do. It's you so simple. You could probably fit all the art cards and the the four K set in the box without having to put the art cards in the, um, you know, shit box. Brad, what you're saying is like saying get Space Dandy one and two, but. Put the second one in the first one. It's like I still have the second box. What do I do with it? <laughs> like I said, throw it out. You put That's the why you art don't card buy box two LEs when one is already provided in the and... LE, and then you've used the box for something, and then yeah. you throw it out. <laughs> I uh, usually what I do is I take the art boxes. I have I have space in my um TV stand, you know, for normal DVDs where normal people put their <laughs> crap, mm -hmm. and um the I just put all stuff. the extra stuff down there yeah but if your extra stuff is an entire limited edition <laughs> that you paid money for you don't necessarily want to just throw it in there with the odds and in boxes well no technically you have the the disc in in uh the disc comes with it that you're gonna get I anyway. tagged it's you. Just you have this useless box there you go okay cool so let's go back to me now that we've we've covered that okay so uh -huh. um 
we did a game night uh, where we played Mario Party, and Gilzino mopped the floor with us. But because it's Mario Party, Fudnam, who sucked the whole night, still won. Um, and uh, <laughs> I got myself the I, I borrowed a friend's Elgato um, when uh, when we did it um, because I couldn't order one fast enough, right? So this came in the mail. It's a refurbished one. I haven't tested it out, but I just gotta say, like, I, so I also picked up like that cable. Up there is like a 30 foot fiber optic cable oh, <laughs> so that huge. we could do the whole thing. And um, and when this arrived, so I bought a uh, I bought a new HDMI cable, which is also there. Oh no, that's the 30 foot one. The, the shorter one is in the other room. Um, but it came with an HDMI cable, and that's it also good. came with a USB to USB C, which is what this takes, USB C uh cable. With a fucking like bound leather like strap thing for it, like what the? Fuck? It's like <laughs> that's the nicest refurbished purchase I've ever made. It was super cheap and came with all the accessories. <laughs> like oh, like, dude, you also have another pickup, and FDM also has another pickup that n- n- neither of you have shown. Something I well, bought Reese, for you. Uh, and I'm what you to cut for him off. Oh yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, what? AC <laughs> had that. AC had that whole look on his face, like I just shit myself. FDM, do you have that available? Uh, not conveniently. Uh, also, my cam's not working. That's why I took a picture. Uh, can I, I, can just, I guess you can, just can Brad it. grab it? <laughs> I, AC, the, you well, transmission to Canada. Can't hear you. <laughs> I I got I got the game. Uh, oh, of which, oh, this is uh, also a good opportunity. This is, this is a good opportunity to have him lick it. Oh, um, no. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Everyone just yes. with instant transmission. Don't, don't spoil it, Lance. Lance, don't spoil it, okay? <laughs> this has Lance, to be organic on screen. Whenever he comes back. Anyway, yeah, I got Super well, I Mario. Like Super Mario. I thought that was Mona for a second. I was like, what the hell? Got Oh. Got Mario Party Superstars. That's my pickup that Reese is talking about. Ah, uh, uh. let me back. So, as, the, as to not make the show go on forever, I'm going to I'm going to ask that the audience pretends that one of these is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate because I found every game on the floor except for the one I was looking for, uh, and I'm just I don't know where the fuck it is right now. So you just have so to Brad, trust me. So Brad, there's a very pressing matter at hand, regardless if you have Smash. Grab Open one, one of the grab cases one of those, that has grab, the game. Grab one of those games. Take out the cartridge. Oh, I'm supposed to lick it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is Pride Month after all. <laughs> Did your kids <laughs> lick it already? You, you or, did like lick it off. off. Oh, Don't lick the contact. Is this, the, is this part. Not, the the no. black part? Yes. Yeah. Oh dear God. Oh my God. You gonna be okay, AC? It doesn't <laughs> taste like anything. It's just like plastic. Yeah. What the you hell? Think, Am I supposed to lick the a different sticker? one? This well, one. Yeah, this is rigged. Different. That's a what bootleg. That's, not That's gotta be bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> what game was it? That was, it was uh, Mario Party or that Mario, was Mario Kart? Kart Deluxe. That one was Here's you. Mario Party. Did you which one which one of these did you buy absolutely new? I can see the actual like computer chip underneath yeah, there on this one. Why'd you see? lick that part? <laughs> <laughs> Data mining. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't understand why. Do you have to like so crack much. some maple syrup on it or something? No, it's just supposed to taste like... fucking awful. It's supposed to be the most bitter substance in the world. Oh my Are God. you for real? Yeah. Maybe they stopped doing it. Yes. <laughs> no, I mean all of the ones that I. I mean, what is the oldest you, game in here? You've you've licked all your games. Skyward no, Sword like... HD. That's got to be an old one, right? That is. The, uh, that's not too no, old. No, it's not actually in the, the that HD. Old. Uh, it's it's old if you go back to uh. You're not. Your case <laughs> bus must be shot. None of them are bitter. I guess he had a taste buds on the Super podcast. Super Mario Odyssey. Drinking. 
I mean, it tastes like if you've ever accidentally or purposefully licked a Sharpie. How, how do you know the flavor of a Sharpie? Is he pr- because he tasted is the Sharpie. Is this only in college things, bro? Because he I'm an artist. I was saying accidentally. Ah. I, I am an artist who has, who has put pens in their mouth too many times, and, and occasionally they leak, or you put them in the wrong way by accident because you're – you're wrong creating oh, so put it hard. In the wrong way, you say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I put my right. pin in the wrong way. So we're done with pickups, right? Oh, well. Yeah, we're, we're done. Yeah. I like the idea. I'm going to create so hard. <laughs> we're going to create this all over this bitch. I your mother. We create. I'm going to so create hard. children all over this bitch. Dude, for a second there, that background that was red, I thought you got a virus, dude. <laughs> when I was. Um, oh, we'll make it in- a virus. When I was in high school, I had this set of um, pencil crayons or colored pencils. For Does the this make feet more or less appealing? Randomly, uh, that's nothing to do with feet. And um, <laughs> no, I'm talking about what's on screen. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking at do that. Do you like Crocs or not? <laughs> uh, so continue your story. Um, I'm listening. I'm listening. And Spider-Man they were so they were cancer shoes or something. Okay, anyway, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I, I see them. Uh, I don't know. Um, they uh, so they they were watercolor pencil crayons, and so you had to wet them. So I would lick the tip of the mm-hmm. the um you like the not tip, the eh? lead but the colored mm-hmm. part, and then start drawing. And um, so I had like I don't know I guess colors on my tongue, and my mom thought I was. Uh, Doing drugs. Oh, sounds like a mom. <laughs> Aw. Okay, just know, licking dude, pencil crayon. Jimmy, Randy, did you get into my <laughs> my ecstasy? <laughs> like, you you want to do something funny? One time, um, I was talking to a friend and I was just like being very vague about something. I don't know why I was, but my mom thought I was like talking about doing drugs with him. Fun story. Okay, I laughed about uh, it. I I rem- uh, while we're on that, but the whole eating blue, time... eating blue thing was popular when I was a kid, and I never could understand why people would literally get a thing of glue. And I'm like, are you guys gonna ever be able to? So, cover- yes. <laughs> I I can't remember what it was specifically. Was it? Wait, what? And I couldn't. Remember. And I remember as a kid, like I, I saw Elmer's glue, but I read it as Elmo's glue. So I was like, oh no, they're eating Elmo. <laughs> wow. That does seem like something. You're right. <laughs> oh, he's he's eating elbow out. I, I can't it, remember. It, what, I, was it the stick glue or was it the liquid? It was the it was the liquid. You know the stick white hand with, the red, with the red tip that you could like pour on like mustard. <laughs> Do you guys call it stick glue or glue stick? Glue stick. Well, glue I, stick. I, I, I was trying to stick, differentiate but... the stick versus the liquid. The, 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 right. Okay, the so getting it so real quick. Liquidly. Right. I don't remember uh, what specifically spurned the conversation, but one time right. I was getting I was getting into the um, to the car uh, in high school. Ooh. My dad was picking me up, and my dad made some comment that struck me in the weirdest way because it's like, like um, what late night like news release did you read? that you felt that this was something that you needed to confront me over. <laughs> but it was something like, like maybe I think it, I might've been wearing like a bracelet or something that somebody had made mm-hmm. or something like my girlfriend had made for me or something. And I was like wearing it for the day so I could take it off. I'm sorry. I lost it. You know, kind of thing. And my dad, Oh yeah, it was something, I don't remember specifically what it was, but it was something where like it had like beads or something on it, like different, you know, styled beads and my dad said is that one of those beads where like teenagers have the different beads on them so that uh the Marty other teenagers Cop. know what what kind of sex they're into or something oh, and i was just like god uh, i've never <laughs> heard of that yeah no it's just like it just sounded like to me like you know um you should be the, like yeah oh, that's a good idea or chan <laughs> level of news reporting about like so like don't... parents do you there know was what something up to kind of like news reports? Do you know what rainbow parties are? There was something similar in my school that was a thing, um, but it not quite. Oh, so your teacher you're knew part what of your it. Shit was, <laughs> but it was. Tell us how you partake in do, this. Do you remember the? My response should have been, 
you think anybody's getting laid wearing this gay ass bracelet? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Do you remember the the plastic, like the all plastic, like rubber bracelets that were like big in the late nineties, yeah. early yeah. thousands? I remember them. Yeah, rubber uh, bracelets. Like, yeah, well, rubber and plastic are the same thing. But rubber. Yeah, they were all rubber bla- uh, bands. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're talking about, like, the ones that, that are kind of like a big cock ring for your wrist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I can't remember exactly what it was, but there was something about those where girls would wear them. And then, like, if you went up to them and, like, took them off or something, it meant, I don't know, something stupid. I... But there was something along those lines about and sex and the the wristbands something funny happened to me a friend of mine clearly you know, i was not in on the loop obviously, apparently but... not we're um, all because virgins i don't know where the story <laughs> is going uh a friend of mine didn't know what mardi gras beads were this is about 10 or so years ago probably over the aging myself here and you You're know the chain 10? yeah yeah definitely yeah, you know what i had to show my id the other day to buy beer uh but the uh Man, you know the chains you that you put that. Right? Uh, it's not Apparently like I not race. Uh, <laughs> the change you put on a bicycle? No, no, the one you put. You know when you're uh, installing a ceiling fan, you have those long chains, oh, yeah. and they're coming yeah, different like sizes. Yeah, like the kind that are on like a uh, like a pole chain, that, uh, in the yeah, sort of the yeah. same thing that's like on a dog tags. Yeah, hmm. yep, 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 yep. That, and it had slightly bigger beads on it. And uh, mm. I came home from playing some music one evening, and a friend of mine was asleep on my couch, and I went in there and. Like, he was all pissed off with me because I didn't wake him up to take him with me. Because, like, where the hell have you been? And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, the chain around your neck. I'm like, dude, I got this off the job. But he thought you a lady of like the a night? Gras situation. I was yeah. hoping you were going to say you accidentally <laughs> bought anal beads or something. <laughs> But I could. We it, all it, had it's one of those you've had in <laughs> moments. I guess and it was so funny him freaking out on me because he's like, he's like, where have you been? Why didn't you take me with you? I was like, what are you talking about? It's like around your neck. You got he's beads, like, man. And I'm like, you no, have sex. You, you don't. <laughs> I got this from the fan. What fan? We could have double teamed on that chick. <laughs> Bros before hoes, bro. <laughs> he was honestly hurt, and I, I was like, I was like, how am I gonna explain this because you're sporadic right now? What is this? <laughs> oh no! Random eleven. This is this is a, this is a picture of you, Lance. <laughs> If anything, this is exactly what you just described. Oh <laughs> Fucking red of eleven shit. <laughs> what is this one? Did we have this from our previous podcast? That ever- oh yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Will Smith at first in the small um in the small like thumbnail for it. Anyway, let's get back to the to I, just saying we're like four hours in. Opening discussions isn't over yet, so Man, let's go. Longest- <laughs> it's gonna be an eight-hour one, all right, everyone. <laughs> Can't wait to finish this and hop in my car and go to work. Kyoto Animation announces that it will build two memorials to the victims of the anime studio arson attack. So previously, last time we talked about this, they were planning to build a memorial, but because the physical location of Studio One, which is the one that was attacked is literally just smack dab in the middle of a neighborhood. Uh, All the residents said, like, fuck that. Don't build a memorial there. I don't want a bunch of otaku uh, wailing constantly uh, and, you know, spending money on other disgusting things. Three o'clock in the morning. (laughs) Anyway, so um, they said, now after years of discussions and consideration, uh, I think this is missing some highlights. Oh, let's try again. Uh... Uh, there's not even a vending machine to be seen which is one of the surest signs that you're in a part of japan where there aren't a lot of outside visitors coming in because of that some local residents have just have expressed concerns that building an on-site memorial will regularly draw fans to the area disrupting the lifestyles of those who uh who have lived in the neighborhood for years and become accustomed to its peace and quiet now after years of discussion and consideration a lawyer representing a group of companies a group composed of Kyoto animation and families of the victims has issued a written statement that not one, but two memorials will be installed with only one accessible to the public. While an exact location is yet to be decided on, 
The publicly accessible monument is going to likely be erected in Uji, Kyoto City's neighbor to the southeast, and the town where the Kyoto Animation Headquarters office is located. Uh, the planning committee would like it to be erected in a park or other public space where it can serve to preserve the memories of what happened, the lives of those who passed away and were injured, and the prayers and support offered by people from around the world. The design and materials to be used are also not yet set, but the committee has said that it wishes to avoid dark, somber colors and other elements that could suppress the existing aesthetics of the eventual site. Construction and installation costs will be paid for using funds that were donated to Kyoto Animation following the attack, in keeping with the studio's promise to not use any of the money for business purposes. There you go. Whatever the fuck this is. Oh, I clicked on Show that. Show receipts. Shoe. All right. So, jumping in. It's so exciting. We're finally going to cover some actual news. Oh, God. <laughs> Hooray. Oh, opening no, discussions are over. So, Comiquette is going to allow an unlimited number of attendees as entry restrictions relax. So, previously, it, um, you know, they had like a ridiculous, like only 10,000 people in or whatever for COVID or whatever. Now it's going to be uh, unlimited. Unlimited otaku works. All right. Anyway, uh, One Piece Episode 1000 dub world premiere is planned for Anime Expo. Uh, it's going to it's going to take place on July 2nd at the Grammy Museum at L.A. Live. Which I guess is the new name for the um, what was the coin coinbase or crypto crypto dot com or whatever the theater used to be called. Anyway, um, in addition, or that was the Staples Center. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. In addition to the screening of the thousandth ep dubbed episode, the special occasion will include other fan exercises like an autograph with Toei Animation animators, which is pretty cool, and dub actor Sonny Strait, Patrick Seitz, and Ian Sinclair. Yay. No I'll just bring here. some loop on shit. <laughs> All right. Anyway, also the first slam dunk gets North American premiere at Anime Expo. So that's how I'll see it. You'll be really great is if I could also go see Knights of the Zodiac which was canceled, and I couldn't get in to see it. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, uh, on, it'll paper. be on Blu-ray by the time the Anime Expo comes out. Yep, true. Did you did you have a, a chat with um, Mike Tool about it? And, like, cry about it with him? <laughs> uh, no. no. <laughs> I am blocked, you insensitive bastard. <laughs> so July 3rd at 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time in the main events hall of the Los Angeles Convention Center... The first 2,500 attendees will receive a souvenir booklet as a bonus incentive. Ooh, a souvenir booklet. I want it. <laughs> All right, anyway, right. and uh, Justin Savakis said, are you listening, Footnum? Are you here? All the Digimon super fans should probably make plans to go to Otakon. Just saying. He knows. Oh. PPR. PP was hard about a couple days ago. He knows. Is it still hard? It's so hard he can't even be on he stream knows. right now because he know he's having to freaky Douglas Daniels. Frederick <laughs> Daniel Douglas Norman Maxwell. <laughs> How fucking Maxwell? Fucking dick demon nun mutilator. <laughs> right, um, okay, in other news. <laughs> let's just crank these out let's crank these out in the time it takes putting them to nut. all right the cw oh, officially we're, we're all, we're all crank, we will all crank out in solidarity the, the cw someone, officially prepare your is, left-handed mouse <laughs> when speaking of mouse someone keeps like jostling around their microphone no it's not you me? no it's not you it's someone else and it's uh very loud and annoying Mine mounting on top fuck of the yourself, other people. All right, who all right, have all right, all right AC, AC, start the cranking. I'll start the timer. <laughs> okay. The CW officially acts as the live action The Powerpuff Girls reboot. Is this the one where they're all over 18 and it's a live mm -hmm. action? Like, oh, the God, one where they know. have thumbs? Yes. <laughs> the CW no longer be moving forward to the number of its live action production plans, including Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Quote, We've already given those back to the studios, the CW's president <laughs> of entertainment, Brad Schwartz, told the outlet. So they're free to develop those and sell them anywhere. 
previously we reported that the girl who was going to play blossom uh opted to leave the outlet like or the 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 project just like yeah you know i'll do the pilot but honestly i'm gonna this this is some dog shit i don't want to do anymore the writing was on the wall is what we're saying anyway so they canceled that shit and it's going back to the studios or whatever and they're gonna sell it somewhere else cool we'll talk about it again sometime in the future i'm sure if we're unlucky next fans in japan don't sound happy with netflix's one piece live action changes to the going merry mm -hmm. Photo of the Straw Hats pirate ship has some fans wanting to burn it ASAP. One Piece definitely doesn't seem like the easiest anime slash manga to adapt into live action. It's an epic seafaring story filled with fantastic, fantastical locations, giant-sized villains, and zany superpowers, all rendered in an intentionally strange-looking art style. And yet, Netflix is going to try it anyway. With its live-action One Piece series scheduled to premiere sometime later this year, September, uh, the streaming giant has doled out precious few previews of what the series is going to look like, with only two in-costume pictures. Did you not? I wait with King Sal. King Sal is still muted. Oh, I, um, that, that still, was, here. I thought still that was Fudnam who just came back in. No, 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 I'm here. <laughs> It's King Style. It's King Style. We have time. We have time. Everybody shut the fuck up. We have time. It is not Footnum. It is The clock hasn't ended. King Style. Hush. We got to go. Move on. He's still fighting. So with only two in costume pictures of the cast so far, both of them facing away from the camera and silhouetted by the sun. So it's a big development that Netflix has finally released one smile for the camera photo for the live action. But it's not a smile a lot of fans in Japan sound very happy to see. Here, let me just go ahead and. Dear God, Oof. It's like a cranky vagina. Oof. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't look that weird to me. Like it's just, it's very unappealing. But so is the original. <laughs> like, so <laughs> that's the live action One Piece is going merry. Proud ship of protagonist Luffy and his crew of Straw Hat pirates. Except, as pre existing fans of the franchise have been pointing out, the sheep figurehead carved into the ship's bow looks a lot cuter in the anime and a lot more unsettling in the Netflix version. Who That's cares? because in the anime it's uh kawaii and the live action one is actually like a goat demon. Like that's the devil worship going on. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, the Japanese language official One Piece Twitter accounts tweet doesn't allow for comments. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Hide all you want. <laughs> but the same photo of the Netflix going merry when tweeted by Famitsu, Japan's most prominent video gaming magazine, prompted comments such as, quote, that's kind of scary, isn't it? That's way too scary. Kill me, please, with fire. <laughs> Definitely got to burn that. That ain't the going merry. It's the going baphomet. Oh, that was my joke. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, do they think One Piece is a horror series or something? I think the designers got the project mixed up with the live action berserk. Yeah, the horny goat demon. <laughs> Those dead eyes. It looks like a sheep that was suddenly petrified. Uh, there was absolutely no need to screw with the Going Mary's design like this. Don't All Netflix ever Mary. does is screw things up. No desire to stay loyal to the source material, huh? It's the live action Wapis. <laughs> This looks like it's, it's going to be on the idea. same high, lo high level as the live action Dragon Ball. Oh, woof. It's a really pretty startling just how few changes can. It's really, it's really pretty startling how just a few changes can have such a big impact on the impression the design gives off. In the anime slash manga, the Going Mary's figurehead has black pupils, a closed mouth, and no external ears. The Netflix version, though, has solid gray circles for its eyes, and the angles, uh, and the angles of it stuck out to the side ears, an open maw with an inky blackness inside, make it look like it's lunging at you to swallow you whole, or at least suck out your soul. Perhaps making the changes even more startling for some Japanese fans is the fact that there used to be a real world going merry that ferried passengers around Tokyo Bay. 
pictured above, its figurehead was pretty much an exact match to the anime slash manga version. Of course, with Netflix still not having released any trailer for its One Piece, we're all still unsure of what, uh, of what tone it's going to have, and it's possible the Tokyo Bay Fairies design would have looked too cutesy for what Netflix is aiming for. It could also be that direct from the, uh, from the front, it's is just the live action going Mary's bad angle as an image with a more offset perspective that Netflix released back in February didn't provoke nearly as negative a reaction. Though that might've been because the glare of the sun here makes the ear sort of blend in with the horn and partially obscures the flat gray eye. Luckily for Netflix at the end of the day, how the going Mary looks probably isn't going to be what sways people's watch slash don't watch decision for the live action one piece making what appears to be changes just for the sake of making changes though, isn't exactly going to give the series smooth sailing with existing fans though. All right. So let's see what we've got here for Luigi. The Metal 64 says live action can never do what 2d cartoons can do. Glad the, the CW Powerpuff Girls is canceled make a compelling argument. Japan should see what Netflix did to Cleopatra. Netflix changed the skin color to be brown <laughs> and called the series documentary. Netflix might make a documentary that lies about the Japanese emperor. Damn. How could they do that? Make them white. <laughs> the last samurai. What? No. <laughs> imagine them. Imagine them doing that. Can you um, imagine they do like a, a re-editing of the last samurai and it's actually a black dude. <laughs> no, all this stuff actually reminds me of you guys. Remember that stupid film called The Great Wall with uh, yes. oh, yeah, Matt yeah. with Matt Damon? <laughs> yeah, and everybody was like, "What the fuck? What's Matt Damon doing in a story about the Great Wall?" <laughs> It'd be hilarious in the Mexico version. Great, they, they just Great Wall watch him. party when. <laughs> yeah. So, so I know what you're thinking. Everybody's thinking the same thing. Look, this is why you can't do live action anime. It does not work. And you guys always like are so convinced that you're right about that. But I have some compelling evidence to suggest otherwise. Dying of laughter. The porn parody of Chainsaw Man surpassed the Blu-ray sales of the anime. <laughs> what does that tell you? <laughs> clap, clap, clap. Yep. Those are some changes, man. You. They changed the chainsaws to dildos. <laughs> okay, that's even more drastic than the Going Mary. So did any but that one was a win. Up? <laughs> Watch party <You>. win <laughs> on your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we're not. That's my reaction to the Digimon fan thing. You, don't need uh, your uh, you know, he, he he just <laughs> finished, AC. <laughs> All Dude, right. he's just so perfect. Yeah, that's my delayed reaction to the Otakon announcement. You don't understand. Someone called me because Watch they the wanted vibe. some tech advice. Uh, no, no, you were fapping, you goddamn You say, liar. Grandma, it's like 3 a.m. <laughs> he's like, don't touch me Speaking, there. speaking of it's of like 3 a.m., uh, I think I'm going to bounce. All right, All right King, style, King style. King style endorses your your veiling. My <laughs> swap out is already here, so uh, it's, it's, it's all good. <laughs> oh, he, he's yeah, your right understudy dude. now. Okay. Yeah, I'm the understudy. No, about swapping. All right, so you guys, <laughs> you guys remember the uh, the Chojin who uh, threatened to nuke Japan? Go up through time. Rip. <laughs> you guys remember the. <laughs> So uh, he uh, he got um, attacked by a stream sniper. So just gonna. Oh, uh, his name is Johnny Somali. <laughs> Whoa! Nothing Dude, I say could be worse than that. <laughs> can I just say that? Doesn't that sound like a uh, like a like a stereotype name for like a manga or an anime for a, a Japanese depiction of what? From I mean, his like icon was like KFC and watermelon. So I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> I mean, can you imagine that Johnny Somali, like in an anime series, like, Oh my God, it's that's Johnny over there. Somali. Oh, God. Yep. He's you know from Somalia. Let's be respectful. You know what I mean? I hope nobody. I, I hope nobody in the chat was saying weird shit. If I go back and oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It wasn't just stream sniped. He was stream nuked. Yeah. 
Nagasaki, bitch! <laughs> Drive by nuking. Yeah, that's a little. That's a little weird. That's like, so yeah, let's fight. Yeah. Anyway, so the uh, the assailant was captured by the police. <clears throat> Think about that: a black man calling the police. <laughs> Just kidding. Imagine All that. Right, so, he also apologized for his uh, for his ways. Uh, he doesn't want to get hit again. Anyway, moving on. He's on his redemption arc. Now. Imagine yeah, Jackie. Imagine that's, Jackie's that's, Twitter. That's actually, that's actually how I was planning to. Uh, it's actually how I was planning to present it. It's uh, Chojin redemption arc uh, begins now. Yeah. All right. Anyway, back to this. So uh, let's make like a fabric softener and bounce right out of there. <laughs> Live action is never an easy way to get people into anime. Show the anime. That is all you have to do. If people hate it, do not bother. Drink every time. Exhibit Luigi. dildo man. Like, you know, like I just, I'm gonna drink every time Luigi's like fuck the the live action uh, cartoon or, or animation. Uh, I gotta find a time to go drink. You're right. Oh, actually, I gotta put some clothes in the laundry in the, in the washer too. So anyway, more anime shows are gonna be streaming for free this summer on Sling TV, Amazon Freebie, and more. So this was um, interesting news. I didn't quite follow. <laughs> Um, if you enjoy anime retro crush, if you enjoy comma anime retro crush, how about if you enjoy anime comma retro crush, you didn't even get through the first four words of your article without fucking it up. Uh, so retro crush has some good news for you is it, is it expands its free streaming lineup with, with the addition of multiple popular shows. Retro crush is a new anime streaming service that was previously called Viewster anime. Now, Cynodyne, the kidding? parent company, is rebranding it and bringing more shows to the service. This is news. Are they rebranding it as Retro Crush or are they rebranding re it now? What? You can find Retro Crush on its website or on many popular <clears throat> streaming services, including Samsung TV Plus, Sling TV, Philo, and Amazon Freebie. By, by, curating a top, uh, by curating top quality content and expanding its availability, Retro Crush has become a go-to destination for fans of classic anime movies and TV series. It's hard to believe that Retro Crush launched on social media just a few years ago and quickly grew into a full-fledged VOD and fast channel. The channel's continued success is testament to the strength of being a part of the Cinedime streaming portfolio for the past year. No, 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 no. no. Having anime is the reason Cinedime has a streaming portfolio worth even talking about. Okay, so what is this view? This fucking. All right. So I'm just going to say the entire only reason I chose to cover this was because I thought that they were changing the name of Retro Crush again. Doesn't seem like it. Sorry for wasting your time. All right. So TBS. <laughs> TBS uploaded Sekiro playthroughs and mistakenly claimed copyright on all Sekiro videos worldwide. Hmm. Oh, TBS, you mean total bullshit? I'll continue. Yeah, Tokyo. not TBS, not the American TBS. No, Tokyo, uh, Tokyo Broadcasting. Uh, I, I got you, I got you. So but TBS I, I announcer like Risa Unai is popular with fans for her gamer and YouTuber activities. But after recently uploading a playthrough video of Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, a number of other Sekiro video uploaders complained about receiving copyright claims from TBS, including overseas users who have uploaded Sekiro play playthroughs. The TBS announcer <laughs> uploaded her Sekiro playthrough, and shortly after, somehow, all Sekiro playthrough videos on YouTube received copyright claims. Can you imagine just getting completely yeeted off of YouTube because you played Sekiro over the course of more than three videos? <laughs> that you know i mean this that this is isn't far that's not far-fetched because remember oh toei, hold on they just got demonetized it says because remember toei was like anything dragon ball or one piece related they would yeet any channel like give them copyright strikes or remove them and then they try to dance around it and it got so bad that youtube had to literally say you know what to solve this problem anybody that's into anime all you have to do is just ban <laughs> viewership in japan in japan problem well, yeah for uh, yeah <laughs> what, a great job. Uh, what didn't make sense was that the uploaders received copyright strikes from tokyo broadcasting system rather than secular's <laughs> copyright holders from software however 
Probably because FirmSoft was smart Sekiro enough to made by from from soft? Soft? <laughs> That doesn't sound right. From Soft. Wasn't Sekiro so from software is a Sekiro, Japanese company, Sekiro right? Sekiro Dash Shadow Die Twice uh is a Souls esque game. Yeah, but it's isn't it it's, yeah, it's, it's Japanese from, based, yeah. From software is a Japanese company, correct? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I thought that Sekiro, isn't that the one where they were talking about like it was an American made game and the uh, Japanese were like, fuck, we should have made this. It's so like pretty sure no. What am no, I No, you're talking about? about no 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 you're ta- talking about uh Ghost, Ghost of Tsushima. Of Tsushima. Oh, Ghost of Wait. You're right. I am I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Okay. Uh, however, Risa Una, I tweeted an apology for troubling the uploaders and from Risa software and explained well. that she had mistakenly changed the content ID while changing the thumbnails and titles for her videos. <laughs> Fucking bitch, you lie. <laughs> I don't even know that you could do that. <laughs> Fans that were mostly forgiving of Risa's honest mistake. However, many criticized TBS for throwing its announcer under the bus and making her apologize by herself when these situations usually call for an apology from the company itself. I like the idea that like the the um, uh, like Susan Wajiki had to go to Japan and bow and just be like, I am so sorry for Logan Paul. <laughs> We're dishonoring you. Yeah, we disgraced our honor onto your honorable country. We're sorry. Of honor. Of honor, against honor. Uh, making her apologize. So she's going to go for apology company itself. In any case, the problem has been solved and everything's back to normal. <laughs> you allow mistakes like these to happen. Seriously, if the other stuff was uploaded first, there should be like uh, a thing where YouTube's like, "Are you sure?" I'm going to delete <laughs> your channel if you're making this up. <laughs> like, uh, right. All right. So an agency for cultural affairs website accidentally lists manga pirate site URLs for six plus months. Damn. Accidentally. The oh, entire oh, time real, Vic was yes, having sex. Real quick. <laughs> while Mirage Leonardo is still on, did we ever address his blue gender? Um, he sw- he sent it to the Discord. I figured we would uh, we would address it. Um, well, uh, it's real. I got that one. Just saying. Well, now I have to check to confirm. <laughs> To make sure Let's you're not that. We need to check your gender photo. Does Where'd that you drop them. It's got yeah. logos. We have to make everything. sure if it's blue down the right. gender. Blue yeah. it's, if it, if it, it's the individual it DVDs. Gender. It's the individual DVDs. That's the legit In the art one. box. Yeah, it wouldn't. It would not be worth it um, to bootleg this one. Hmm. It is. <laughs> Especially at the price they're selling it. <laughs> Sadly, I know how poor you are constantly and never ever uh, overcoming your poorness. To buy the, the anime classic set from Rack Stuff. Yeah, so, to be fair, it does come with the movie. Me. I had to buy the movie separately. <laughs> yeah, you could buy, just buy the anime classic set from Amazon CA. Okay, so last Tuesday, social media. <laughs> Last Tuesday, social media exposed a rather embarrassing mistake by the Japanese government's Agency for Cultural Affairs. How the fuck do you make this mistake? I'm thinking it was Anime Fan 007. Did you assume my blue gender? We did, and during Pride Month, no less. I'm sorry. (laughs) All right. Uh, the Sankei News reported that the agency's website, which has long been dedicated to cracking down on piracy, had accidentally made public the URLs of the top 10 most accessed manga pirate sites in Japan. The document was first unveiled last August, but the flaws were only noticed after an employee saw the topic spreading on social media on May 16th. No, not like that. (laughs) This is so you know you're breaking the law. (laughs) Not, (laughs) was it? 1984 was a warning, not a guide. (laughs) Uh, It's not, you know, my fight the dark side, not join it. Yeah, the agency commented, quote, we will absolutely implement a checking system to ensure that a similar problem does not arise in the future. All right, Toshi, it is your (laughs) it is your uh, your new job to uh, make sure that we don't do anything embarrassing or you have to seppuku. You have to dick puku yourself. Dick puku. That's it, even it's, worse. So it's like I have a it, it's it's where you, it's where you take your dick off and then fuck yourself with it. Don't ask. The thing is, is I have a conspiracy theory according around this situation okay. where they posted okay. the yes. the mm-hmm. you know they posted the URLs and stuff to the copyright sites. 
it's let, let's just pretend that they have a brain and the person who did this didn't do it on accident. So they put them there to see how many people go to those sites through yes. their site just to get traffic to their site. Yeah. So if you went from their site, you could track the IP address. Yes, this is this is potential. But I don't think that's what's happening because it sounds like it was a document, like a PDF that you would download and read and then use the URL that way. So I don't know. doesn't seem like they were that sophisticated. It was probably a great entrapment I mean, it, scheme by a guy who ended up leaving the company or whatever. <laughs> Didn't fill anybody in on what so, he was doing. So, so you mean like a uh, um, disgruntled employee that was going to get fired or not fired? Like, fuck you guys. I'm going to give you my last... This uh, is my last nut for you bitches. <laughs> All right. The list was first used in an information presentation on copyright aimed at education professionals. It was intended to highlight the access numbers of the top manga pirate websites in Japan. Based on data from the authorized books of Japan, the ABJ mm, trade group and similar <laughs> web. Crucially, the list blacked out the URLs. A great in blowjob. Anal blowjobs. <laughs> oh, DJ, dude. Not, there's no G. Where'd you get the G from? But continue. Uh, crucially, the list blacked out the URLs and names of the websites, but it was possible for any user to reveal the URLs by hovering their mouse over them. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> Damn, son. Where'd you get this? <laughs> Japan's Content Overseas Distribution Association released a study in April citing losses of between 1.9 and 2.2 trillion yen in, 20, in 2021 due to privacy uh, pardon due to privacy of Japanese entertainment including manga, anime, music and video games. The figure marks a five-fold increase from the association's previous 2019 study. The numbers are based on market surveys and consumer questionnaires. Koda attributes the rise of piracy to people spending more time indoors due to COVID-19 pandemic and the proliferation of streaming services. I mean, Soft On Demand or whatever that company was gave free uh, porn to the people trapped on that cruise. So I don't know. <laughs> they have no excuse. Anyway, I think that's about it for that. Let's uh, yeah, uh, let's we've fucking we've covered that one on. thoroughly. All right. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Let's get through these quick. Oh no. All right, guys, prepare your Viagra. We got to go fast. So the Super Mario Bros. movie has beaten out Frozen <laughs> to become the second highest grossing animated film of all time. Let me ask you this. What is the number one highest grossing Frozen, animated film of all time? What is that screeching? Frozen oh 2. <laughs> Guys, does anyone other hear, other than me hear that screeching? It's King noise? Styles. It uh, feels like crickets raping my brain. Okay, you can, you can mute for a minute. Okay, it stopped. Yeah, it's okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Oh my god, it's back. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. Leave gonna... me alone. I'm telling you, we've had this happen before, and it was King Cell's mic. All right, cool. I don't hear it, so it's fine. Director Takayuki Hirao brings Pompo the Cinephile team back for a new anime film. Production is currently underway for the project codenamed Wasted Chef. Nice. So it's going to be like a drunk Gordon Ramsay, right? Or wasted a high, chef or a high Gordon Ramsay. Either way, I'm all for it. <laughs> anyway, you think they're gonna cross over with um with Food Wars in the future? Uh, probably probably not. not, but it'd be funny though. Anyway, so Gordon Black Ramsay Cat having a food gas. Black Cat Anime launches its official Twitter account for some reason. How old is this anime? Like 2006? Yeah. Maybe. 2004. 2004. Yeah, yeah it's pretty damn old. No, wait, that's oh, sorry, sorry. That, no, no, it is. 2005. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> it ended in 2006. <laughs> Fake right, thing. So yeah, it's got a it's got a, uh, a Twitter account now. Ooh, yay. So yeah, but that, that was only that... to promote that. Oh, it's on the streaming service. Okay, I'm sharing this just because I thought this was fucking hilarious. The email protected million live anime releases new trailer for advanced theatrical run. So it's the idol master. But the A in master is the at symbol. So it says the email protected franchise's official YouTube. So when I click on this, it says you are uh, you are unable to access this email address on crunchyroll.com. The website from which you got this page is protected by Cloudflare. Email addresses on that page have been hidden in order to keep them from being accessed by malicious bots. Yeah, so I'm a bot. Okay. Russian bot verified over here. No, actually, what it is is because I had I had uh, JavaScripting turned off, 
I, I routinely turn it off for Crunchyroll because it fucks up the uh, the tweets. The embedded tweets. Yeah, the embedded tweets. I have to continually turn it on and off. Anyway, I just see, see how it says I don't like turning off Java the Hut script yeah. all the time, don't you? Oh, yeah. Right. Totally what I said. Reign of the Seven Spellblades TV anime sets July 7th premiere with new visual trailer. So, I mean, Mashal's coming out like right now. Like, what? Is it just Harry Potter is hot right now because of like J.K. Rowling and and the Bud Light? Well, their Hogwarts Legacy, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the video game, is pretty is catching. I mean, a that's lot. fucking like, Hermione well, it, right here. Like, <laughs> well, to be fair though, AC, uh, remember Black Clover is in hiatus or it probably is ending. We don't know. Well, that movie's coming out. No, but mm -hmm. like they haven't done a new anime or manga stuff in a while, so so I I do really love that they're like you know so I want to do like a Hogwarts like school of witchcraft and wizardry, but you know like the fucking wands look so gay. Let's give them daggers, you know, like <laughs> cast <laughs> spells yeah, with spell sword. Ooh, they cast a spell and slit your throat. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why they don't go with the oh natural uh, magic wand in your pants, but we, we got the perfect porn parody title already. Seven H spell A dildos. Wait, wait, is it I R Y Potter? <laughs> is it like the um? Is it like the the um the Carlos Mencia um cockfight thing? Remember that? No. Like Penguin. Jedi's, <laughs> except it's the big Penguin right? boxes. No, that's the Schwartz from fucking uh, Spaceballs. <laughs> Spaceballs Watch Party win. Penguin Boxes Odekake yeah, Kozame down. manga about young shark gets an anime. A young shark? So what pool hall? A land they go shark, to? apparently. A, a land shark. shark do, 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 do. <laughs> How do people without kids even know that exists? <laughs> I have oh, no Thank you. Oh, that's true. So he, for them, he, he by extension has kids. You and Greenline hey. determined that this was a valuable thing to include, so I included it. AC was gonna say, "Oh no, Reese just likes that." I totally yeah. believe I that you copying didn't copying this link. I I totally I believe that you you guys didn't literally just open up Crunchyroll and grab ten random links for me when I asked you to do it. <laughs> Maybe anyway. that one was in. Uh, I I didn't close that one. When I was copying the links, press X to doubt. What are you anyway, talking about? I have no idea why this would be included. Okay, so He's Ayaka, we, we looked at it last podcast. Uh, Ayaka uh, TV. No, Ayaka, I guess we talked about like, what is she a VTuber or whatever? It, I don't know. It's got an interesting design that seems very un unusual Ayaka. for what? anyway. Moving on. I, I thought you were going to say unethical, but I was, I was about to say something you <laughs> chose. Not to include during a Pride Month, no less, <laughs> was an update on Kuso Miso technique. <laughs> I would not ask Damn, me. I wish there wasn't already a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> we, could, we could have them on a bench in the background. <laughs> How did you find these if you weren't looking through Crunchyroll? <laughs> oh, I had to do my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a new association in Japan is going to campaign for better anime working conditions. That just means getting donuts. <laughs> Good luck for that. I'm, all they're going to do is get more sandwiches and sodas. Give us money so apartment. we can figure out a solution to this problem that we won't figure out. Anime production is known to be a tough job with little pay that runs off of passion for the craft with anime that, par that parody this fact now and then. But recently, a, a new association named NAFCA, are you serious, was formed <clears throat> aiming to try and improve anime production working conditions in Japan. NAFCA, which stands for Nippon Anime and Film Culture Association. Why is only Japan written in Japanese? Huh? NAFCA? Mm, Nippon? Is being held by Masuo Ueda, a former A1 Pictures executive and several other animators and anime directors and voice actors have expressed support for the creation of the organization. NAFCA is looking for support both within Japan and internationally and released a statement in English as well. The English one would be JAFCA. Mm. <laughs> Not the point would be Japan. So they said, we want to believe that animation has a future. It's called AI. 
That's the future. <laughs> it has been a hundred years since the establishment of commercial animation. The sales from related industries have exceeded 3.5 trillion yen. And as a culture that symbolizes the nation, anime has taken the world by storm. On the other hand, the production studio, far from being a factory that nurtures dreams, is a place where creators are supported solely by the love of the craft. Uh, to the limit of their physical and mental strength. And it is no exaggeration to say that the site is on the verge of collapse. Will Japanese animation production continue to be a field where one must be prepared to live in poverty in order to break into the industry? Will it continue to compensate for the depletion of human resources by relying on overseas production systems? <laughs> With the global shift in work styles, and the increasing scrutiny on the issue of employment inequality, can we afford to allow this state of affairs to continue until the government takes a scalpel to it? We at the Nippon Anime and Film Culture Association are not an organization that only seeks to improve conditions. The management and production sides must understand each other's situations, be aware of their responsibilities, and use their, rep and use their respective wisdom to dissolve the accumulated stagnation in order to achieve a greater goal. We would like to be an organization that works together with the national cultural strategy and aims even higher. You have said fuck all about what you're actually going to do. If everyone involved in this world, regardless of their position, loves animation, the, <laughs> the way will surely open up. This is what we believe. Give us money. <laughs> right? Like we're gonna do fuck all, but you're gonna believe with Pixie Dust. Oh, E Castro hears it too. But my boomer ears can't. Damn. Probably true. I don't hear a damn thing. Yeah. That doesn't that doesn't help me. <laughs> While a fundamental <laughs> change in the production committee system of anime production will be needed for NAFCA to achieve its goals, the existence of organizations like NAFCA might be the first step towards making such a difference. Oh, a cope. Copium over there, man. Like, not happening. Anyway, uh, in manga news. Oh, yeah, some good shit's coming up. Mm, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Come on. Golden Kamui author Satoru Noda's got a new ice hockey manga. We like to call it hockey, the primary hockey that people talk about. And then you call the other ones like ball hockey and whatever. <laughs> and then there's bull hockey, which is like bullshit. It's oh. all. Look, it's only you guys I'm gonna, culturally I'm move appropriate. On I learn any more culture. about that. <laughs> <laughs> also, Shakugan no Shana franchise gets their first light novel in 11 years. Spider Man, across the Spider Verse film, gets a manga spin off about Doc Ock in a schoolgirl's body. Why are they using the male Doc Ock in the Spider-Verse manga when the Doc Ock in Spider-Verse was a woman? Valid question. And why does she look like the main character from uh, Brigadoon or whatever that was? Shueisha and Marvel Entertainment announced on Tuesday that the upcoming Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse film will have a spin-off manga titled Spider-Man, Octopus Girl. Mmm. <laughs> Is that those the are gonna get. <laughs> yeah, we've already no. had, we have one of those. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the uh, the octopus girl is a world famous uh, phenomenon in Japan. Like, <laughs> yeah. I hope it's not censored too bad. <laughs> With story and art by the duo behind the, the My Hero Spider Man is going to come from a weird manga. place. Oh, I believe it. Uh, Hideyuki Furuhashi and Betten Court. The manga will launch in Shueisha Shonen Jump Plus manga app on June 20th. The manga's story begins when iconic villain Dr. Octopus falls into a coma. When he awakens, he finds himself isekai. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> he finds himself inha inhabiting the body of Japanese middle schooler Otoha Okutami. Uh. 
Uh, Spider Man across the Avengers sequel. I don't care. Okay, we know that. Anyway, it's gonna have some lit uh, dojin, I'm sure. <laughs> Somali and the guardian of the forest creator still struggling financially has regrets over the anime adaptation. So the manga ended in 2020 due to Yako Gureshi's worsening health. Uh, they tweeted last Tuesday about their, their Somali and the guardian of the forest manga status and their personal life. The most notable takeaway is that they are currently asking fans for financial support in order to help cover the cost of their rent and utility bills. Gureshi Asked for contributions to their Pixiv fan box account. Little do they know, their degrading health is because they got stream sniped. Did they? Somali? Oh, right, all right, yeah, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I was literally thinking about this article when I read that other one, too. I just it, it left my brain. <laughs> Damn it! That was a great joke. I'm sorry I ruined it. Uh, Gracie stated that they would uh, that they still wish to continue the Somali and the and the Guardian of the Forest manga through self publishing on Kindle and other platforms. Although they added that there are no concrete plans for continuation yet, they are currently working on their ongoing isekai Kakurio Ayakashi Kukitan, another world afterlife, mysterious tales of spirit food. Wow, that sounds riveting. <laughs> So they're working on it at a pace to avoid burnout. They mentioned that while they are enjoying working on this manga, they're currently going through a slump due to financial difficulties. Another issue Gureshi touched upon was their regrets about the Somali and the Guardian of the Forest anime adaptation. They stated that they were too busy at the time to supervise work on the anime and felt uncomfortable as a newcomer artist to intrude upon the production. Because of this, they discovered too late that the voice actors mispronounced the name Somali. Gureshi huh? left, uh, left the supervision to an editor who unfortunately failed to pick up on the mistake as well. This left Gureshi feeling regret about the anime, and they were unable to bring themselves to watch it as it was airing. Uh. Gureshi also addressed their frustrations with the manga industry, mentioning that they were disappointed when Somali was canceled two years after Gureshi went on hiatus. Gureshi claimed this was because the manga's focus on fantasy was perceived as off-brand for comic Xenon. Was it now? Which, which mainly deals with manga in contemporary settings. They wrote oh. that they don't intend to draw for comic Xenon again because although they received a lot of support from the editorial department at the time, they also felt hurt in equal measure by other <laughs> aspects. More generally, they mentioned that much of the extra work involved in creating manga outside of the manuscripts such as bonus illustrations for different storefronts to, prov uh, to promote the compiled volume releases, is compensated, or is, or is uncompensated. They commented that they wanted to do something about the environment for the manga artists, who are often treated as disposable. Gureshi previously shared their opinions on the industry and their ongoing struggles last year. Gureshi explained in Mar March 2022 that small and... Okay, anyway, they're poor as fuck, and they're, and they're crying about it. Anyway, moving on. I can't believe it was just the stupid name <laughs> that they were like, no, so my watch, mom, the anime is ruined. <laughs> moral of the story is watch it dubbed, but watch then dubbed. that will be the one case where they actually pronounce it like the Japanese and it's going to be wrong. So rip. Yeah, but they never, they didn't clarify. Is it because they call it Somali or, or Somari? Somari? Yeah. See, because that's the problem is that in Japanese, either way, Somari, right? like you're going to pronounce yeah. it. The, <laughs> That is their sound for L and R combined. <laughs> anyway, so Western activists lose their minds after a new One Piece color spread appears to definitively debunk the transgender Yamato theory. Whoa, what does it just say? She's not transgender, you kooks? Is that what it says? I, I think it was out. like a heroines of One Piece and she's included. Yeah, it was all the right. girls of One Piece. Which makes on absolutely no spread. sense that this would be debunked. Like, I, I don't think she's transgender, but from the transgender crowd, why would they be upset about trans women are women, bigot? Like, you know, like <laughs> in Pride Month, no less. <laughs> in recent no, I think, months, I think she was, um, what was it, Reese? They, she was identifying as male. Like, wasn't that it? Like, oh, that's right. Oh, that's that's right. Of what that's she right. No, uh, oh, my God. How could I fail so she hard? She thinks on that? of herself. You're right. In a, oh as, as a guy. 
I, you can Dude, tell how much I care about situation. this. That I'm oh my gosh, so show. embarrassing, AC. Yeah. Oh, God. How do you not know, man? You should be ashamed. This is embarrassing as Mirage Leonardo's anime. fan. You, you are Mirage Leonardo's <laughs> biggest fan, apparently. His only fan. <laughs> oh, God. Do you pay $35.99 a month for that? I suck the cold air in. <laughs> All right. All right, so in recent months, Western transgender activists have turned social media into a war zone. <laughs> war. War when never changes. That on <laughs> Over their belief that the One Piece creator, I'm uh, sorry, that the One Piece character, y Yamato, was transgender. But thanks to the latest series color spread from creator Eiichiro Oda, it appears that the bleeding of the terminally online was all for nothing. As argued by these activists, because Yamato is a tomboy who once used male pronouns, a result of both her being forcefully raised as a boy by her abusive father, Kaido of the Beast, and her dream of following in the footsteps of her hero, the male Ko uh, Kozuki Odin, the Oni princess must be a transgender man. Of course, it makes perfect sense. And of course, all the centers to this belief have automatically been labeled as transphobic bigots. Important information of Yamato's Vivre card. Name, Yamato. Gender, female, birth, day. November 3rd, age, 28, younger than Vic's girlfriend. Height, 263 oh, centimeters. Wow. <laughs> In the corner, it says Kaido's child. Not son! <laughs> okay. All right, anyway, so it says, uh, while Oda has, been, has long refrained from giving a direct answer on the topic of Yamato's gender, it seems he has finally made a concrete move to lay the speculation to rest. Released on May 22nd and illustrated by the mangaka himself, One Piece, Chapter 1084, opens with a summer-themed color spread showing a number of popular female characters from the franchise, including Nami, Robin, and Carrot, having fun on the water slide. Is Carrot the one that's a bunny? I'm just what staring at Nami think? and Robin. Just, yeah, just I'm pretty sure that's the on. case. This lady is huge. <laughs> All right. Uh, sure. Uh, she, that's a yeah, big bitch. Big. <laughs> yeah. Notably, among the various heroines and villains like, is yeah, Yamato, who is sitting front and center on a thousand sunny themed raft. Damn. All right. But while fans were admiring their favorite One Piece ladies having fun under the sun, critics were losing their mind over the fact that Oda had seemingly deconfirmed their transgender headcanons to the extent he that never some even it. made threats against the transphobic creator's life. Announcing their desire to personally harm Oda for erasing the possibility of a trans Yamato. You wonder if someone wrote him and said, you Oda, go fuck yourself. <laughs> this person's name is Clown. <laughs> <laughs> they tweeted, Oda, I'm coming for your jugular. You know what you did. In addition to believing to juggle her. In addition to yeah, juggle low. In addition to believing that Yamato was trans, another person whose name I don't even want to try to read because it's probably a slur, uh, claimed the heroine was hanging out with the cast of lesbians, despite absolutely none of the characters appearing in the spread being one before like was revealing their desire to kill Oda. What kind of wow. game is he playing? Why is he entertaining transphobic arguments? Why? They hyperbolically cried. Let's go, lesbians. So what does it say? Like, where does it say that they're all women on the thing? Is it? It's just evident. Sanji sure, sure does believe that they're women. Just saying. Who's this woman? I stepped away. Can someone else look, please? Yeah, I don't think eyes can help you unless you've seen all of One Piece, because I can't... I don't know who the hell that is. I don't right, know so, who half these people are. Enraged Brazilian critic Ryan escalated his death threat towards Oda by declaring that they were going to hunt down and castrate Dick Puku. What, what do we call it? <laughs> is that what Dick I call Puku. it? Dick Puku. And chin, castrate chin chin uh, chin chin poo chin uh, chin chin poo Dick Fuku is chin, funnier. Chin chin poo chin poo chin poo is probably like you know like accurate. That's the kanji we'll use for it. But Dick poo is Dick funnier. Puku. Uh, what the fuck is this, Oda? He demanded. 
I'm going to hunt you down just to castrate you. How dare you take away Yamato's ding dong? Or wait, no, wait, hold on. How's it going? How dare you? No, I guess I I just cannot wrap my head around this concept. Apparently, other I, I critics. Think the fact that there is no head is the problem, AC. Other critics, such as this person, were infuriated not only with how Oda chose to include a male identifying Yamato in the all female spread, but not the series canon male to female character of Kiku. Oh shit! Because their main one was taken down, they have to er erect a new idol. No, they're saying that like they're saying that hold on. This male to female character was not included. But the character they claim is female to male was included, <laughs> so it's the biologically female of. <laughs> that's the that's the next. Uh, Oda's pretty good then, huh? Oda's based. Oda, prepare to pay the consequences for your actions. Why is Yamato here and not Kiku instead? The moment I don't get it if he respects his own characters. Wow, he's like the Japanese J.K. Rowling. <laughs> tripling down on the critical gender theory this other individual insultingly dismissed biological women by refusing to acknowledge their existence in order to accuse Oda of transphobia people complain about Yamato being here and Kiku missing they snarked guys calm down it's not a color spread about women it's about boob havers hope that helps boob havers right boob that's havers. the politically front correct. hole havers maybe <laughs> While Yamato's inclusion in this color spread is the closest Oda has come to confirming her gender, as of writing, the manga still has yet to offer a direct answer on the matter. It would be so fucking funny if Yamato shows up at the very last scene of the live action and says, hey, I'm a girl who identifies as a girl. I'm cisgendered Yamato. <laughs> like, well, on the Netflix that. one, they'd be like, I'm male. But if they really wanted to subvert expectations... No, they'd get Gren to play her. <laughs> Oh, no. That'd be even funnier. A trans actor saying, I'm a woman who identifies as a woman and is cisgendered. <laughs> then that just cut right there. <laughs> so a woman arrested for stealing manga blames the crime on her split personality. Hmm. It, was, it was Jessica. Is that a SIG P223? <laughs> Beautiful. Gun. I mean, something's launching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very underrated uh, Dragon Ball character. Nice who... ballistics. Yes. <laughs> Criminals can be pretty creative when it comes to fabricating stories, but this 38-year-old woman who was arrested for stealing three manga books from a store in Omuda, Fukuoka Prefecture, decided to go with blaming her split personality for committing the crime. I like the idea that what happened is she stole the manga, and she says, there is no mistake, I stole the manga just no, I didn't. That was my split personality. You know, I can only imagine <laughs> someone with There's this personality going the an extra mile of with this hand I'll jack you off. With this hand I'll jack you off. Mm. Oh, I'm not sure how you got there. The unemployed woman who lives in Omuda allegedly stole three manga books, which included Welcome to Demon School Irumakun, among other titles, from a shopping mall bookstore. During the police investigation, the woman said, "Quote." It came out of my bag, but I don't remember <laughs> buying it. And there's no doubt it, that it was stolen. There is no mistake. It was stolen. But I, I think another person inside me did it. <laughs> oh, God. Inside me. Oh. That could have uh, been uh, the dude. Are, are they inside you right now? <laughs> that library card has all kinds of uses. Yamato is an e-girl. I'm so sorry of how awful I am. I, I wish I could pop out the chat. I'm going to ask StreamYard to do that. If I could pop out the chat and dock it in the place where I'm screen sharing so I could see it while I'm... Because I it's on a different window. That would be fucking sick. I'm going to ask them to do that. Like the like how you could pop out the YouTube chat? Yeah. That would be so awesome. If I could keep it... like If there was a way to pop out the chat and have it be front and center, like it, it stays on top of the other window, that would be awesome. I'm going to definitely ask them to do that. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what does it say? Uh, when they bent the knee on Bridget, they only gave the unhinged a false sense of entitlement. I forgot about that. Thanks for thanks for ruining my day. <laughs> um, JK means something else in Japan. Yeah, Joshi Kose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, lunch starts as counter terrorists. Oh, launch. Wait, what? You're talking about launch, right? I'm hungry now. I think Japan, we all are. Isn't it like Japan arrests time? you for stealing while U.S. sites arrest you for stopping thieves? Oh, yeah. Uh, not going to lie. The Arumakun anime looks like something you'd come across on autoplay when you leave your kid glued to a tablet. Okay. Arumakun's like if my hero uh, was better. Wow. <laughs> So that wasn't the first time the woman went with the split personality reasoning as she used the same excuse in a statement in April after she was arrested for stealing alcohol. <laughs> but she had already been indicted after a short examination. This side right, of there you is go. drunk. In games news, Yuji Naka has been sentenced to 2.5 years in prison and fined 2.5 million yen plus charges. So the co-creator of Sonic is uh, going to do some jail time for um, insider trading. Oh, that's not going to go fast. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog co-creator Yuzhnog has been sentenced to 2.5 years in prison and fined 2.5 million yen, with prosecutors seeking 170 million yen in additional charges for his involvement in insider trading during his tenure at Square Enix. What about everybody else? F 57-year-old Naka um, worked on the development of Dragon Quest Tact and the Final Fantasy series while at Square Enix, where he, where he has worked since 2020, before being dismissed for the insider trading incident. At the trial held on June 1st at the Tokyo District Court, the prosecution said that defendant Naka undermined the fairness of the market and gained illicit profits from a significantly more advantageous position than general investors. Damn, I wish the Japanese would come after Nancy Pelosi. Yuji well, Naka was sentenced to 2.5 years in prison and fined 2.5 million yen with an additional 170 million yen as the prosecutor's demand for the punishment. The defense requested reduced fines and additional charges as Naka was not actively seeking insider information to commit the crime. Okay. Well, there you go. I just had to make sure we had that. Also, there's a Metal well, Gear Solid... my head cannon, real quick, yes. is that he... Uh, Your head cannon? Yes, my head cannon, that thing that Brad's brought up a billion times, <laughs> um, is uh, my head Firing cannon... Firing your lasers. <laughs> <laughs> my head cannon is that dude was still working with Sonic and all that, and... He knew every time a new Sonic game was coming out, he was going to sell his Sega stocks because he knew it was going to plummet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so actually what he did um, for anybody who wasn't here for the previous podcast where we covered this is that he um, he bought stock in the studios that were being outsourced to for the Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest game. Um, anyway, Metal Gear Solid 3 remake and remaster collection announced. So... Um, not gonna lie, uh, it looks pretty fucking good. <laughs> uh, the Metal but Gear it's, it's Konami though, right? Snake. So it's it's, like it's literally a catch. It's literally just like a cutscene or whatever. I think. I hope. I, I mean, I don't even hope. I mean, this fucking looks awesome. It, but it no, looks no, no, like no, it's no, just no, a no. cutscene. Brad, that's how they get you with modern gaming. They show you just cutscenes for all of the new trailers. Yeah. Everyone gets hyped, and then when the gameplay comes mm -hmm. out, you're like, "This sucks." Yeah, it's like what happened with the Golem game. I agree. You Are you kidding? Gameplay footage. The golem probably looked awful from the start. So a bird picks it up, goes to try to eat it on. So it's kind of a very strange trailer, to be honest. Tries to eat it over here. It's a poisonous frog, though, you stupid bitch. <laughs> it's the pachinko version of the games. And then the snake tries to get it, but then the snake gets got by the gator. Oh! Because he wasn't solid enough. And sitting in the back, watching while masturbating. Is a pachinko machine. Random. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking great. Oh, solid snake. <laughs> He's solid art. Oh no, he's naked snake. I'm sorry, naked snake in this game. So it's even more appropriate. <laughs> All right. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, not gonna lie, probably won't be great because they're probably gonna take out all the titties. Oh. Can I get an F in the chat for the titty? <laughs> All right. Japanese board games of. are no. Do you know what F in the chat means? Pay respect. It Explain. means to pay respects. Yeah, oh, I so thought in, I've heard F in the chat. Was that modern warfare? 
No, no, in, no, in modern, no. In one of the modern warfare games, like the opening of the game is that you're There's at a funeral, a funeral and you have to press F to pay respects. And the prompt to to you know move past the part of the cutscene is you hit F to pay respects to the to the dead soldier or whatever. Yeah. So no one had F ever in the chat that to me. I was the... always confused. I thought F in the chat was fuck you or some shit. Continue. No, F in the chat wow. is to pay respects. <laughs> Next time, look it up. Everyone, F in the <laughs> chat for this hoe. There's a uh, right. Know Your Meme is a website you might become acquainted with later. <laughs> uh, yeah, right, Know so... Your Meme and shut your mouth. <laughs> so Japanese mobile games are no longer in the global top 10 revenue list. So market research I don't understand why they say Japanese and they put a character from Genshin Impact, which is Chinese. That's Chinese, you dumb Let shit. Let me read the title again for the kids in the back. Japanese. Japanese mobile games no longer in global top 10 revenue list. Okay, I get it. That one is. <laughs> yeah, give him a second. Give me a second. He'll, he'll figure it so, out. So I'm sorry. Reason. It's like 4 a.m. I've been up for 24 hours. I'm tired. Go to bed. So market research All right, firm Liz. Sensor Tower has released its list of top 10 global uh, mobile game revenue ranking, and a Japanese game was not included in the top 10 uh, for the first time in a while. The top 10 in overall revenue for global mobile games in April 2023 were as follows. Honor of Kings, owned by Tencent. PUBG Mobile, Craft and oh. Tencent, blah, blah, right? So Genshin Impact, MiHoYo in China. Candy Crush, King in Sweden. Roblox in the USA. And I am not making this up. The number six top mobile game for the month of April was called Coin Master. From Moon Active in Israel. <laughs> Are you serious? Never heard of it. Are you kidding me? No. Just call it Shekel Master, like you want. Like, come on. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Seriously, like I did. It's because that's like it's that's sell. like that's sell. like calling it like you know, fucking, I don't know, like watermelon eating contest from. Zimbabwe. I don't know. Like that's it's just it's so on the nose. Wow, good job. It's so there. overtly racist. I don't I just I can't I just can't I can't get over this. <laughs> Coin masters beating out the Japanese. That F in the chat for the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> this one is for the titty. Hold on. This one's for the titty, okay. There may be more for Japanese, but that one particularly is for the lack of titty. All right. So uh, the March 2023 uh, top 10 ranking featured two Japanese mobile games in Uma Musume, Pretty Derby, and Monster Strike. Do you want to know why the Japanese games are getting pulled out? It's because of the censorship. It's that simple. Anyway, that's it. I only covered that for the coin match. I think that was funny. <laughs> All right. Sony Thunder investigation in Romania for alleged breach of competition rules. Sony, Sony Interactive Entertainment is under investigation by the Romanian Competition Council for allegedly breaking competition rules by abusing its dominant position in the video game market and restricting the sale of digital PlayStation games through the PlayStation Store. According to the Romanian Competition Council, Sony may have violated competition laws by making players buy digital games through the PS Store. The company is being accused of using its console market position by prohibiting game code sales through competing distributors, by doing so, Sony can charge higher prices for games. As a result of Sony's actions, there are fewer options to purchase PlayStation games outside the PlayStation Store, which allows Sony to set the price to gain an unfair competitive uh, edge. I mean, you could also just lower the price for the unfair competitive edge. Uh, the council fears that Sony's monopoly on the market could lead to Romanian studios losing motivation to develop games for the PlayStation. More investigations on the matter are underway. In March, a U.S. senator called out Sony for its monopoly control of the high-end gaming market. Well, where were you when they bought Crunchyroll? <laughs> the high-end uh, no market. Way. You know where they were? They were at a back room with a briefcase, and they left the briefcase. And the free blowjobs out back 
through the briefcase Absolutely. glory hole. Yes. In Romania. <laughs> that is yeah, 100% yeah. where they were. Amazon part-timers were caught stealing early copies of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So when I first read this, I thought that sounds like something that would happen in the U.S. No. Amazon Japan. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has been a massive hit since its launch, but some fans couldn't wait to get their hands on the game and started working part-time delivery at Amazon just to steal a copy before the street date. <laughs> According to the report, an unnamed culprit started working at Amazon as a part-time delivery man in order to get himself a long-awaited copy of the new Zelda game that ended with a permanent Zelda vacation that he took before getting caught. The term Naibiki Uchibiki is when a company worker steals a product before it gets delivered to the customer. And it's been a recent problem with people wanting to get their hands on hot new releases before anyone else. You know what I like about Japan? Like they, they keep people who do crimes anonymous, even though they shouldn't be. Um, do they? Do they? The guy didn't they say they the culprit so? that's unknown unnamed? I think well, you're mixing it up I, with how I they see. blur the handcuffs. No, I mean that like if somebody oh like an unnamed him. culprit started working. Okay, so it says here on this occasion, a 21 year old and a 24 year old man were both interviewed and hired by Amazon Japan about a month before the release of the Legend of Zelda: Terrors of the Kingdom. See, it's anonymous. Oof. Damn, They're I doing... play Terrors of the Kingdom. Terrors of the Kingdom. <laughs> Hey, Their designated hotel? area was swamped with orders, so when they hired right away, um, so so they were hired up right away. But the moment the new Zelda game's release date approached, they both stopped showing up to work and lost contract. I'm sorry, lost contact. It wasn't until the on-site manager got suspicious and called the parents of the 21-year-old delivery driver and asked what their son was doing, to which the parents responded that he was playing a game. The manager found out that it was. It was the new Zelda game, which was not even available digitally at the time, on May 11th. After getting in touch with the delivery man, he confessed that he applied for the part-time job and planned the crime to get Zelda as soon as possible. Can you blame him? He needed that uh, He needed that sword up his ass or whatever we were joking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. According to the manager, I, there's so much shit we could sell that we could just 3D print the master deal. <laughs> According to the manager, products usually enter the warehouse three days prior to going on sale, and the delivery staff confirms the orders two days before the release date to get everything ready. It was assumed that the game was stolen on May 10th, just two days before the May 12th release date. The part-timer was dismissed after returning the software and compensated for the price. Amazon has sent he, he me got games away with that it? early. Yeah, he did. He he's anonymous and he got away with the crime. It's funny. So that's that's probably why they're why they left it anonymous because he's not actually charged with it. They'd like, well, fuck it, don't do it again. You're you're Amazon you're has sent me games that have been earlier than that. Mm -hmm. Like, as for the 24 year old, he was also absent from work the same way. So the manager also grew suspicious and got in touch. He immediately confessed to the crime, but in addition to the Zelda game, he also stole a total of 10 items related to Zelda, including the Zelda dildo. Whoa! <laughs> no, including the limited pro controller, an Amazon bonus spoon, and an amiibo figure. The man admitted to making a living reselling stolen goods. Well, that's the world we live in. Can't make enough working for Amazon. Gotta sell the stolen goods. All right, the let's go into strong. release news. We are making up for lost time. It's only been an hour since we finished... Uh, opening discussions phone. i need a dollar a dollar that that's all i need he wants mm -hmm. to do for a dollar of daisy okay so classroom of the elite and more audiobooks are are to come from the new seven seas audio imprint siren so classroom of the elite reborn as a space mercenary protecting women's spaces uh and the saint's magic power is omnipotent. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Seriously, like, I just remember, you know, like, Dot Hack was coming out, and, like, fuck, in order to become a fan of this, you got to read, like, 15 novels. It's like, God, the commitment is so high. Now, you want to just get into that 
reborn as a space mercenary, I woke up piloting the strongest starship. It's like, ah, I could give this a whirl. Oh, it's dubbed? Nice. Don't even have to read. All right. The Great Pretender anime is getting a North American home video release via Anime Limited. Uh, so this is the second or third time now that we've reported on the UK distributor um, creating a US release for the series. Um, so there you go. And there was a picture of it on home video, but uh, because of the JavaScript fucking up everything. It's yeah, a there was like what, Beauty anime. the Beginning. Uh, uh, yes, then um, and Bartender. Macross things that we haven't got yet still. And uh, Bartender. This. But, um, oh yeah. And, and Bartender. Bartender. But, uh, Where the yeah, fuck something is this that thing? you might have. I don't know if that was in the string of tweets there. Hey, Renus. But, uh, um, yeah. I forgot to put that Amazon uh, live action thing in the, I got um, it in my list already. Nice. Can you please put it in the private chat so I can add it to the doc too? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's right there. Just scroll down to the next one Gundam 4K trilogy. Oh, they, now they're saying it's trilogy. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Gundam. But either way, Gundam. You, you bet I'm gonna get that. Speaking of Gundam, you guys remember like one of the older Gundam sh- series? They aired on Cartoon Network in 2001, and then September 11 happened, and then they had to pull that Gundam series halfway. Was it Wang? Run. Uh, I don't remember that because I did not know I had Cartoon Network during 9 11 because uh, it was on channel 81. Mm. And it was staticky as balls. Mm. Well, it was channel 52 for me, and then uh, then they changed to 43. But um, it, apparently because it was fighting in a city and it was destroying buildings, they had to pull it Damn. and replace it with another Gundam series. Fucking terrorists took that from you. Yep. I mean, the, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. The U.S. government took that from you. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> There probably were other anime series that got pulled or censored because of that too, like Pokemon and you know, other series. I mean, that was for different reasons, I'd hope. I sure do love how fast Right Stuff has been. Did you guys know Right Stuff was down for some reason the other day? Uh, yeah, like it's it been down on me us. several times. <laughs> oh no. It probably has to do with them forgetting their server guy to fix it. Jane, you die. Did it? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's look at this memes channel on Discord real quick. Is it my memes. turn? Da, da, da. No, because I'm waiting for this stupid thing to load. Wait your wow. turn, Reese. I'm sorry. Why won't Ooh. this work? Because you're a loser. Oh, oh. it's true. Seriously, what the? F- there it is. Okay, shipping info on right stuff. I would just like to point out. Get that shit off the screen. Where is it? Jesus Christ! What? There we are. I got it. Thank you. Uh, so they have. According to them, do you have free shipping? If you are a domestic customer U.S. and your order is over $75, economy shipping is free, right? So remember they raised it to $75? And they needed Canadian free shipping? Yeah. Yeah. So um, free U.S. economy shipping at $50, free Canadian shipping at $250. So when Damn. I asked them, when I asked them this a couple of weeks ago, like how long this would last, they said it would be it would last until the end of May. Oh, that's it. Well, this is but I don't know if you noticed, but it's June, bitch, and I'm yeah. still yeah, looking at it. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'll message them tomorrow to ask about this. All right. Well, stay tuned, everyone. We'll get you those answers. Hard. Also, Lance, you say damn, but that was the original Canadian free shipping threshold. Yeah. <laughs> it's All still right, a lot. It always was a lot. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Go ahead, Reese. Get get us on right stuff. I'm gonna um, step out from the call and let it, you know, do its thing, and get whiskey. I'll see ya. Oh, of course, now it's not going to yeah, take a shot. Window. 
Typical. Stall without me, then. All right, I will. Not now. Let's try this again. Stalling in my skin. Oh, I did this. Reese, you need to All be right. stalling harder. Uh, so here we go. So this has not shown up on right stuff, which is why we Whisper never of the Heart. Whisper of the Heart live action movie, which is supposed, which is a sequel to the anime Whisper of the Heart. Why they couldn't have been bothered putting like a subtitle to it or something to differentiate the two is beyond me. But uh, this comes out on the twentieth. Got both of the DVD, uh, Blu-ray and a DVD copy. I'm surprised they didn't just you know animate a sequel if that was the case. Second, I'm surprised they didn't, you know, animate a sequel. Because that'd been a good idea. Yeah. Can't have this with them. Can't have those around here. Hey, it's Lou Fett. So anyway, moving on. And uh, we got licorice recoil. Liquor. Yeah. Licorice? licorice recoil. Licorice recoil. Blu-ray. This is from Interplex of America. And it comes with a soundtrack. Ooh. For the nice Anaplex price of 119 bucks. Which is not, I mean, it's fair enough. I mean, 13 no. episodes. No, no, no. No, no it's not. Well, you're, you're Stockholm compare, Syndrome. Comparing reason. other Anaplex prices. Yeah, it's comparing back prices. when they did like five parts of 100 bucks each. Yeah, this is a godsend. But I mean, it's still a friggin' arm in the leg just to get one yeah. show. So, there's that. And then we got Engage Kiss, also from Anaplex, for 112 bucks. Oh, even better deal. Well, it all 14 come with the episodes in Ah, you're paying 80 bucks for a soundtrack? By this what? rate? Yeah. The eight, other was 198 eight, eight dollars eight dollars for a soundtrack. $8? How much how much did they say how, okay the last 119 box was to 100 Oh I thought you said 190. Oh my bad. Man, you really need to 119 is still a freaking yeah, no robbery. <laughs> All right. Uh, now we also got uh, Rama half. Uh this is Rama a standard, one half. This is a standard There's the argument. Movie yeah, this came a bit too late, didn't it, Greenline? <laughs> <laughs> He's checked if he out. comes back. Because he bought the limited edition because that was the only one available. Rip. Oh, Where he got the standard of everything else. Oh, you can so. quick try and sell the limited edition and like whoever buys it might Whoa, whoa what do you mean quick? Just... He could play the long game, sell the limited edition, and then get this one. <laughs> Also, Suntai Slate for uh, September. Oh, Where's this the, game gone? The Call of the Night. Why does Call of the Night sound so dirty? It sounds like it's like a, it is. you know an edgy. Uh, dude, it the sounds song like something y'all talked about at the beginning of the podcast. The song that this that the author got the t the title, the, the Call of the Night, is the name of a song, and that the mm -hmm. author liked so much that they named their series after it. It's about getting laid when you're a teenager. Ah, oh, that yeah, like, sounds, weird. sounds about right. <laughs> but yeah, this show is a vibe for real. Like, it's a vibe. Oh, it's, it's got it a limited is... edition coming. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, it's got a limited edition coming. How, how come they're all delayed? <laughs> Every single enough. one now. Uh, like, <laughs> pandemic excuse, maybe. No, That's just not going on anymore. Hasn't been well, for a while. No, during the pandemic, I don't even think they delayed every single one of them. Like, it's getting worse as time goes on. Girls so, in Panza. This is a rebox of Girls in Panza with the TV and OVAs together. Oh, nice. No, well, it's not the complete thing that you're thinking it's yeah, going to be. I, I, but I'm just saying it's just the TV and the OVAs, not, not including the movies or, like, the, yeah, whatever. Okay, you know, can, can you give me a runtime of it, please? Uh, is this important? Wasn't there like two OVA series? This is you know what's six. crazy? My friend came back to anime because of this series because he's a World of Tanks guy. This was, uh -huh. There was a crossover. Someone's on PlayStation. And he was like, oh That's my a God. Samsung. But um, uh, 
didn't they have an OVA collection called like the OVA collection, then one called Real Onzio or something? So something it has like both that. of those. I'm has sure. both look, of those. Look, look, look it up while we're. Yeah, so apparently Girls and Panzer had a crossover with Girls and Pigs too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brewery. They should be. Brewery. What did you so do? My friend came back to anime okay, so because of it. TV so. series, the Pender film. Mm-hmm. Complete OVA. It must be this disc here. Which about it? Oh. Seven, seven oh. Four. Wow. What's, what's wrong wow. with Wow. They don't even have the real Anzi or whatever it's called OVA. They do. They do. Yeah, they do. No, I'm saying that was a complete. separate release. Yeah, on the complete, yeah. you moron. Yeah, this, this is the real Anzio battle. How long is this? Thirty eight. What the hell? They could have easily put that on. That's now. what I'm saying. You don't even get the complete plus OVA collection. Yeah. So we need to um we need to watch party this series again, like the um again the, the again? follow-ups, the follow-ups, the stuff that the new stuff we haven't done yet. We we've only done up to the real Anzio battle, and it was great. Dos finale and or their film. Yeah, sure thing. Der, mm-hmm. Yeah, isn't that a yeah. sex tuple Yeah, there's like a, a subtopology. <clears throat> anyway, hmm. moving on. Uh, Uted knows Princess Prince Sama. Uted no Prince Sama. Magi love stars tours Blu-ray. Yeah, it's Prince. Like- is it? It wouldn't it be Princess Sama. It says Prince Sama. Do you not read? Prince Sama. <laughs> Prince Sama. It's Prince, for males that are. Princes. You're like these jokes are just so highbrow that we're not getting any of them. So just stop. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, a series that has issues with OVA and movies. Yu Hakusho had that problem due to legal reasons and because yeah, Crunchyroll being lazy. We, we definitely know. So there's okay. two movies in here. The Journey Begins and Love Stars Tours. And it's only 110 minutes in total. I'm right. glad you shared it, though. Uh, gotcha Man <laughs> Complete Collection. <laughs> a Netflix like really well, release of the big ass, you know, 105 episodes, three OVAs. As well as Gatchman the movie and a 48 page Alex Ross art book. Who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, the first Gatchman Blu ray was like just oh. the TV series, I think. He, he's Maybe probably the one who did the, the, the that style of artwork, the super high fidelity. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was a Western person, I think. All right. What uh, an Complete collection. I'm surprised it's coming out. So Complete soon. disappointment. Right? It's ending yeah. in January. Who, who has this? Sentai? So this Shame Sentai. on you. Shame. Wait, is, is that supposed to be Lupin with the glasses? This is Lupin with the blue. The artwork not final looks kind of like glasses. He looks <laughs> like Detective Conan. Almost. Well, they I mean, they had a crossover. By, they are both done by TMS. So I'm assuming that guy that next to the old man Lupin is his dad. Lupin. The this second. is Lupin the first. This is Lupin the second. This is Lupin. This is Jigen. Or Lupin the third. Jigen. Watch and, them do uh, a sequel. Watch them do a sequel series in the future called Lupin the fourth. And it's Lupin. Uh, well, son. let's not even that go that. Let's just skip way ahead to Lupin the eighth. Yeah. <laughs> let's get that dubbed. <laughs> <Done. laughs> no, Sentai's yeah. just going to release it subbed anyway. Poor Lupin 2099. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. 2077. No, Lupin 300. Yeah, 2077. <laughs> uh, poor Before we move on to release news, um, have we heard anything once so fucking ever from Anaplex of America about my dress of darling? No, nope. what's up with that shit? I need that LE. I don't know because, like, they really that... they have two releases. I'm... One of the releases is this, this flight. Was came after my dress from Darling came yeah, out. And I'm just like, here like what? Was last um, yeah, thank I'm you. I'm hoping Greenline. I'm yeah, hoping so it's because it's coming with the the own a home, home, right? <laughs> oh, I'm That's hoping that personal, uh, the Crunchyroll. Lance, all of us hope that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that the Crunchyroll or Funimation, whatever you want to call it, does the LE for it because fuck Anaplex. Here, here. So, uh, yeah. uh. 
Green line, since done? you're back in the room, yeah. uh, I said too little too late uh, for that Rama, eh? Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, that I bought it and just... <laughs> Yeah, now there's the standard, but I mean, yeah, you can hold I'll have on to get the standard it. and then <laughs> sell the limited in like 20 years. I'll, I'll buy them. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but you can't price gouge you then. No, I sure can't. Did you cover this already, Reese? Renus? Re Reese? Lewis? I mean, consi considering, I mean, <laughs> the Amazon thing? Yeah. 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 Why would you cover that first, you dingus? We went from right stuff to Amazon to right. Uh, Whatever. Now I have to move where it's located. Oh, <laughs> you could just not. <laughs> like you could just let it be. <laughs> and Reese is playing the world's smallest violin as he sees crying. Yeah. All right. My world's Fools. smallest fans. If you got <laughs> his bow is his world's smallest dick. I mean what? <laughs> I bet it looks huge in comparison to the world's smallest hands, though. <laughs> it is a confidence booster. At this it angle, it's huge. 19 inches. It might be below average, but it feels fucking huge. <laughs> All right, so... Uh... <laughs> if you would like to support... <laughs> I thought you could laugh in pain. Are you okay, buddy? I was joking. Did I skip one? Like, why did Stealth Weave not open? Uh, it's hiding from you. You fucked up. You gotta put that down below right stuff now, too. You're up. a recap. Not fucked up. Uh, no, because I, I, I'm i so cognizant of it that I noticed it before we even moved on. <laughs> so if you guys would like the hottest anime merch uh, so that you could get your titties fondled uh, in your new outfit. I'm just saying. Are you I'm saying that it? because Bulma's wearing that shirt? No, I'm talking about the 76.1 shirt from Chainsaw Man where she gets her titties fondled. Just saying. Oh, yeah. It is a great fabric to feel titties through. Same. Have you tested oh, it? Oh my. Of course. <laughs> what do you think I'm gay? <laughs> that was the first thing we did. So yeah, there's a lot of other stuff here. Uh I do have other things in the work, but in the works, but I, I'll tell you guys, I my new job, as I said, like I, I think I mentioned this on stream already tonight, 38 hours in three days worth of work. Uh and then that night I got home and I had other work from the college that I do editing for and I had to be at work the next day at 3 a.m. So I just stayed up all night and edited the videos and then went to work. So I was up all night and then I had to work all day until 4.30. So yeah, it's uh, it's been hard. It's been hard to have uh, any free time. Uh, I'm, Damn, getting, I'm getting get paid. Rest? I'm getting, a, I'm getting yeah. paid like a motherfucker. That's true. But I would love the creative outlet of being able to actually work on shit. So, so fund me well, more, so I can. Well, now you can, uh, you know, uh, goes to the PC fund. Yeah. So there's also uh, our new merch, cringe.org. Straight. For the love of God, cringe. just buy the soy wax candle already. Oh it my God, this fun. timing's so cringe. Yeah, so cringe. <laughs> Set of five pin buttons. Cringe out All right, cool. Moving on. Now that that's behind us, let's get on to the to the news. So, Loop on the Third anime artist Yasuo Otsuka gets a posthumous art book. So, uh, if you got good taste, uh, be on the lookout. Oh, did I not switch my audio? Fuck! Fuck! Fuck me! God damn it. <laughs> oh, good. It is set to the Eddie. Okay, cool. <laughs> good. <laughs> definitely, definitely don't clip that as a Tim Poo line. Fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> so anyway. Um, Wait. The Metal Gear Solid board game. Last time we covered this, it was canceled. And one of the guys who wanted to do it... Um, he was trying to buy the rights to it because he wanted to still produce it after it had been canceled. 
Uh, well, looks like it's been released. You can get it now, or you can pre-order it at least, right? Um, I wish there was a way for us to game night this, or you know, just like the loop on board game or whatever, you know. Table That'd be fucking simulator. Cool. If we could do like a digital version of it, or I think we just all have to do it and move and the pieces it. to the same places, you know. No, 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 yeah. no. Tabletop, Sam. You're all on the same server. You literally import your own 3D models or whatever, or cards and all that. I them and get on there it. you go. You have at it. Or, or the, the other best thing is we meet in a neutral ground and actually play this fucking. Yeah, game in game Japan. Game. As planned. Let's do it. When I, where I, where I'm supposed to get beat with the. Everybody bros. sign the petition that will somehow give us money, and because uh, I didn't include the cash app yet, but. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> anyway, so it looks like these are all 3D, um, like ZBrush models, right? That were 3D printed, so theoretically they might, you know allow you to do like you could uh, just look up all of these metal gear assets online like from no the but game. i'm saying like i'm saying you could one. probably ask them like hey do you, do you guys have any plans to do a tabletop simulator so that we can play with you know whatever that might be cool anyway that'd be a cool game night we wouldn't wouldn't normally do speaking of which speaking of game night i went to my storage unit and pulled this bad boy out but that thing you're not showing that thing I'm trying to show, but I don't. Okay. Uh, so I bought one of these uh, a while ago and I never used it. It is an HD component audio uh, and video Conversion. cable. So basically, if I understand correctly, it takes what would be like a PlayStation 2 or like an, uh, an Xbox, Xbox or some shit. I don't know. And uh, it converts it to like an HD uh, HDMI output. It's it makes one it of these. It, it puts it to component. So if your TV doesn't have component, you're screwed. Yeah, I don't know why I bought this. <laughs> are, are you, are you going to... That's for it? back Actually, in the day really when that was like the only way to connect it uh, onto an HDTV. If you're yep, going to give it away... I think I bought this... I might, have, this, I might be thinking of the wrong thing. I think I might have bought this as just to have an extra cable for the PlayStation 2 or something or so that I could have... I think I bought this so I could have the GameCube and the PlayStation 2 hooked up at, at the same time. But um, but I didn't... Uh, I, I can hear I know, his whatever. dreams doesn't just matter. crumbling. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Going back to this. Crumble on this, bitch. Studio Ghibli's truck from My Neighbor Totoro now available as a die-cast Takara Tomy car. Okay, that is kind of cool. <clears throat> hmm. That's kind of legit. Mm -hmm. Does if if you pull it back, does it push forward? With no, that's what damn it. That's Nothing just stopping you from installing there. one. Yeah, the second there, I thought the cat was Jinx from Pokemon because of the oh. hair. <laughs> <laughs> he was throwing it down slowly. Oh, it's, like jinx hair. it's a mini Jinx. <laughs> a mini Jinx. The blonde hair and the black. Oh, hi, Jinx. Yeah. It's me. Right. Oh my god! <laughs> Jinx. Oh, my I, honestly, I thought I thought it was uh, fucking Luna from Sailor Moon when All I looked right. at the cat. Wow, that was wonderful. Thank you for that. <laughs> but, also, Japan's well, newest welcome. perfume will make you smell like a movie bootlegger. Damn, Random Eleven left before the bootlegger. And again. glovers. <laughs> the the arm. Wait, the glove armors. Is that <laughs> the glove hand? The glove armors and, and, and glove and glove. No, I'm, I'm yeah, sure glove, glove, hand, glove, hand. glove armors. Anyway, I thought you was glove hand. All right, moving on. Who cares? <laughs> oh, yeah, so good. My internet just keeps getting worse. Okay, so this anime figure store just opened up at this person's mall, and they have like the walls and floor are printed with manga panels from piracy sites. <laughs> <laughs> so they've got manga stream. <laughs> the resolution looks remarkably good too. They could have upscaled it too. Yeah, they probably did, but it just looks really clean. Like I gotta use these. I mean, they're called scanslations sites. for a reason. So then there was also JoJoHot.com. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, it's just... JoJoEchi.com. 
he speaks whack, from experience. Whack manga. Look, as long oh. as it's not Funimation's main office headquarters, that's okay. Yep. Probably is. Yeah, probably. Anyway, is. that's it. Moving on. <sighs> sushi will now start revolving again at Japan's largest revolving sushi restaurant chain. So uh, I just wanted Don't to tell cap. My landlord. Uh, okay. I won't. They'll be I over promise. there quickly. I promise I will not <laughs> tell you. I will not. You won't tell me? I won't tell them. Okay. So anyway, so previously we talked about the uh, food terrorists or whatever they called themselves, and um, the cereal liquors. Yeah, they were um, gross and everything, and so they had stopped revolving the sushi, but now they're starting to revolve the sushi again because they realized that one of the people who. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> uh, one of girl. one of the groups that uh, that really benefited from the revolving sushi was children. Um, people who otherwise wouldn't like if you didn't know the how to pronounce something on the menu, you could still potentially get it right. Mm-hmm. You could then ask like, "Oh, what was that? That was really good." You know what I mean? Like, so they had this thing where they realized that children needed um, the opportunity to try new foods. Because children are like that when you when you have really young kids, especially they just will not try food that they don't like. When you first yeah, give they always get food. one thing they want specifically. No, no, like seriously though, when you have kids, you're gonna waste a lot of food because they will not touch new food on their plate the first day it's there. Then the next night you put the food on the plate and they'll touch it, but they won't eat it. Then the next night you put it on their plate and they'll take a little bite and and they might really like it and just eat the whole thing or they might, you know, still be a little uneasy about it. Then the next night they start eating normal, right? Um, so it helps it helps people like when the kids see the sushi go around, maybe they don't get it the first sushi time, but around? eventually eventually they work it, they work up the courage or whatever to try it mm-hmm. and you know, it's fairly good for them and everything. So anyway, that's the happy ending to that. All right. And we all, we all like happy endings. Story time. I like this see. type of happy ending. Influencer <sighs> creates an AI girlfriend version of herself, hauls in more than $70,000 in a single week. So, uh, yeah. I, I think feel bad need... for anyone who's like, to switch industries and money. That, I, think it's, yeah. I think it's time for our AI girlfriend selves to start on our OnlyFans. But we only do weird shit, okay? <laughs> only weird shit. Okay, what kind? Uh, okay, you're gonna, you're gonna fill in like, the barn because it's AI. It's gonna like give you feet for hands and like weird fingers and stuff. You know, mm. we yeah, that's our kink. We don't have normal conventional hands. It's not because <laughs> it's a limitation of don't the AI. Be it's our choice. <laughs> All right. yeah. So more than more than six in ten, sixty three percent of men aged eighteen to twenty nine are single, according to a Pew Research survey earlier this year. The reasons for that are not good. Young men are watching a lot of social media. They're watching a lot of porn. And I think they're getting a lot of their needs met without having to go out, psychologist Fred Rabinowitz told The Hill. (laughs) Rabbi Rabinowitz. (laughs) I think that's starting to be a habit. So um, I do do agree up to a degree that... uh, To quote Jordan Peterson, for the first time in human history, a generation can pull out their phone and see more naked women in 10 minutes than any previous generation could have possibly seen in their entire life. Yeah, right. In in a way, it's true, but in the same time, it's also it's also the fact that we're we've also built a society now where guys can't talk to women without an incredible threat of them being like socially destroyed hell going to a gym is a danger to your health if you're a dude at this point and now a woman because they won't help you when you drop yeah the yeah that's head. dude oh my god that is becoming a problem so enter karen marjorie a 23 year old influencer has, uh, who has more than 1.8 million <laughs> followers on snapchat oh, who the even uses snapchat she came up with a novel idea to connect with followers and make some cash Marjorie created an artificial intelligence chatbot she has dubbed Karen AI. 
Users of the chatbot pay $1 per minute to engage. How did it work? Marjorie says she has made seven hundred, sorry, seventy thousand dollars in a single week during its beta test, and she thinks it could rake in as much as five million dollars a month once fully up and running. Karen AI will never replace me, she told Insider. Uh, Karen AI did. is just simply an extension of me, an extension of my consciousness. <laughs> with so many followers, just she said AI she could keep say. in touch with everyone. Karen AI is going to come and fill that gap, she said, adding that the AI girlfriend might be able to cure loneliness. Damn! This girlfriend comes in you. Sounds like this sounds like the way that the way that um the medical industry cures disease by slapping a band-aid on it. <laughs> Whether you need somebody to be comforting or loving. Or you just want to rant. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> or you just want to rant about something that happened at school or at work. Karen AI will always be there for you. And she'll always she said. bitch at you when you don't do what she said. The Karen AI uses OpenAI's GPT-4 <laughs> API and took ages to create, according to Karen AI's website. We've dedicated over 2,000 hours to meticulously designing and coding Karen AI's language and personality to, to meticulously design and code Karen AI's language and personality into an immersive AI experience using her unique voice, captivating persona, and distinctive behavior. Karen AI brings you a dynamic, one of a kind interaction that feels like you're talking directly to Karen herself. The site says, available anytime, anywhere, even on your phone. Uh, Karen has been flawlessly cloned into an AI for your convenience and enjoyment. In the how does it work fact, the site says engage with Karen AI in real time through secure messaging and enjoy private personalized Lies conversations under. with your favorite influencer. So it's going to really suck for her when these men realize that there actually are chat GPT alternatives that don't cock block you that are and free. You don't have to pay for it. You know, yeah, <laughs> our end-to-end -end encryption ensures your chats remain uh, confidential Jesus and uniquely Christ. yours. Experience of the future. Uh, experience of the future of influencer interaction with Karen. Great job phrasing that, Daily Wire. Uh, and in one unusual twist, Karen AI appears to have developed a dirty mind. Whoa! I can't believe it. Oh my god! Marjorie says the chatbot was not programmed to engage in sexually explicit conversations, but is doing so anyway. Wow! Why Show else would somebody wiener. pay you a fucking dollar a minute, you dumb whore? Right. <laughs> the AI was not programmed to do this and has seemed to go rogue, Marjorie told Insider. <laughs> Even AI thoughts are thoughts. <laughs> my my team and I are working around the clock to prevent this from happening again. Oh, well, say goodbye to your $5 million a month. <laughs> the views this expressed in this piece of the... Okay, okay, that's it. Anyway, that's it. Guess what? If that felt like a lame thing, that's okay. I've got a better one. I'm glad I put it after that one. Well, hopefully it doesn't suck as well. Oh, hey, AI generated cool swimsuit and lingerie model makes debut in Japan's weekly Playboy magazine. Uh, Lance, smash or pass? <laughs> the AI generated girl. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's pretty. I'd smash. Wait, yeah. Wait, you too, too bad dick? you can't. Not you stick, real. <laughs> right. Would you stick your dick in her USB ports? <laughs> no, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go anywhere near her dick drive. Only if it's a C, <laughs> then we can start talking. When they start adding those Man, to I, PCs, I, I'm going to be. Concerned. I didn't realize your dick was was small enough that you needed a C. <laughs> okay. That that three point that three point five millimeter headphone jack just doesn't work like it used to, guys. Of course, Actually, a kind of the optimal shape. <laughs> Even if she doesn't actually exist, the love for her that sprouts in your heart is real. Hey, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I is a pretty common name for models in Japan. And not just because it's short and easy to remember. In Kijuna addition to being I. a woman's name, I is also the Japanese word for love. So the flowery feminine feeling it conjures up is one more way to catch the attention and affection of prospective fans. For example, here's Ai Satsuki, the newest model being promoted by Japanese publisher Shueisha. Why does she look like 
She looks like someone just pulled out a gun and said, all right. One of her eyes is way smaller than the other one. Isn't that kind of normal, though, where people's eyes are way smaller? I don't know. It's I said way smaller. Way smaller? Like, what is way smaller? Not perceptively smaller. I said way smaller. Like She's squinting oddly. (laughs) Kind of half winking, maybe? I don't know. Someone just came in her eye. <laughs> this oh, this is the look that that my daughter gets on her face when she whatever she's doing for a second she stops because she's she's like passing a fart or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so but while I's name was uh, was given to her by Shueisha, the publisher didn't make that decision just because they hope people will fall in love with her, but because her images are generated by AI. I made her professional debut this Monday, appearing in the latest issue of Shueisha's weekly Playboy magazine. Do you think the AI generates the mosaics automatically? Dun, <laughs> dun, dun. Sorry, I'm killing a mosquito that's landing on I. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, a separate uh... entity from the American Playboy magazine, by the way, just saying. Um Weekly Playboy is best known for its gravure photo spreads, focusing on models in swimsuits, lingerie, and other revealing outfits. In its its announcement tweet, Weekly Playboy describes AI, I'm sorry, I, as being stuffed full of men's ideals. Damn. What a phrasing. And it starts that even if she doesn't actually exist, the love for her that sprouts in your penis is real. They said heart. I knew what they meant, though. It was a typo. Despite not having a physical form, I is officially listed as being 157 centimeters, 61.8, even though it's a comma, inches uh, tall, as well as being born in Tokyo and enjoying playing video games as a hobby. What? The perfect woman. Wow. Along with her appearance in this week's Weekly Playboy, Shueisha has also released a 50-page digital image album for I titled Umoretate, Just Born. <laughs> She's not even legal yet. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Featuring images not included in her weekly Playboy spread through its weekly Playboy Grab Your Japan website here. I don't think we need to look at them. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually kind of sad about this in a way, guys, because it's like we can't. We're all old enough to remember a time when there were actual women, you know, in porn mo- po- mags and shit. And now it's like, oh, there's just some AI. They're like, okay, done. <laughs> now, now, it's it's far less hot when you think about it. Hmm. So don't think about it. <laughs> don't think about yeah. it. Just do it. Yeah, yeah. And then like the swim street issues. I was like, it's not a bulge. <laughs> oh, don't think about it, Reese. Don't think about it. AI grab your models? What do you think? We asked Weekly Playboy in this in its tweet. Prom- or, sorry, asked Weekly Playboy in its tweet, prompting responses, including quote, no scandals, no scheduling problems, <laughs> no talent agency problems, no appearance fees. Sounds good. Sounds like they'll get I all want the Weekly money Playboy to talent. photograph real people. <laughs> My penis can't get hard to this. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, the thing is, they don't. I, they won't know until after the fact. So, eventually, I think people will come. Uh... Oh, totally now. <laughs> Dear God, uh, we need to get the actual clip. We need to put the actual clip from that movie in there. That is such a great scene. Um, make it hot. <laughs> we'll dub it with AI. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think should voice him? Uh, you. No, no, no. Like an AI voice based on a real, like... Arnold. Mm. Ar- Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh, I, I, I don't agree. I don't agree. I think maybe Vic should voice him. <laughs> no. oh, oh, God. Uh, Ron Toye. Make it hard. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like my tweet. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. Eventually, I think people will come around... Boss. To do appreciating it. AI Just grab your models. She's so cute. I hope this is a one-time thing and doesn't take page space away from real grab your models. What are we going to see? I, I Sotsky video. Mm-hmm. Good question. She's cute. Following her account and going to keep an eye on what she does next. Huh. I see what they did there. 
if you put out a physical copy of her photo album, I'm buying it. It'll be realer than she is. Things are going to get tougher for 3D women. (laughs) 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 Those exist still. (laughs) AI grab your photos are beautiful, but I prefer real ones. Actual idols have daily lives and life experiences. And And they retire. (laughs) <laughs> and I and I think that's what makes fans really feel like they have kids and, and want we can't to help love them, them anymore. Succeed. Girls that are idols, come on, man. They never have children. They girls stay, that are idols stay dressed as boys here. will cause a scandal, even if the fans are boys who love girls. Eh. Never lie to your fans. <laughs> Got any statements that? on that, Fudnam? Any rebuttals? Fudnam, do you want your AI boys to be girls or girls to stay boys or AI to be, huh? Is he even here? He's muted. Fudnam has no comment. Fudnam is crying. He's crying right now. Thanks, Luigi. <laughs> the last comment touches on a characteristic point of Grab Your Idol marketing in Japan. The idea that by purchasing merchandise, attending paid ticket meet and greet events, and otherwise financially supporting their favorite idol, fans are actively supporting her professional ambitions. I'm sorry, professional aspirations, you know, being gawked at. Uh, that unique sense of satisfaction plays a, that that unique sense of uh, pay pigness <laughs> plays okay, a big part in their boners. <laughs> in a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin my spending some food. I, I want to ruin, I want to ruin the experience in a way for some people. At, at least when, at least when it's a real girl. Cool, Tutti has spoken. She, Damon Mills should be the VA for Make It Hard. All right, we're gonna well, do this. <laughs> There you go. Uh, at, le- at least when it's a real like artist or someone and, you know, they have fans who are gawking over him, you know, beating off to their magazines. I don't care. Whatever. It's a re- you know, it's it's, you know, a real, you know, person there that you're. But now you've got this A.I. and then you have this like very ugly bastard who's like ha, 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 making money off of, you know, all these people beating off to their A.I. generated model. <laughs> mm. So now it's even more this. sad. Hmm? If she swapped with the AI, would the men notice? Is She's not about, real. Is this about the uh, Karen AI or? Oh. Oh, B B fans doing his morning groceries. Well. Well, I hope make you a got consent. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm gonna let that die there. And then cool to he says, does Japanese Sports Illustrated use plus size women too? See, this is going to be the the horrible arc. Is that no? Don't make me picture that. I just played Street Fighter Six. See, this is why you need to realize that AI art is actually available at your fingertips without sensor controls, right? Because eventually, what's going to happen is they're going to perfect women. I mean, they are going to absolutely perfect them. To the point where you're like, whoa, I didn't even know that like nape of the neck could be so sexy or what. I don't know. You know, and then uh, the flowers and for then, on people. So guys don't like actual women anymore. Is that what you're saying? And then what they're going to do is they're going to start making them ugly because the beauty standards or whatever, some shit are going to drop. Know. Or we'll have World War Four. I don't, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Well, uh, you know, you know, that it all that ends a, bad. <laughs> that That is a thought. If if. You know, AI, if it generates, you know, these higher end looks, whatever you want to call them, and people get used to that and think that's normal. Like, you know what women have done to guys? For some reason, you got Fabio or some shit, some girly ass looking motherfucker. Man, women have have crippled fingers. Like, Like, uh, I don't know what I can do with that. What cripple fingering are you watching on where? No, no, no. The AI creates can't create hands well so they always look mangled and now that's going to be the new beauty standard oh shit the real girl mangled fingers i just can't get off with damn that. i can't get off on the, on a woman who doesn't look like she has elephant titus <laughs> that unique sense of satisfaction plays a big part in cultivating high spending super fans it does and whether does. oh my god and no, whether no, no. or not a photorealistic but ai generated model can come from the same uh, can form the same emotional connection Maybe the determining factor in whether or not Shueisha and other publishers too press forward with the AI grab your models. Well, that don't was, fall in love with the AI models. That was guys, more please. satisfying than the Daily Wire one, but I, I don't. Was it good? For I mean, you? if she if she no. was if she was uh, real, she'd be a fucking knockout. There is no argument there. Even 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 with the mismatched eyes. 
<laughs> Even with lazy eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so an Akihabara card shop requested stinky players to take showers. I do not blame them. So Cardland in Akihabara, or Cardland Akihabara, politely requested stinky players to take showers, with temperatures in Tokyo expected to rise in the coming weeks. Here's the tweet. It said, request from store. The temperature suddenly rose, and it's been warm. As a result, well, there were a few people who came to the store in unsanitary conditions, especially in the case of competitions. You will be in the same place for a long time, so please bathe, etc., and come to the store in clean conditions. The Akihabara card shop also noted that when it comes to tournaments, if they judge that a player would cause any inconvenience to other customers due to hygienic reasons, they may ask them to refrain from participating. Japanese commentators chimed in on the story saying they seriously stink. So <laughs> they make sure their cards don't get dirty, but can't do the same for themselves. I'm sure some need to bathe, but their clothes stink. Priorities, man. A wonderful call for attention. It's good to see the stores make announcement like these. Are card game people that bad? Understandable. I've had some opponents that smelled really bad. There are people who would go five days before bathing and two weeks before washing clothes. I learned that there are people like that since I started work, just like how people should, just like how people should shower before going into the pool. They should make people shower before going into card shops. Okay. (laughs) Who here, who here has played a, has played like a trading card game where, you know, like Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. Because I have. I, I just want to make a point. I played Uno. Okay. <laughs> it, imagine, okay, okay, you can imagine Uno. I'll allow it. Imagine you go to sit down for a game, and it is the best way to ter- just destroy your opponent's ability to play, you know, optimally because by just so you smelling by terribly. What you're saying is it's a tragedy. It, it's a yeah, strategy. It, it's, like, it's like you fucking raise your arms all of a sudden and it's like, all right, Focus. <laughs> I'd use the Don't motivation to kill I need you a stretch real quick. Hang on, let me just stretch my arms out and just. You've activated loop. my trap card. <laughs> <laughs> Next I just watched it's like that Duel right? Masters uh, uh, card game where it's like they have an obscure card that's like, if you're if you're opponent, you can smell their body odor, then you win the game or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it says, I beg you all to shower and do your laundry. Well, yeah, I'm sure the, that Osan talking about Pokemon would stink. They stink at any temperature, lol. <laughs> they neglect to take care of themselves, but carefully put cards in sleeves. Otakus tend to always wear the same clothes, so they're stinky. True duelists don't bathe. All right, anyway, so again, this is... I'm leading up to something. <laughs> Akihabara card really shop requests stinky really players to take showers. So in response... OxyClean officially sends detergent supply to Tokyo card shop struggling with sweaty, smelly otaku. That's the power what of they have OxyClean. A fucking washing machine there? Maybe we should use Billy like, Mays hey, for the clothes. make it hard. All they need to do is sell like some ultra special cards, you know, some like secret rare, like dark magician alternate arts, and be like, "Look, we'll give these to you." If you fucking Dark magician take girl. a shower, <laughs> but if you but only if you smell good. <laughs> All right, that's fucking hilarious. They sent them OxyClean to give to the players to take home. So, so they still here, even, stink. Even players but who don't OxyClean. go home with the tournament prize will go home with some OxyClean. A lot of people in Japan will tell you that through that though. That though spring ends in May, summer doesn't really start until June. June, they'll insist, it's Suyu, which translates to the rainy season. Honestly, though, you might as well call June the sweaty season, since the high heat and maximum humidity combine for uh, for the pinnacle of perspiration-producing conditions. Even now, the the weather is gradually moving in that direction which is causing figurative headaches and literal nose lamentations for Cardland, a collectible trading card game specialty shop in Tokyo. Cardland is located in the Akihabara neighborhood, Tokyo's mecca for anime and video game enthusiasts, two demographics that aren't traditionally renowned in their hygiene. (laughs) 
In late May, the shop sent out the above tweet, which says a request from our shop. The weather's become it's the same thing I read. Anyway, Cardland also went on to inform prospective tournament participants that if their level of hygiene is judged to be a probable cause of discomfort for other players, they will not be allowed to participate. However, bathing is oh, only one damn, aspect of proper hygiene toilet. of proper hygienic grooming. Wearing freshly washed clothes is also important. And luckily, about a week after Cardland's request went viral, it received a care package from Graphico, the Japanese distributor of OxyClean. So what they do is, during, like, you show up for the tournament, you lose, and like, all right, you lost, but not only do you stink at the game, you stink in real life. Here's some OxyClean. Yep. <laughs> if you stink in the game, you stink in real life? You stink for real. You, you know, I see people complain. And so you know, they're complaining right now about, you know, them smelling and everything. But no one ever complained about a chick being like, oh, hey, I'm going to lean forward. Here's my cleavage. Make a misplay. Yeah, because that's desirable. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> I said no one ever complained. Loyalty. Honestly, like, an otaku's house has got to smell so fucking awful that because even the if they did, the even fingers. if they did clean their clothes, they wouldn't go. Whoa, that's so pleasant! You know, like they'd be like, "Man, I, oh, I can't imagine what can't. Brad's house would smell like." No. So anyway, it's um, to the amount of anime you on, right? Uh, yes, it is rank. I've grown used to it. <laughs> this is the first step towards true peace in our world. <laughs> I was born in the stank. Uh, that's some pretty smart marketing by OxyClean. I'm envisioning OxyClean making special packaging One in designs the stink, with two anime in the characters on it. Oh, gross. They sell so much. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a good idea. Putting anime characters on the boxes. <laughs> you put, like, a custom, like, uh, like a uh, unique anime, like, standee inside of it. Put the put put uh, Toru from Maid Dragon on there. Hmm. OxyClean really is very effective against accumulated proteins like sweat <laughs> and body gotta, oil mm, and semen. Right? <laughs> uh, like many proteins. <laughs> many others felt that their feelings Your could best be summed up shake. by the word kusa, which means both something stinks and this is funny. Huh. There is unfortunately no guarantee that Cardland customers who receive the OxyClean samples will use them. Still, anything that makes laundry less of a hassle makes it more likely to get done. And if nothing Kusa else, the shit. shop... Kusa. No, Continue. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end it. Fuck it. I don't even care anymore. I, I just want to be done. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I want to read about this next thing. Uh-oh. If they can act for every... Get Can't wait open. to get to the duck hunt. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, shit. I've All done right. it now. Oh, yes. A Las Vegas neighborhood is naming its streets after Pokemon, as seen here. Snorlax Lane. <laughs> after a hard day's work, there is nothing like hitting the road and coming home. Few things are better than seeing your driveway after your work is done. And for some lucky homeowners, you'll be navigating some wild streets to do so. After all... A new neighborhood is being developed outside of Las Vegas that is naming its streets after Pokemon. And yes, we are being totally serious. In a recent interview with KLAS 9 News Now in Nevada, the construction manager of Harmony Homes LLC described how it's how this Pokemon paradise came to be. It turns out Andrea Miller needed to come up with a lot of names for streets within Serenity Place. The new neighborhood needed to submit a ton of potential names for approval and it seems some Pokemon names snuck, snuck, stuck. <laughs> Quote, it's really, really hard to name streets in this town, Miller shared, as the manager tried to think up names. Their two sons suggested trying Pokemon names. Miller went with the suggestions, and now Google Street View has captured the results. If you look up Serenity Place on Google, you can find images showcasing the Pokemon-inspired street names. This means that some people will live on Snorlax Lane or Squirrel Lane. Why Squirrel? Squirtle, you mean? But as for Miller, it turns out Jigglypuff Place is his favorite. <laughs> oh, that's wrong. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is her favorite. When I hear Jigglypuff, I giggle, Miller admitted. When Not you're bad. coming home from work, seriously, do you really think that this is going to improve the the 
the like value of the the homes. No, man, people are gonna not be able to get a, down, get past a fat guy who's constantly laying in the middle of the damn road, and then you're gonna have to go play his flute weight. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna be going home tonight. That's that's some kinky furry fetish right there. Play my flute, baby. <laughs> this is a pretty good uh, solution for naming schemes. Like, why didn't I think of that? Like, you know how Dragon Ball has their naming scheme of like uh, vegetables. Well, mm -hmm. I I should just name my characters after Pokemon. Like, there's no copyright <laughs> infringement problems there. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if it was like Snorlax TM Lane? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just have to spell all the names differently, and I'm good. So, like, Pikachu with two O's. So they say here, when you're coming home from work and you had a bad day and you have to turn on Jigglypuff Lane, that will make you smile. And then you'll notice all the hookers. <laughs> As you can imagine. No, they're, they're all on Jinx, Jinx Road. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> so he what house did you buy? Uh, that one over on Mr. Mime. <laughs> As you can imagine, the mime lane. as you can imagine, Pokemon fans are geeking out over the hilarious nod. It never fails to amuse the community when Pokemon bleeds into the real world. And this is, yeah, Pokemon go to the polls. <laughs> <laughs> when Pokemon bleeds into the real world. And this is just another example of, of that happening. But for those wanting to live on one of those streets, well, the housing market is as dire as ever. The average home in Henderson, Nevada is over 450,000 US dollars. But if you can swing the sale, you'd be living on a piece of Pokemon history. That is, so long as the Pokemon company doesn't manage to get these street names changed before Serenity Place hits the market. Hmm. Uh, what do you think about this new fantastic Pokemon Paradise? Uh, I don't give a shit. It's funny, though, kind of. Uh, <laughs> there is a street where I used to live called Arcadia that I always wanted to live on because that's the name of the ship from Captain Harlock. You just said you it was there. an Arcadia of your youth? Damn. My, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Japanese schoolgirl talks foreigner out of suicide attempt on her way to class. If that isn't the most anime protagonist thing I've ever wow. heard. Wow, it's all it, you know. You know, this is almost as cool as that time that chick, that girl, uh, drop kicked that guy to save his life when he jumped off the building. Do y'all remember that article? I don't. I it's remember one of the. First the ones I, was here for. I remember the girls who chased down their um, their train groper and like got him. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's so go. So, a 17 year old's quick thinking and compassion saves a life. On the morning of March 21st, 17 year old Ayano Iguchi was walking through Niig Niigata City on her way to Niigata Higashi High School to attend class. Part of her on foot commute takes her over the Agano River at a point near its mouth where the water runs deep. While Iguchi made her way across the bridge, she noticed a man stopped at the railing, staring down at the water far below. The man already had one foot on the lower part of the rail, and as Agano approached, he glanced back at her a few times. Then, he suddenly swung his leg over the rail, with nothing any longer between the man and the drop. <gasps> Quote, if you, if you don't do something as fast as I can, he's going to jump. Wait, I'm sorry. That was her saying this. Damn it. Quote, if I don't do something as fast as I can, he's going to jump and die, Iguchi thought, sprinting over to where the man was. She reached her arms through the railing to hold him in place, while frantically telling him not to throw his life away. At some point, Iguchi realized that her breasts were touching the man, and he decided he was horny and didn't want to die. No. Uh, you know what? Iguchi I know you're full of shit. That's exactly what came to my I mind. I believe that. <laughs> At some point, but Iguchi realized like that the man wasn't story. Japanese and that he was unable to understand what she was saying. Deducing so that he was Brazilian, mm -hmm. Iguchi pulled out her smartphone and opened up a translation app, typing in, I know things are difficult, but you mustn't kill yourself in Japanese and translating it into Portuguese. No, no, no came... that's the text. You shouldn't kill yourself in Japanese. No. <laughs> you should do go it kill home. yourself in portugal bitch <laughs> the man came back over behind the railing and iguchi called for emergency services who arrived shortly thereafter i felt so relieved that he didn't fall iguchi says 
and recalling he was never the incident heard from again. Quote, I'm glad I was able to help him. And by the time I realized it, I was crying. No was public follow-up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I brought dishonor on my family. <laughs> you know, you I feel like, I you feel were like this was class for a foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this was his plan all along. He was like, okay, these these pretty young girls come up and down this road every day while I'm here in Japan. Got to got to get one of their attention. I'm gonna pretend like I kill myself and see how it goes and like damn Look, did it work all i'm saying is that women are easily manipulated and if you pretend to be suicidal i'm just saying most of the time it works probably are you speaking like, from experience probably. well i've just <laughs> seen it i've seen it happen before like two people i know and i'm like just fucking let him kill himself he just wants in your pants like all right. Uh, now that we're past six hours, we can't uh, delete that part from the stream. <laughs> For the record, in oh, every oh, instance where out. that has been uttered about this particular situation, I was correct. <laughs> Did he end up getting was, No. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Stupid. Dude, anyway. All right. So, um... Uh -oh. Where was I on this? Uh, da, da, da. You're about three quarters of the way through, from what I understand. No public follow-up statement has been made regarding the Brazilian man, and many online believe that it was fake news. No. Uh, I've expressed their hope that he receives the care and support he needs to address whatever issues led him to uh, so close to taking his own and life. And he was never heard from again. Welcome back, King Style. Welcome back. Uh, for as for Iguchi, she's been rightfully called a hero for her compassion and quick thinking, receiving a certificate of commendation from the Niigata Prefectural Police's local Kita precinct, even if the man was unable to understand the words she has been saying to him in Japanese. The context would most likely have been made their uh, their overall meaning obvious. Okay. Still, uh, the more direct impact of a message delivered in your native language and seeing the compassion and consideration involved likely had a significant effect. Iguchi is currently in her third year of high school, which means she'll be going off to a higher education or joining the workforce next year. And if what she did on the bridge that morning is any indication of, the, of what kind of adult she's going to grow into, it probably won't be the last time she leaves a big positive impression on someone's life. Oh, two mo two arrested for molesting high school boy on a train, and their names were Luigi and the Metal Sixty Four. No. What the oh, hell? Oh, no. I thought you were going to say <laughs> Luigi and JT. <laughs> I thought you so, were going to go on a Sydney. So far as I know, there, JT no. isn't constantly talking about how cute boys are and how much he wants to up short them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so two men aged 44 and 56. Damn, Luigi, you're much older than I thought. <laughs> were, were arrested for molesting a high school boy on the on the JR Saikyo line uh, train that runs between Saitama and Tokyo. In February, Suyoshi Hara, 56 years old, and Katsuo Suzuhara, those are your real names? <laughs> 44 years old and ages <laughs> committed lewd acts on a high school boy while on a moving train by putting their hands in his underpants and such. Okay, I just... I know it's Pride Month. Okay? But you can't run train on a train on no, an underage boy. No, shut up. I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> I was pausing for dramatic effect, not you for were? some duck to quack. <laughs> I know it's Pride Month. <laughs> but as I continue to read this, I think you will see why they had to put the partitions back up. Okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> in the bathroom. In February, Suyoshi Hara... I already read that. Hold on. Uh... They committed lewd acts on a high school boy while on a moving train by putting their hands in his underpants and such. The two suspects didn't know each other, and the police believed that there was a possibility that the two met on a website used by molesters to gather information. According to the Metropolitan Police Department, the high school boy has been in a state of shock due to his inability to resist the sexual assault and has since been unable to ride the Psycho Line train due to the trauma. In response to the police interrogation, the two men claimed ignorance 
as they regularly touch other men consensually on the train. Jeez. Yeah, I that's, know a it's normal, pride. that's a normal thing. Yeah. I know it's Pride Month. But could you fucking do it at home? <laughs> Jesus. We always <laughs> consensually touch other men's undergarment bits. Dude, dude, just get just get a call a call boy or whatever, you know, a, a, a man of the night to do that Look, shit. Don't <laughs> officer. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I stick my hand in men's pants every single day. They never complained. Hell, I'll yeah, stick mine in yours if you like it. My, my, his name is me. I'm very good. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny if you said that. Like, I, I, you know, I touch people all the time. And, and his I come at the ball. <laughs> all right. Also, three boys arrested for assaulting police station with fireworks and fire extinguishers. Three 18 year old men. Well, I thought they were boys. <laughs> <laughs> Three 18-year-old men were arrested for assaulting a police station in Akishima, Tokyo, with a series of fireworks and spraying fire extinguishers as an act of revenge for arresting a friend. Luigi is uh, defending himself. I am a heterosexual. I am basically saying Japanese artists are allowed to make the males cute because cute is for both sexes. You are making some like really hard pressed arguments on behalf of people who are not heterosexual, though. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that you are you are pounding the facts of your your argument so hard that it's as if it's illegal with you're the pounding stretch, you're doing. You're stretching it <laughs> even further. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, so it, they did it as a as an act of revenge because they arrested their friend. So the three men broke windows and threw a fire extinguisher at the door of the police station and cause uh, and causing a great deal of damage to the structure late at night on March 30th, which was seen as a forceful obstruction of business by interfering with police work. According to the Metropolitan Police Department, the three men shot successive fireworks near the entrance of the police station at around 1150 p.m. and sprayed the fire extinguisher all around the area. When the culprits were caught, they didn't deny any of the charges and claimed that they were doing it to get revenge on a friend who was arrested. Damn it! You know, I, I thought you were going to say no, that they broke the so... that they broke wind and quickly lit it. <laughs> All right, let's hope R this one's one. You get a lawyer. You don't confess to your crimes. Nagano Councilman's okay. son barricades self, kills four, including two cops. A Nagano man, the son of a city councilman of a city of a city council's chairman, has been arrested after barricading himself for 12 hours and killing four, including two police officers. It's almost like that was a fucking get like <clears throat> dude. This sounds like gonna be an action Japanese movie, like a crime movie. Mm -hmm. just... The victims were Sachie Murakami, 66, who lived near the scene and was stabbed by the suspect. Shit. An elderly woman who was later found dead near the scene and two police officers, Assistant Inspector Tamai Yoshiki, 46, and Chief Sergeant Tako Ikeuchi, 61, of the Nakano. Is it Nakano now? Not Nagano? Hmm. Of the Nakano po City Police Station. According to the investigation, the suspect, Masanori Aoki, 31, is the son of Masamichi Aoki, 57, the chairman of the city council of Nakano, Nagano, they are, wow, wow, it's Nakano in Nagano. Oh, Thank Nagano, you. it's a nation. Wow. The sequence of events began at around 4.26 p.m. when the police received this, a report of, of a stabbing in Nakano. According to a witness, that's like to a Tokyo in Tokyo. <laughs> According to a witness, a man estimated to be around 30 years old and dressed in camouflage gear. Huh? Rambo. Gee. This the witness was 42069 people were killed. Okay, continue. Yep. Uh, the witness was working on the field when a woman came running down the road screaming, Oh, geez, son, help me! The suspect chased after the woman and stabbed her in the back and chest. When the witness approached the suspect to ask why he would do such a thing, he replied, I killed. Because I wanted to kill. I he was and then say, walked away really from the scene. <laughs> the witness called the police and heard sirens and gunshots moments after. Gunshots? What? In Japan? 
Wow. Gunshots were heard at around 7.50 p.m., and the Nakano police urged residents to stay in their homes. Sometime around 8.30 p.m., a woman who was inside a house the suspect had barricaded himself in was able to escape. It was later confirmed that the woman was the suspect's mother. At 10 p.m., about 60 people were evacuated to a nearby middle school for safety, with tents set up to stay overnight with emergency food and water. At around midnight, wow. it was confirmed that the suspect was the chairman's son. The Nagano Prefectural Police requested backup from the Metropolitan Police Department, which dispatched a special investigation team to deal with situations such as barricades. The police saw the suspect outside the building in the garden at around 2 a.m., but it wasn't until 4.37 a.m. when the police were able to detain the man just before... Uh, Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I gotcha. So they saw the suspect outside the garden at around 2 a.m., but it wasn't until 4.37 a.m. when they were able to detain him. Uh, just before his capture at around 4.30 a.m., the police found an elderly woman dead near the scene. Later in the morning, an arrest warrant was issued for the man suspected of murdering using a hunting rifle. The police investigation is still ongoing. All right. Let me, uh, let me share screen with audio. Can we agree that if he wasn't a, uh, related to a politician, he'd probably be sniped immediately? Uh, do they have snipes in Japan? I'm pretty sure they uh, do. They, they said rifle, right? It could be, a, a, you know, any type of rifle, right? It could be mm -hmm. a hunting rifle. I mean, you could, could be, be sniped with a pistol. You could you could be sniped with a bow and arrow. I mean, you could you be can be stream sniped. Oh, <laughs> God. Saying, you could be saying, sniped. <laughs> you could be I'm sniped with a slap on if, stream. If they would have had a clean... Um, target on him mm -hmm. he would have been done if he wasn't related to a politician you could be sniped Maybe. in the left eye while you know because if this would have happened here he, that person would have been done so um, a china hostage situation instantly solved by a hero with a shovel I so just... a recent a recent hostage situation occurred in china when a deranged individual grabbed the woman from the streets and held her down with a pair of scissors but luckily for her a passerby who happened to have a shovel on him was a hero for the day. That's the footage recorded on a scissor. smartphone. <laughs> the footage recorded on a smartphone shows how the hostage situation was handled. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Damn! Damn that! Wow. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> God, play it again. Play it again. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It just seems so weird that he gets hit in the shovel and then they gang up on him. He could have still had the scissors in his hand. Yeah, so he almost stabbed her by accident when he yeah, got hit. That, that, That's what that I'm comes saying. to my mind. It sounds like a cool heroic moment. Everybody gang up on him, but he could have killed her <laughs> for that action. What a frame! Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. He could have stabbed her right then and there by accident and all dude people. that's cultural appropriation he's doing right there with that face <laughs> from what culture his own <laughs> yeah it looks like he's, he's a, he has to take a huge load he's doing a stereotype a okay here's here's oh. the thing here's the thing i'm going to be legit for a second if this guy was able to person it whatever they are i, I don't i don't know i don't know what whether it's a man or a woman with the shovel i think i think that oh whether Okay, if they were able to get behind this guy within that proximity, why not just fucking, you know, run up and grab the right arm? Because he could yeah. stab him on the way there. Because they had a shovel. Because <laughs> like, they had a shovel, yeah, but, like, you could... Whoa! Like, you could, whoa! whoa. <laughs> you see, uh, do we need to talk about this? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It seemed like I'm a just, perfectly healthy I'm thing. <laughs> It's a. I'm it's just like, natural. there was nothing. Apparently, they didn't hit him hard enough to knock him out. It. It's a natural thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the it, man, it's, it's all on. truly natural. I'm sure the man was surprisingly uh, still understand. conscious, yeah. even after getting smacked on the head with a shovel. But it was enough to stun him for a few down. seconds, so that onlookers were able to help the woman while restraining the suspect. Did they? Really what if this know? turns out to be the Brazilian? <laughs> did they really help though? The shovel did the damage, but they could have had the poor woman killed by accident i mean no no, no. what they mean by help else. is at the end at the end they rush in and, and beat him yeah they rush in to grab they yeah, rush they in. Bum yeah, rushed yeah, the person him. goes for the arm yeah, yeah they bum rushed him but just okay. watch it was somali on his redemption arc okay 
They should have just started coughing on him. Take their masks down. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> False. Ha ha! All right. And last but not least, a man. Oh, the last on. one. I'm sorry. I forgot. I was screenshot. A man fucked up and didn't do his job. Reese, right. remember when I said I found our SpongeBob article? Mm. You know, I was telling a friend about yeah. that SpongeBob article the other day, and he was like, that really happened. And I'm like, I wish it didn't. Man arrested after using Nintendo Duck Hunt gun to rob convenience store. <laughs> okay. A I'll South Carolina man that. was arrested <laughs> for allegedly robbing a convenience store using a Nintendo Duck Hunt gun painted black to look like a real gun. Mm, this guy that. was a quack. Except, Except for, for the, the fact fucking, that it looks uh, like something out of a fucking Star Wars ripoff. Yeah, right. that orange part would, is what makes it look... Like this is orange. not the first time we've covered this exact incident kind of thing. Fear happening. me, I am really good at this game. The incident occurred... <laughs> I like the idea of uh, taking like a footage of a shootout at a... Uh, at a... Um, what do you call Corral it? Uh, or at, a... at, no, like at a at a convenience store or something, and having the uh, the the dog come out going hur, 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 when you miss, like <laughs> yeah, I dude, I'd be I'd be more scared if this guy walked up and said, "All right, fear me," and just dropped his pants. <laughs> <laughs> so the the in, uh, the incident occurred on May thirtieth when twenty five year old David Joseph Dalessandro of Sharon, South Carolina, held up a quick stop convenience store using a video game gun from the duck hunt nintendo game this person is so young they didn't even they they thought this was a real gun according to the store workers the suspect wore a mask wig and hoodie for the robbery it doesn't look like it was a wig guys <laughs> yeah it doesn't look like a wig that looks like he was trying to go for the SPW. he he's flashed his nintendo duck hunt gun tucked into his waistband to rob the store oh god and made out with about three hundred dollars are they you gave sure him the money? That, uh, Did he that's ask to speak key? to the it manager as well? Non-trinary. <laughs> non-trinary. Did they take him? Did they take him to the back for a special lecture before he left? It didn't take long for the police to find D'Alessandro, as the deputy spotted him in the parking lot by a Dollar General, not far from the Quick Stop convenience store. After a quick search. The police found the toy gun in his pants and arrested him on the spot. Wow, this is, he's <laughs> a um, terrible. Well, I've never heard Did they find the money though? <laughs> it's like a, they booked him in the in the oh, York oh. County Detention Center where he is held without bond. So you think you think they uh, raped him because you know they played with his toy gun? Oh God. So the cool two T had asked, is using Pokemon for street names a sign of cultural decay? No, it's so, a cultural appropriation. In my previous <laughs> job, um, I did a bunch of routes that were in, um, you know, a whole bunch of different counties in California. And the same fucking street names were all over the place. We had like 10 golden rods. Like, it was just, we had so many goddamn Do you know that's the same do you know this place in Pokemon, right? Goldenrod? Yes. In, yes, okay. it's in Pokemon. Wonderful. Goldenrod City. All right, continue. Well, well Goldenrod you know, is also in, in, New, in New York. Uh, they they had so many places, right, that they had to name it letters and stuff instead of mm -hmm. names. It's A Street over on B yeah, Street. It's a, a Street or West Fifty Seven. Yeah, a. West Fifty Seven Eight. Over on the Turnpike yeah. by A Street. Yeah, everyone needs to be in the Bronx. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah. So uh, the, the Lower East Side. <laughs> anyway, that's our uh, that's our show for tonight. I expected, um, based on you calling it SpongeBob, that this person would have died from using no, a toy gun. But I guess SpongeBob. Not. SpongeBob just no, no, means it just means yeah. the uh, no. Oh. It just means the 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 old mm -hmm. like the final the final article of the night. And I tried oh, to I make thought, them. I thought it meant something retarded. You bring I, to make just them something I thought anyway. it would have been funny that the guy who was like robbing the place, he said, "Who do I send to make this check to?" SpongeBob. Write it to SpongeBob right now. I don't know what to say to that. It's oh, it's still reference to YouTube poops. They don't call oh. SpongeBob SpongeBob because he couldn't. I'm already right uh, dude. 
Look, man, we're already we're already uh, technically on. I'm YouTube gonna right go now. to bed. Let's turn this off. Also, you're out of uh, cash or just space. Hey, Ronan Jaw, how are us? We're good. Um, Thank you for watch, showing up. Watch, yeah, me. sorry, I should have messaged you. Um, watch the beginning of the stream. I'm sure there will be plenty of clip clippable moments for Twitter. <laughs> Anyway, um, thank you guys for joining us tonight. I will play the appropriate outro this time. Uh, Thanks and by for that, watching, guys. I won't. I will do this one instead. Goodbye. <laughs>